systems activated. Unlock the time freeze now. All systems synchronized to breach standard time. What planet is this? Colonized planet number 0315, Earth. Then this is where my brother Yosho is. No, what we detected from this planet is Ryoko. Huh? Not that woman. What does this mean? We have yet to detect Yosho's ship, but he was in pursuit of Ryoko. Logically, it would follow then. I see. That, that woman in Ryooki must be caught and tried formally by our planet Jirai as soon as possible. Princess Aieka, unfortunately, all of Ryoko's crimes will be cancelled by statute of limitations at Galaxy Standard Time 00432, or in five seconds. Hmm? What? As of this moment, the statute of limitations has taken effect, and Ryoko's Galaxy Wanted file has been destroyed. Destroyed?! Answer me, why is it? The statute of limitations is based on decisions made by the Holy Council of Planet Jirai. That is not what I have asked. I want to know why that woman is not sought for all eternity. The statute of limitations is based on decisions made by the Holy Council of the Planet Never Jirai. Mind. The only clue left to us is that woman. We must capture her at any cost. But the statute of limitations... This is an order. We will think of a reason. Yes, ma'am. Good. Now prepare for descent. Anti-air guard, storming level four. Be well, my dearest Yosho. Please be well. How oh, could... I don't believe it. Now, I want your balls, please. What? No way! They're mine! I'm gonna hang on to them! Oh, you numbskull! I mean the three jewels on your sword! Otherwise, I can't control Rio Oki. Rio Oki? Oh, don't tell me you don't know what that is! It's the other demon in the legend, you dimwit. So that means if I give the jewels back to you, the demon will come back to life? Forget it! No if about it. Give them to me. No way! You made this mess all by yourself. You think I want to deal with another monster flying around when you're already blowing things up? Jeez, that's the last thing I want to see! Are you sure? Because the one approaching us right now is even worse. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Just give me the sword. I want it, and I want it now! Ow! 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 Damn it! Oh! Ah, so you can't touch this thing, can you? Uh. Hey, be quiet! What's going on up there, Tenchi? These kids today, I tell you, I don't know. Oh, my God! Ooh, and I worried about him being too shy with women. <laughs> now he's gone and sneaked one into his room. If I were his mother, I'd find some excuse to barge in, but as his father, it's my duty to respect his privacy. Please give them back. I beg you. Well, now I really can't do that. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Okay, all right. But only if you'll tell me what's approaching us. Oh, she's the devil. Huh? She's like a devil. She's so dangerous and mean, she'll fire at you without even giving you a teeny weeny little chance to explain. Achoo! Huh? Begin the capture process as soon as we arrive, and you must refrain from firing. Yes, ma'am. We will soon arrive at our destination. Well, it's very simple. We'll talk to this person and uh, we'll just try to settle matters peacefully. Hmm. Mm -mm. Not a good idea, huh? Is she really that bad? 
Yes, listen to me. We need to wake up Rio Oki now. Don't tell me we're gonna fight! No, we'll run away. Huh? Yes, it's my duty to respect his privacy, but also my duty to record my son's development in sex. <laughs> I mean life. Oh, my wife in heaven. You should see how your son has grown. What? Oh, oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Honey, is that you? Ryoko, come out! Damn, I knew it. She's here already. Huh? Ryoko! Ryoko, you must come out! I know that you are in there. You cannot get away from me now! Are you sure this is on? Yes, ma'am. Well, then, what is she doing? Oh, never mind. I want you to fire a shot nearby. I thought we were to refrain from fire. That's an order! I told you. What are we supposed to do now? Hmm. Well, for starters, why didn't you stand up? Now, point the sword hilt toward me and pray to have the jewels returned to me. That's it? That That's all I do? That's all. Hmm. on now you only gave me one that's right uh, uh, <laughs> well that's okay <laughs> come Rio okay awaken awaken This criminal battleship? Attack that ship! Fire now! What is this? What's going on? She's trying to blow up my house! Let's go, Tenchi! No, I mean... <laughs> okay, Ryooki, let's make our getaway! This is the feeling! Oh, it's good to be moving so freely again. Oh, my God, my house! Sorry, I didn't have time to worry about it, so I shrank it and brought it along with us, if that's okay. Dad! Damn that woman. Fire at her when ready! Ah! Seal her up! <gasps> oh! Oh! Cannot escape us. Hazaka, Kamadaki, go! Capture her! Yes, ma'am, yes. Don't get near! Stay back! Guardians of Jirai! It's been a while, hasn't it, Ryoko? I have been looking for you for some time. I have a question. Tell me, why did that Earthling have this sword with him? Answer me! Stop! Stop! You're tickling me! Oh. Enough! This 
seems to have an opposite effect on you. You're behaving like, um, what's that called? A masochist? Oh, yes. That's what they call it. Actually, little princess, I'm more of a sadist. Oh, my. Does that mean you like to... Never mind. That's completely unimportant. I'll ask you again. Why did that young man have this sword? You bonehead. What? Don't you feel it in his blood? You're not answering my question. Because the sword is his. Don't be so ridiculous. You know this sword belongs to my brother. Now, where is he? Where is my brother, Yosho? Half-brother, you mean. And you came all this way just to look for him. <laughs> Things must be dull on planet Jirai. You royal types must be really bored. Silence, criminal! How dare you! Well, well... My brother's disappearance all started because of you! Oh, is that what happened? Oh! 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 Ah! Oh! oh! Stop! Stop, please! You can stop now! Now answer me. Then she probably knows more about Yosho than I do. Go talk to him. But why would this sword know the whereabouts of my brother? Oh, yeah, I forgot. The sword is called Tenshi, too. No, I mean the Earthling boy. He's called Tenshi also. Oh, my goodness, what a coincidence. Yeah, right. Princess Ayaka, it is time for bed. Later, I am busy. Now go away. I cannot allow that. The Queen has given me strict orders. Oh, very well. And take her off to jail. Bedtime, little girl. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Come, Princess, this way. Huh? Where am I? What's this place? Hey! Ryoko! Where did she go? Stop it! I didn't do anything! Just let me out! That does it. This calls for some real action. Take that. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to escape from this stupid little... Huh? <laughs> who... Who are you? My name is Sasami. Sasami? Have you been kidnapped also? No, you silly. Are you joking? This is our ship. This is your ship? Then you're an alien from planet Sasami? No, you are silly. I come from the planet Jirai. What about those weird logs? <laughs> They're not really logs. They're guardians, our servants. Oh, man. What a relief. What's your name? Oh, right. My name's Tenshi. How do you do? How do you do? Will you play a game with me? Hmm. You look just like we do. <laughs> That's a cute pet. Mm-hmm. Ah! Hey, that looks like a... Uh, huh? Oh, it's gone! What's wrong? Oh, I had a sword like that one, but it's gone. It must have... Hmm. Hey, Sasami, could you do me a favor? Could you return me home right now? I, I was brought here by mistake. I don't have anything to do with anything. <laughs> well... I'll do a favor for you if you do me a favor. My darling Aieka, I must leave here tomorrow morning to do battle with a rampaging criminal. But don't worry, I will defeat this criminal and return. And when I come back... When you came back, I was to become your bride, but you never returned. You 
有收。My sister's room is right over there. See? <laughs> She's asleep now, so you know what to do. Yeah, I think so. Go in there and get her head ornament. Is that right? That's right. But why should I? I mean, it does belong to her, doesn't it? Just get it. Okay, okay, I'll get it. Just make sure you remember your promise. Uh -huh. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry to barge in like this. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey. Oh. Oh man, give me a break. How am I supposed to get that off of her, huh? I Huh? The sword, she's got it. First things first. Good. Not what you think. Kazaka, <laughs> come and doggy. Yes, ma'am. I want you to put that scoundrel to death. Oh my! How quickly he runs. Here we come. Here we come. Here we come. <laughs> Very funny. Let's get out of here. Wait, wait. Your logs are trying to kill me. They're my sisters. There's nothing I can do. That way. Hurry. Whoa. Look who's here! Oh, oh man! Now where are we? Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Tenchi! It's her. You showed up just in time. You got me into this mess. You get me out. I want to go home right now. You know, I'd love to help, but without the other two jewels, I just can't. So stop yelling and get me out of here. Listen to me. First of all, I can't open this thing. You know that. And another thing. Huh? Whoa! I guess you were mistaken. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm? <laughs> Who's this? Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Sasami. Uh, oh, what? Hey, Tenchi, who is this older lady? Is she a friend of yours also? Older? <laughs> yes, I'm his friend, but not an older lady. You know what I mean, little girl? Wow, you're a strong lady. That hurts. I wonder why this opened. <gasps> Hey, that sword belongs to Yosho. What? Yosho? Uh-huh. But why were you able to use it? Oh, yes. Show me that sword of yours. Uh-oh. Uh, now, just a Nothing minute. You, what are you doing? Nothing to worry about. Wait, you can't touch this. Just trust me. Relax. Come on, stop it. Get away from me. Shh, be quiet. Stop! Huh? And here comes the princess. Sasami, I see it was you who released him. I cannot believe this. You really shouldn't have done that. Well, sorry, I was just bored. That's no excuse. You, Tenchi. I believe your name is Tenchi. I have a question I'd like to ask of you. Sure, what can I do for you? Where is the owner of that sword you hold? Huh? Well, I think he died a long, long time ago. You are lying! I'm sorry, but that's what it says in the ancient legend. And what was his name? Well, I'm pretty sure his name was Yosho. Oh, no. Uh, does that help at all? Oh, yeah, he died, didn't he? That's too bad. It isn't true! You're only trying to trick me! Azaka, Kamadaki! Yes, yes ma'am. Ayaka! Uh, uh, order your blockheads to pull back! You play dirty to the end. Bye-bye, uh, uh, ah! lady. Sasami, come here. <gasps> Get back, Azaka! No! Get back! Get back, stop! <laughs> <laughs> What 
you doing, Tenchi? What's happening? I gave you an order to capture them. Sword, the master key is in sync with him. But it shouldn't react to anyone but those of royal blood. So why is it... It can't be. No, it can't be true. Tenchi. Whoa. Call Rio Oki. You want to go home, don't you? Yeah, if you return my house, too. I can't believe it. I won't believe it. It is impossible. Suit yourself, but you might want to get out of the way. <coughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Let's go, Tenchi. Thank you, little girl. Bye-bye, Tenchi. Do something quickly. Y yes, ma'am. I will never forgive that woman. I'll make her follow us down to Earth. As long as she's allowed to fly around up here, she's only going to give us trouble. <laughs> Don't do that. You'll hurt her. Hey, whose side are you on, anyway? If you like her so much, go join her. She's just a girl. So what? Ryuhoki's mass is growing abnormally. But why aren't they under our control? They seem to have used the master key. Oh! Attack! Attack! What are you doing? We must attack! Descent velocity increasing. If we were to fall to Earth, even our spaceship, Ryu O, will not escape without serious damage. Oh, how unreasonable that woman is. <laughs> Ryoko, stop this immediately! Even you won't be able to escape unharmed from this, Ryoko! <laughs> Say something! Stop this immediately! <laughs> I know you hear me! 20 seconds to Earth's surface! <laughs> Ryoko, stop, please! <laughs> Exploding stereo wall unit! Our top story this morning, around 4 a.m., an object thought to be a meteor fell on the Great Sato Bridge, completely destroying the bridge on impact. As a result, Japan Rail has been unable to operate this morning, with no word yet as to when service will be restored. Mm -hmm. Other damage is currently mm -hmm. under investigation mm -hmm. by the Marine mm -hmm. Safety Agency. Mm -hmm. Well, take a look at that. It's a major story. Hey, what's wrong? You don't look well at all, Tenshi. Mm-hmm. Cheer up! We got back safely, didn't we? You should be thankful for that. Right. Of course, now our house is right by your grandfather's shrine, but I sure think that's kind of convenient in a way. Don't you think so, Tenchi? Eat this, too. It's good. It'll make you big and strong. Huh? You're lucky. You don't even have a scratch after all we've been through together. You really ought to be thanking me. After all, I took care of you and protected you at my own personal risk. But most of the energy of the crash was absorbed by our ship. You see, that's why you were okay. So that's why our landing point was off? Oh, I almost landed back in that damn cave. I thought there was another young lady with you. Where did she go? She's over there. Oh, 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 oh. oh now what? Sasami, what are you doing? Come and help me save Ryu on my ship! But it's too big for us to handle. We'll never get it out of there. Oh! I can't get stranded on a remote planet like this. I simply can't. I have to save my ship. My Ryu. Oh! Oh! oh!
Auntie Royal Teardrop. Ayaka? Huh? Are you Yosho? <laughs> Ayaka, why are you out here? Because you went out, leaving me behind. <laughs> One day, I will be a bride, won't I, Yosho? When you grow up. It is the color of your eyes. A royal teardrop. <laughs> What's wrong? This flower shouldn't be used for happy occasions. Daddy can't be. I wish I could go home to planish your eye. Huh? What is she up to so early? Really? What a disgusting thing to see first thing in the morning. Oh, that monster woman. Ugh. Hmm, let's see. Aha! <laughs> Come on, Aika! I don't want to. No! I don't want to! Don't be so difficult! Listen to me, Aika. You've stayed in this room for one whole week. Enough is enough. It's very rude. They're gonna think we Jiraiyans don't even have the courtesy to say hello. No, they won't, Sasami. Um, but the head of the family is out now, isn't he? The father may be out, but I can tell you this. Tenchi is at home. This is very, very hard on me. I'm sorry, Sasami. I should be the one to worry about these things. <sighs> Let's go. Who's here? It's been so long, I was beginning to think you'd died, Your Majesty. Where's Tenchi? Tenchi? Well, he isn't here, that's for sure. And I worked so hard to get Aika out here. Hey! What have you got there? What is it? Hmm. Wanna know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. It was born this morning. <gasps> isn't it adorable? Did you lay it? Oh, Susami, get away, don't touch it! What? Miss Ayaka? Oh, uh, please allow me to express my sincere gratitude for the hospitality kindly offered to Ryan Royal Family. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much. 
What? Well, yeah, sure. Hey, hey, princess! Don't you want to know about this egg? I have no intentions of speaking with you. Huh. Sasami, what are you doing? You get germs from that! But Ryoko's baby's gonna be born, and that's definitely something I want to see. So, are you married, Ryoko? Who's the father? Well, now... Sasami! You see? <gasps> Tenji's the father? What? Huh? What? Miss Saika, is there a problem? You seem upset. Are you all right? <laughs> that is certainly none of your business. Why don't you just go over there and hold that egg with your monster woman? Egg? What on earth are you talking about? Oh, I'm so happy. So happy to be able to bear a child of the man I love. A child? Go ahead. Feel it now. It won't be long. Uh... Huh? What? I don't understand. Uh! Ah! <laughs> oh, come here. There's a good little Rio Oki. Rio Oki, your spaceship? Then that's the child of. <laughs> it can't be true. Oh yeah, princess. You better believe it's true. Can a spaceship have a baby? Sure. My ship was totally destroyed, so it reproduced itself. You must be crazy to think it's Tenshi's child. Yeah, I thought that was kind of strange. This is so typical, you're all making fun of me! Uh, Miss Saika, we're not making fun of you. At least I'm not. You stop it! Let go! I was so foolish. I thought you were different. Why don't you go have a good time with that fossil woman of yours? <laughs> Whoops. I beg your pardon. <gasps> What's the matter, miss? What is it? Uh, 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 oh, no, no, nothing really. I find that princess so amusing. <laughs> she really kills me. What kind of mischief are you up to now? Don't you have any conscience at all? You are just so sweet! What? Oh, no! You're so sweet to be so concerned about me! <laughs> Tenchi dear, where's the sword? The sword? I gave it back to Aika. You what?! But that sword contains all of my energy source. Oh, why did you give it back, Tenshi? Oh. <laughs> Second time today a young lady's run into me. I guess I'm just hmm. lucky. Dear Ampa, I'm shocked. Yeah! That's a spry young lady you've got there. Now then, so this is Tenshi's baby, is it? No, no, Grandpa. This is real Oki. And you know what happened? He just hatched from an egg, Grandpa. Mm, I see, <laughs> I see. Tenshi, now that you are a father of a child... W what are you talking about, Grandpa? You'll have to become responsible. Yes, you've got a bumpy road ahead of you. It's not my child! Oh, oh forget it! Tenshi, don't forget practice this afternoon. Tenchi, wait! Don't worry about him. He's the serious type, just like his mother. Meow? Ryooki! Meow? What is it, Ryooki? Oh, Aika. Hey, where are you going? Ouch! Ryooki!
pretty little thing. <gasps> Very well. I want you to stay right there, and I'll be the one to go away. Huh. Now, don't you dare follow me. that I hate you, you funny little thing. Say, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. hmm. now if I were that sword, where would I be hiding? <gasps> Yosho, <laughs> good riddance. Although I kind of like him in that size. This isn't gonna look good. She isn't in here. Where did everyone go to? So tell me, what do I do now? With my spaceship destroyed, I can neither fly nor communicate with my people. The only clue I have is the sword. I wonder... Could my brother really be... <laughs> but you don't understand a word I say. No. Oh! What is it? Where are you going? You'll get lost! Ryoki! I can't find him anywhere. And she... Watch your feet. Try harder. <laughs> Ouch. All right, let's start over with the basic patterns. Okay. Huh? Ready? Hi! That's... That's just like the swordplay routines of Jirai's royal family. Your show... It may be a clue to his whereabouts. Tenchi! What's wrong, Tenchi? You're a sitting duck. Jeez, was that part of the routine? No. What was that? Huh? Why? Why must I suffer from this kind of disgrace? <laughs> what are you doing down there? What's the matter? Are you all right? I'm sorry. I'm all right. Lady Ayaka. I'm all right. Oh, it hurts. Oh. Red blood. Huh? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. What are you two doing there? Uh, sir. Mm. That looks like a bad sprain. Sir. That sore play routine you were performing, I was wondering... Kenshi, carry this young lady home on your back. She better not be using this foot for a while. Uh, sir, uh, did I say anything to offend you? I'll be on my way home now. You take care of her. Hey, hey, wait a minute, Grandpa! Hmm. Ryoko, it's raining! Ryoko, please stop the rain. 
Stop the rain. My sister and the others are still outside. Well, sorry. On this planet, they don't have a way of doing that yet. Hey, Sasami darling, do you happen to know where your adorable sister keeps Tenchi's sword by any chance? Yeah, she carries it with her wherever she goes, I think. Uh, of course. Ah. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. Here. You can dry yourself with this. Uh, um... Uh, I guess I'll go outside for a little while. Oh, Tenchi, what do you think you're doing? Achoo! Don't worry, it's only Rio Oki. Huh? Meow. Oh, you scared the daylight out of me, a naughty thing. Uh, oh. Hmm? Oh. I'm going back outside. Outside? Yes? Outside it must be cold. Yeah. Well, I guess I must have misunderstood certain things. Huh? Since you were with Ryoko, I thought you were her friend. Well, I'm not, but I think I started all this by opening the gate. The gate? Near here, there's a cave, and Ryoko was locked up in it. My brother Yosho did that. Yosho? That's what the legend says. Can I ask you a question? Uh, sure. What are you going to do now? I'll search. You see, I know I cannot return to my planet now. I must continue the search for my brother. Only it's hard for me. I have no relatives on this alien planet. It's all my fault! Please, stay with us as long as you like. I... I'm the one who's responsible for all this, and besides... We're related too, I guess. Yosho is my half-brother. Here on Earth, you may think it odd to marry your brother, but on Jirai, it's not. Even though my parents arranged it, I was happy about it. Just... just to think that I won't be able to share these feelings with my brother, I... I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> His ship. It must have been destroyed just like yours was. Yeah, that must be it. And he was forced to... Well, uh, so you should... Cheer up! Cheer up, Ayaka! Meow, meow. What is it? Carrot? So, you want this carrot? There, there. Hop! <laughs> Carrots, huh? Eat enough of those, someday you'll grow up to be a spaceship. Meow, meow. 
Phew, it finally cleared up. Huh? Well, shall we go now? Would you like to go see Ryoko's cave? We might just find a clue there about your brother. What? What is that? Oh, that's the holy tree of Masaki Shrine. Wonder stories hang from it. They say if you make a wish when there's a full moon, it'll come true. Another story says you can make rain if you pray for it. Would you like to go see it? Hmm. There's no doubt. This is Funaho. It is alive. Funaho? My brother's spaceship. Remember there was a tree exactly like this in my ship? This tree is the brain of the ship, the heart of the ship. Wow, this transforms into one of those giant spaceships? No. This one has taken root. It can't become a spaceship anymore. Ship's memory. Memory? That's that's my brother's ship. Yoko, she looks scary. And he must be Yosho. See how the lake was made. He is alive. I'm sure of it now. Since Vanahu is alive, then somewhere on this planet he must be alive also. I've been cold to you. I've been nasty and I'm sorry for that. I believe this is yours. What? You are related by blood to Jirai's royal family. And I am asking you to protect us until the time my brother is found. But I'm no good at handling that sword. Aika! Oh. Sasami! Where have you been? You've been gone so long I was worried. I'm sorry. Did you come all this way by yourself? Oh, no. Ryoko is with me, and Ryooki met us halfway. He brought us here. <laughs> you are one funny little creature. Okay, okay, okay. My, what a friendly atmosphere. Ryoko! Ha! Now, Tenshi, how come you've been with this unworthy girl all this time? Because I had to. Hmm. Lady Aika injured herself. Hmm. Wow, Tenshi, you got the sword back! Well done, my boy! No, I returned the sword to Lord Tenshi. Huh? <laughs> okay, so you're pissed we got it back, and it's no use trying to lie to me. But it's true. Huh? We are related by blood, Lord Tenshi and I. And anyway, it's really none of your business. Oh, is that right? You ingrate! Oh! And I came all this way just to help you. All right. Do what you want. Ryoko, come back! To, to help, help us? Hey! Come back! It's all a misunderstanding. We didn't mean any harm, Ryoko. Forget it. But, but you never know what she's going to do when she gets upset, you know? Oh, I see. And here I thought you were going to protect me, Lord Tenshi. Let's go, Lord Tenshi. Huh? Come now. Oh. This is White Rock. Lock on to targets. All right, uh, White Rock all ships stand by. All ships. 
ships ready for falling. Fire! Retreat! All ships, retreat! This is 7th Headquarters. Commander here. Hello, Commander. It's been a long time. Marshal, well, what a surprise. Yes, well, I'm afraid I have bad news. Kagato has returned. Kagato is back? Yes, the most wanted criminal in our universe. The scene of the crime, the ancient ruins of Planet 617. A patrol squad contacted patrol fleet, made pursuit, and were totally destroyed. Their records indicate he may be headed for the solar system. I want you to handle this case immediately. Yes, sir, right away. Oh. Here, Commander. Uh, thank you. This is certainly terrible news. By the way, who is on patrol over the non-interference preserve of the solar system? Well, Detective First Class Mihoshi... <coughs> uh, are you all right? Mihoshi! No way we don't have a budget large enough to spend any more money on her! But, Commander, Mihoshi is an excellent detective. Only... Only her service record stinks. That's all. Well, uh, that's true. Look at this. Do you know what these are on my desk? Uh, misconduct reports? There seem to be quite a lot of bills as well. Oh. And most of those are the result of the actions of a single officer. And that would be Mihoshi? You got it. Uh, well, Commander, I think I might just have um, a good idea. What is it? Well... This assignment could be a way to be rid of Mihoshi and all of those bills. You just leave it to me, Commander. Officer, danger is my business. Don't worry about my grandfather. Now, wait a minute. Will you just listen to what I have to say? I am now starting on my special mission, ending transmission. And don't worry, sir. You can count on me. Wait a second, Mihoshi! Mm -hmm. Kagato, huh? You can know, Joe. Did you need me, Mihoshi? I'd like to get the profile on the space pirate called Kagato. Coming right up, the space pirate Kagato, also known as a destroyer of historical ruins. A nefarious fellow, 5,000 years old, he ravages the cultural assets in various parts of the galaxy, controlling a huge battleship called Soja. Number of relics destroyed so far is 3,326. Number of priceless cultural artifacts stolen is numerous. 
this is not a time to be impressed. Now, are you ready to hear the details of all the incidents? Uh-huh. Very well. <clears throat> In space calendar year 5901, he broke into the Museum of Historical Relics on the planet Alpha. In the same year, 2,000 civilians, including high-ranking government officials, disappeared from a tourist spot called the Mystery Zone on the planet Beta. In space calendar year 5903, he destroyed city ruins on the planet Ura. In space calendar year 5912, he kidnapped a girl from the Royal Space Academy on the planet Tordain. In space calendar year 5923, he destroyed the palace on the planet Jirai. Oh, 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 excuse me, this was done by a different pirate called Rio Oki, suspected to have been connected Cat, to the Oh, this incident, thing just materialized me a cup of coffee! coffee. Mihoshi, are you paying attention to what I've been saying? Enough already. I just gotta capture this guy, right? Go! Okay, I'm just gonna cruise around and see what I can find. Sasame, you shouldn't be yelling that way. It's not good manners. Welcome to my inn, Nobuyuki. Hi. You certainly have brought a big party with you this year. <laughs> Tell me, are they all Tenchi's girlfriends? Well, sort of. Uh, please bear with us. Oh, man. How come girls have so much luggage? <laughs> ah! Shall I give you a hand? Hey, get off. It's heavy. Oh, I want to talk to you about something, Tenchi. Mm, what, what, what is it? Mm. Now, let's get something straight, okay? Mm. This is not my home, so just act normally, mm. all right? We come mm. here every year, do you understand mm. me? Jeez. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, oh. I want you to behave yourself, oh. get it? Why are you only saying this to me? Something must have happened between you and that woman. Huh. What are you talking about? You were flirting in that mountain cabin, weren't you? You've been acting weird since then. I haven't been acting weird, and I didn't do anything. See, you're thinking of something kinky right now, aren't you? <laughs> huh? Uh huh? I'm telling uh -huh. you, that woman is scary. And you don't even remember I protected you with my life, do you? Come on, get down. Nobody should see you up there like that. Oh, Tenchi, I want you to flirt with me, too. Ah, get serious. Well, fine, you can flirt with Aika, but not with me, huh? <laughs> Be that way. Uh. What does she want from me? Peeping! Quiet, not so loud! What are you trying to do? You're not teaching me how to be a peeping Tom, are you? Tenshi, listen, we're here at the hot springs. And there are young ladies up there in the women's bath. It would be really rude not to peek. The hostess will kill us if she finds out. I'm not afraid of her at all. So, uh, what's the deal with the towel, Dad? Numbskull, what do you think? This is the traditional attire for peeping. Dad, stop! You're embarrassing me, you know? Hurry up, son. We don't want to miss anything. Hi there. And what are you doing up here? Hmm? Hey! you are? I was wondering where you were and what was taking you so long. You're so far away. Why don't you come up here? But I... Oh, uh, well... Isn't that the woman's bath up there? Did you say something? <laughs> up there, the bath is more roomy. Much nicer. Let's go up there, Tenchi. Stop that! Cut it out! Hold on to me tightly, or you'll fall. <laughs> Why are you being so shy? You've seen me naked before, remember? Inside the cave? Yeah, I remember, but then you were just a mummy. <laughs> Give me a little room, will ya? Why? Well, uh... Ah, Tenchi, hello! Where have you been? Are you alone? Aika's here, too! Aika, come out! You shouldn't be yelling like that. You certainly have acquired some bad manners since you've gotten to know that Ryoko woman. Are you listening, Sasami? <gasps> Aika! <gasps> What's wrong with you? Tenchi's here too. 
Why didn't you tell me that sooner? I guess I'll take my bath later. Why? We are already Come here on. now. Let's, Let's go take one together. Stop. Please. Come outside. I told you to stop it. Come on, little Miss Party Pooper. Time to come outside. Tenchi's waiting for you. Stop it, please. <laughs> stop it. Let me go. Let me go. Now, what's this shy routine anyway? I mean, you were pretty aggressive in that mountain cabin, weren't you? <laughs> How do you know what happened at that cabin? <laughs> Come on, it's simple. I just looked into Rio Oki's memory. <laughs> you can't turn back now. Come on in. Water's fine. <laughs> Tenchi, are you all right? Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> oh, Tenchi, come on! <laughs> are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, thank you, Sasami. Huh? Because you look really pale and your nose is bleeding. <laughs> You're a naughty boy, <laughs> aren't you, Tenchi? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. It's that uh, I got dizzy because of the hot water. Really? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Sorry for being naughty. That's <laughs> my boy. How dare you, you insensitive mm -hmm. woman. They're looking at us. Come on now. It's no big deal to show your naked body. You see there? That's what I'm talking about. You're insensitive. <laughs> Tenshi's the only one who saw you. And you were going to show him your naked body sooner or later anyway, huh? right? Whoa, whoa. Well, I'm not an exhibitionist like you are. Oh, it's only natural to take a bath naked. Of course, with so little to offer, I can understand why you'd want to cover it up. But show it off, little princess, I dare you. Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> Never mind. I've had about enough of this. I think that you think I'm harmless, and if that's what you think, you're wrong. Am I? Well, I think that you're a naive little girl. Hmm? They form the magical force field that held your spaceship captive before. You won't get any help from Tenji this time. You're just a spoiled princess. Is that the best you can do? Go ahead and boast. It's what you do best. Anyway, it won't help you now. Where is she? <laughs> Demon! Now it's my turn to show you something, little girl. It's the reason why I'm called Ryoko, the Devil Caller. Ow! What? I'm called that because I can call forth evil spirits from anything I want. Well, what an amusing show. Isn't it? I think you'll really like this part. Disobey me, I summoned you! Ungrateful beast! Get back in the earth! No, I have to have a gem on my right wrist in order for me to control this monster. Well, I'm not disappointed. This show is very entertaining. Tenchi! Tenchi! 
What are you doing? Stop wasting time and go get the sword! Mihoshi! 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 Huh? Oh, yes? A peculiar energy pocket is being generated at one point on the third planet. This ship is currently... Mihoshi! Oh, great. What am I gonna do? This thing's not responding at all. It seems like it's broken. Mihoshi! Okay. Well, then, uh, just head in that direction and maybe we could find some clues, uh, okay? But wait a minute. We're at a pretty high speed. Is, is that okay in this planetary system? Mihoshi, that is exactly what I am trying to tell you. The ship is falling towards the energy pocket. We are out of control! Oh, that's not so good, huh? Hey, do something! You created that thing! How many times do I have to tell you that I can't control that thing without a gem on my right wrist? Well, why did you create it if you can't control it? So I forgot about the gem. Give me a break. You go that way. All right. Hey, you just sent me down a dead end, you know. Did I? What was I thinking? What's all this commotion? Get out of the way! Ma'am, you shouldn't stay there. It's dangerous. Those girls, they don't have any manners at all. I wonder if their tenchi's tight. Huh? Huh? Oh! Oh! Tenchi! Where's the monster? Where's my sister, Ryoko? Oh. Huh? Good to see you, Tenchi. You can take it from here. Whoa! I suppose there's no turning back now. What the? Why isn't it working? I guess what I need it the most. What am I gonna do now? Tenchi, remember, remember your training. I remember. Now I got it. Yeah! Huh? She's regaining consciousness. Uh, where am I? So who are you? And where did you come from? Well, uh, y you want to know where I come from, huh? Oh my god! I've come in contact with the local people! Excuse me, young lady, but I'm pretty sure we haven't called your name yet. Oh, right. I I'm sorry. Pardon me. Uh, my name is Miyoshi, and I, uh... What? Where did it go? What am I going to do? Does anybody know where it went to? What it? Are you looking for this? Oh, that's exactly what I was looking for. Yes. Yes, that's it. Thank you very much for finding it, whoever you are. I'm really grateful, really. Hey, what are you doing? Please give it back to me, because it's mine. Hmm. Tell me, what do the Galaxy Police want in a place like this? The Galaxy Police? Really? 
Oh, you know about us. Well, I was in the middle of a pursuit of a vicious criminal, but before I knew it, I was dragged down here by the energy of that monster. Oh, uh, oh, thank you very much. What? What is it? I, I thought it was broken, but... It's not. You see, I fixed it. Oh, that's very kind of you, but how did you know how to fix this bracelet? The people who usually know about these are... Mm -mm. They are? <sighs> if you could fix this bracelet... Mm-hmm. Oh. You must be... No, you couldn't be. Mm hmm Are you a... A what? Are you a jeweler? Wow! No, I'm not! Oh, you're not, so I thought you might be. Hey, what are you doing? Please stop that! <laughs> you know what Ryoko is? She's a space pirate! <laughs> a space pirate? Ryoko? Huh? Oh, this signal indicates... The space pirate, Ryooki. And it's very close to us. Attention, everybody. A dangerous criminal is hiding nearby, so watch out. Hmm, and who is the Ryooki anyway? What? Uh, uh, according to this data, Ryooki is a ruthless pirate that destroyed 28 planets and 69 colonies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's close. The coordinate is 27.5 by a uh, uh, negative 7.8. Uh, oh, it's getting closer. I'm not ready for this yet. The distance is only, only six inches. <laughs> uh, is this, is this? This is real Oki, cute little thing, huh? Real Oki. Uh, could you... Please not eat my gun. Ah! Ouch. <laughs> She's unconscious again. Wow! What... what happened? What... Uh, who's this girl? Hey, Tenchi! What in the world is going on? Dad! <laughs> you owe me an explanation for all this. family of planet Jirai, Prince Yosho, and the princesses. Well, Ryoko, 
looks as though you finally collected what I desire. <laughs> so greedy. Thanks to you, we've had to turn all our fields into carrot fields, you know. Wow! Well, well, what's the matter? Huh? Oh, it's only snow. That's all. So, this is the first time you've ever seen snow. what I call heaven on earth. Hmm. Huh? Mm. Hey, how about a drink? No, I don't think so. Join me, huh? Ugh. Wow, you sure know how to put this stuff away. Now let me remind you, I haven't quite forgiven you for that incident the other day. Well, come on, what are you telling me? You're still upset about that? I'm certainly sorry that you couldn't seduce Tenchi. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> you see, Tenchi and I are related by noble blood. <laughs> I'm not like you. Yeah, but it's only been two months since you two met. I, on the other hand, have known him since he was this tiny. He sure was a cutie pie. He sure was. Yes. What's the matter, Tenchi? Do you see a monster? Huh? Hey, Tenchi. Huh? Oh, Grandma. Did I surprise you? Yeah, I, I thought you were Grandpa. <laughs> that one day Tenchi and I would play together. <laughs> but now he treats me like I'm some sort of monster or something. <laughs> so, of course, I tease him sometimes. You understand, don't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, but darling, you were a mummy. Maybe Tenchi just doesn't want to play with a monster. Thanks for the sympathy. Well, let's be honest, shall we? You're wondering why he treats you like he does? I think I know the problem. I'm pretty sure the problem is your... age! You're over a thousand years old, and it's annoying to be seduced by an old lady. <gasps> Just look at my beautiful skin. It's so youthful, and yours is so... Well, maybe you've been soaking too long. <laughs> I hate you. You're so cruel. Just call you Hello, am I disturbing you? <laughs> Hello? You! How long have you been there? Are you talking about Tenchi? I hope it's okay if I make myself comfortable. <laughs> At that moment, oh, oh, when I heard that it was Tenchi who saved me when I was just about to be sucked into a black hole, well, when I heard that, I thought he just might be my destiny. Uh -huh. 
Yes, that's what I thought. He might be my destiny. <laughs> you were just met and I'm talking to you like this. <laughs> All right, how long are you gonna stay in the bath? Whoa, it's stinky. It smells like sappy. Oh, you're the only one who understands my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> well, I finally found you, Ryoko. Kagato! You pervert! Ryoko, no! <laughs> Hey, whoa! This one's a real one. The infamous, brutal criminal. Kagato. Eternal and most wanted criminal Kagato. Come out now, I know you're here. I said come out! <coughs> Please excuse my behavior earlier. I deeply appreciate you coming out to welcome me. Ryoko! However, this one belongs to me. She is, how can I say it delicately, waste product. Still, she is agile. I bet she's given you some trouble. Princess Asami, Princess Ayeka, don't you think it's best we talk someplace private, someplace where there's no one to bother us? Kagato, I will arrest you! This is a specially protected area. Any kind of combative action is forbidden. If you involve any civilian, I'll blast you to bits! Oh my, oh my. You really frightened me. You see, I've heard much of your heroic episodes in the past. Now, I hear you're overworked and your performance stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I don't wish for you to misunderstand me. I've only come here to invite you all to my ship, the Soja. Mm, very pleasant place. A place where we can get to know one another. Oh, I see you have the sword. But that's the king's property. Wave it around like that and you're going to hurt yourself, young man. What do you mean? What king? You would fight me without full knowledge of the sword? All right, then. Your life now just hand me that sword. Tenchi! Hmm? Don't let him have it! Fascinating. And what about that boy interests you so much, Ryoko? Uh, uh, Ryoko! Uh, uh, ah! uh, wow, what are you doing? It is said that sword holds the greatest energy in the universe, but the sword will only release that energy when held by a suitable owner. My question is, are you that suitable owner? Maybe I am. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll ask you again. Are you a suitable owner of that sword? Release her. Let Ryoko go. <laughs> This is no fun. Do you enjoy making me waste my time? Are 
you playing with something that doesn't belong to you? Grandfather. Come, Ryoko, I'll give you one more chance. There you are, the first crown prince of Jirai's royal family. I wonder, could you show me the secret of the universe? Will you share that treasure? Pleasure? Well, I do know of a really comfortable hot spring nearby. <laughs> well, are we cocky? The greatest energy in the universe? There's no such thing. And if there were, it couldn't be controlled by humans. I have journeyed to sea after sea of the stars in order to find the secret. What will it take to get that power? Your blood? Dry royal family's blood? Using a woman as your shield, coward! Yoko, wake up! Wake up! Hi Don't kill her, Grandpa! Help her! Doing, have you given up? It's not yours, eh? I see. Then this boy is your successor. Tenshi. <laughs> Ryoko! I will take your precious Ryoko with me. Improve your skills, then come to us. I'll be waiting for you. <clears throat> You're my brother! You're my brother Yosho, aren't you? Sorry, I, I... I guess now you know. But why? Tell me! Easy now. Don't scold me. I was not going to tell you this, but if I had stayed on planet Shirai, there would have been a conflict between you and me over succession to the throne. Ayaka, you see, my mother was an earthling, and I am too, or at least half of me. But why should that matter? Our father made the law that after him, we should mix with blood of other planets. It was a law that many Jiraiyans didn't like. In those days, there was tremendous prejudice. I... I could not bear it. So when we were attacked by Ryoko, I left to fight, never to return. Now this planet is my home, and this is where I wish to be buried. I have no intention of returning to Jirai. But without Jirai... Without its life tree and water? I will die. I know that, Aika. And such a thing doesn't matter. Someday you will understand. Then it's true, Grandpa. You're Yosho. And the stories, the legend, all of it is true. Yes, and you are Crown Prince of Planet Jirai. You look surprised. But you never said a thing. And if I had, what then? Would you have known what to do? 
Silly boy, now is your time to grasp the future. I am sorry. I had no idea your heart was set on me. I've got an idea. We could get married now. What do you think? Brother, please, don't oh, be fun. You're right, you're right. I'm too old. But Tenshi, however, is about the right age. He's a very good grandson. <laughs> and you two are perfect together. Grandpa, I have to save Ryoko, but... But she's the cause of all our trouble. You certainly don't have to save her. Tenchi, I will give you that sword. Kagato is very dangerous. You must go and defeat him. In order to get hold of the secret treasure, he would think nothing of destroying this planet. But can I defeat him? I don't know, Grandpa. I have a hard enough time handling that sword. With that kind of attitude, how do you expect to protect these women? You have a power that hasn't been awakened yet. Trust yourself. Grandpa, I understand. No, Tenshi, you shouldn't! Ayeka, listen now. For every man, there's a time when he must fight. Knowledge Tenshi as its true owner. Yes. Are you going, Tenshi? With the sword you can't quite handle yet? Even so, are you still going? Hmm. Ryoko, I must save her. Tenshi, I'll go with you. I'll go with you too. Thank you. As a member of the Galaxy Police, it is my duty. Sis, you'll come, won't you? I don't know. Aika, please take care of Grandpa. Okay, how are we gonna get there? Huh? Meow? Meow! 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 I see something! Let's go, Tenchi! Okay. to travel in, huh? <laughs> here they come, the fools. It's strange. They are coming here to throw away their lives to save someone as defective as you. I am not your machine anymore! I am a human being! Human being? And compared to the infinite will of the universe, human feelings amount to little nothing more than dust. You know, your current form was chosen only because it was convenient. Your original form could have been anything that I wanted. Like a stone. Shall I turn you into a stone? Would that make you happy? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to stay and chat, but I'd better prepare to welcome our guests. Oh, if you lay your dirty hands on Tenshi, you'll be sorry! I swear it! You'll be sorry! Kagato's ship is about to attack. Please, avoid it. Well, believe me, I'd like to, but I really don't know what I'm doing! Oh, I cannot operate 
the ship. the ship that you are in. Every move you make, you know I will see through it. Damn him, it's hopeless. What can we do? What's happening? Maybe the balancer was hit. a very capable evasion. I wonder if it's due to the power of the boy's sword. Ayaka, we need to do something. Can we attack from your ship? It is possible, but I'm not sure the ship is fully I formed yet. This. It's dangerous. Well, we can't just sit here and do nothing. I will go. No, you can't. It's my responsibility. <laughs> Denshi! Once I get there, you'll have to direct me. Aika, I'm ready. First, you must open the Light Hawk wings. Light Hawk wings? It's the shield for that craft. Its original function is a defense system. However, you can use it to attack also, but it isn't meant for that purpose. We will be vulnerable. It's our only hope. How do I open the wings, Aika? Whoa! Tell me what to do! They're using the Lighthawk wings. I'm very impressed. Jirai's royal family is powerful indeed, but I have a suitable strategy. Tachi, please hurry! Ha <laughs> 
Kagato! Kagato, you have stolen the one that was most precious to me. And I will make you pay. You will pay! We thought you were Kagato's prisoner. I don't believe this. Well, now that you've escaped, perhaps we can save Tenchi, since he went to save you. We must go now. We must challenge Kagato, that's all we can do. Is that right? I'll tell you what we can do. We can find Tenchi, that's what we can do. Do you hear me? not over yet. I will kill Kagato. I will kill him. Even if it kills me. Let's go! Where do we go? All the passages will lead to him. Let's go. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> 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 around here somewhere. Well now, looks like an invitation. Sure does. Let's not be rude. Hello, 
I'm right behind you. Could you please wait up? What? Oh no, where'd they go? What is this? Where am I? Hey! Wait a second. Get my control cube. How many times do I have to ask you to wait for me? Welcome to my chapel, ladies. Enjoy the music. Stand back, Ayaka! Oh. 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 Is that a term of affection, or do you just not like me? You're quite powerful, Princess, but this chapel's force field counteracts all energy that attacks it. Now allow me to teach you some manners. Ah! 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 Seven hundred years is a bit too long of a rest for you, Ryoko. You can't even tell the real me from my shadow. That's not like you. Kagato, don't! My arm! You look quite nice and gray. will show me the secret of Tsunami Unit, Princess Ayeka. This place is really, really weird. where they go? Kagato might have them already. And if he does, that means I'm all alone. Well, that's okay, because I'm a galaxy police person and I can handle it. I'll just capture Kagato all myself and... and... now. Thanks for setting me free, by the way. This is a dangerous place you're in, you know. You're not kidding. Let's get these out of the way. Rise and shine. There she is. Now this girl's totally out of control. Don't you agree, Mihoshi? Well... Uh, Looks like nothing's broken. Um, excuse me. That jerk tried to destroy her, hmm? Well, I'll show him. Uh, excuse me. Who who are you? Your outfit seems to be a Science Academy uniform from a long time ago. Your body is sagging a bit. The deterioration of your muscle definitely affects your ability to fight. It also affects your visual psychological tactics. Oh! Okay, Pipsqueak, whether my body is sagging or not is none of your business. What are visual psychological tactics anyway? Your sex appeal, of course. Hey, I'll have you know, my body shape hasn't changed for the past 700 years. What do you think of that, you big fat smart aleck? What I think is that's no way to talk to your mother, Ryoko. Ugh. 
That's right. In fact, not only did I create you, but I created Ryoki, I've created this soja, I've created so many things, really. But I used my ova for you, so I'm more like your mother than your creator. <gasps> you must be that female student that was kidnapped by Kagato. A female student? No, I am Washu, and I just happen to be the top scientific genius of the universe. I am cute. I have to admit, I look a little young. To be your mom, don't I, Ryoko? Huh? Baloney! I've been alone for 2,000 years, ever since I was born! Ever since I was... I was born. But what in the world is this place? This is the reversed world. Reversed? This ship has two layers. It has a top and a bottom. But the intersection between them is one way, so that means oh, in order... Forget about that! Tell me how to get to Kagato. Wanna take revenge for Tenchi? How do you know about Tenchi? As you are connected with Ryooki, so am I connected with you, my dear. So I know... everything. I know how you feel about Tenchi. Uh, you like him, uh, uh, love him, you've never felt like this before, uh, and you'll do anything uh, for him. On top of all that, you want to do this and that with Tenchi. Oh. Now don't you? Oh, she's thinking about that? Hey, stop, shut up! If you want to go, I won't stop you. For you, it's a piece of cake. Please, stop, Ryoko. She's not the one you should point your sword at. <sighs> hmm. Ryoko, I should have stayed out of this. Ryoko, before you go, I have to ask you one thing. I wonder, could you please? Do you think you could call me Mom? <sighs> hey, Ryoko! But why shouldn't we go with her? Because it's impossible. Once we're on this side of the world, we can't get out unless Kagato is destroyed. But she... Please try to understand. Uh -huh. That was Ryoko's astral body I brought here. Uh -huh. Her physical body is on the other side. Huh. Now, where are we? Oh! Aeka. 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 Yoshio! Oh! Aeka, I need to know something. Tell me, Yoshio. What is it? Aika, tell me about the power the Master Key can activate. The power embodied in the trees of the royal family. The strongest power in the universe, Tsunami. Tsunami? How is it that only your relatives can control it? Tell me! Oh no! No, you are not Yosho! Oh, let me go! Let me go! <laughs> is it your blood? Let go! Or do I need something else, my dear? Help me. Well, I see Tsunami must be protecting those of royal blood. In that case... Hold it right there. Well, the shrew that was in the world of shadow has returned, I see. Where have you been? I've been waiting, but then your timing was never perfect. I'm at your service. Oh, where am I? What happened to me? Huh? Who are you? Tell me where we are. I am Tsunami, the ship of Jirai, and we are inside of myself. Inside of you? But you're human. Wait, I get it. You own this ship, right? No. The owner of the ship is Sasami. Sasami? Yes. You see, what I am is the mind of this ship. You're like a human version of Ryooki? Oh my god, Ryooki, where is everyone? I can detect Ryuo's key 70 light seconds from us at this moment. Are they still alive? I feel Ryuo's key responding from within Soja. Alive? They must be in close combat. Combat? Are they really fighting over there on that ship? Please take me there. We have to get in there. Tenchi, listen to me. I cannot leave here. This journey, you will have to go alone. Is that all right with you? That's all right with me. Well then. There's no way out? That's what I'm saying. You see here on the ship's diagram, that goes this way and this goes uh -huh. that way. And so, there is no way out. Absolutely none. No way. That's it. Got it? 
I don't get it at all. <laughs> so I guess what you're telling me is there's absolutely no way out of here. Where were you when they handed out the brains? But how can that be? You created this ship, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And that is why it is so perfect! <laughs> okay, you pain in the neck. There are only a couple of things we can do here. Ryoko! And what should I do now? Take this and join in. Hooray! Hooray! Ryoko! What's that? <laughs> Ah! Ha! All right, Ryoko nailed him. I sure hope she did. <sighs> this pillar is very dense. He must have gotten seriously damaged. <gasps> ah! 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 Where are your manners, Princess? Ah! Enjoy crushing you. Yes, I'm sure you would, if you could. What? Just what seems to be the problem, Ryoko. But why doesn't Ryoko use her full power? Well, what do you mean she isn't? If she was, this would be over by now. Well, excuse me. Ryoko can't beat him like that, even on her own turf. Ryoko! Ryoko uses her full strength, Ayaka will be burnt to a cinder by the counterflow of the extra energy. Well, you seem to have a lot of ideas. What should she do? Hand me your cube. get over there, but they can come here. You are making it easier for Ryoko to fight, huh? Even I can't do anything to Ayaka now that she's in another dimension. Why don't you leave us alone? Because if you do, I'll let you go free. Go free? Ryoko and I are not under your power anymore. And I am no longer your student, Professor. Do you think I haven't learned anything in the past 5,000 years? What did you just do? I directed all the force of the gems towards Soja. Although I could make it as compact as Ryoko, I think you'll find the power it can produce at one time is far greater than Ryoko. Uh, I'm getting weak. My power is draining. Professor, I'm going to show you a little experiment just like the old days. I forbid it. Princess Ayeka, you're in no position to forbid anything. And since you're not cooperating, I'll interrogate your brother and sister instead. <laughs> no, please don't! Sasami! Yoshu! There it is, just as I thought. It is truly amazing. How can it take that so much energy, huh? What? Whoa! I don't understand this. Oh. Ten wings of the Lighthawk. The royal family's most powerful ship, Tsunami. Is that it? My shield is completely useless. But that's not all the gems can do. No, that was only the beginning. That is the most powerful of all ships. There is one final use for you. When you lose consciousness, all the power from your gems will be so just to use. It's a pity, Ryoko, that you won't live to see me as the ruler of the entire universe. I'm sorry, Tichi. What was that? Tenchi. 
Are you real? I'm no ghost. Didn't think you were still alive, kid. No, Tenchi, don't! Now I'll be fine. Well, what do you plan to do? Huh? Jeez, I can't get it out! And now I'm worried. Don't you let us handle what? this? Huh? What a comical pair you two are. I got it! <laughs> you two, look after Ryoko. Yes, sir. Ah! Just when I need it most. Just a rusty old piece of junk. Whoa! The master key is just a tool to activate the power of the ship. It's useless when cut off from the ship's power. Tenchi? Oh, I can't move. Hey, you two, what are you waiting for? Go help him! We can't. Kagato's force is increasing at an incredible rate. We are using all our power just to shield it. What's the matter? Your sword doesn't help anymore? If only you had left these women behind, you could have remained alive. I would rather die than forsake any one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right with me, because I have all the gems. <laughs> Marvelous power, splendid. <laughs> Come to me now, Tsunami! No, this can't be the end. Do something brilliant! You created this ship, didn't you? She's right. There's got to be something you haven't thought of. Well, okay, so there is just one more thing that we can try. What is it? We can pray real hard. Tsunami, I'm scared! It won't be long now. Your power joined with mine will be unbeatable in the universe. I'm scared! I'm sorry to fail you. I am not capable of rescuing your sister. I can't even use this sword. Have faith in your own power. Huh? Please be careful. Soja is very dangerous. As long as I have this sword, I can manage somehow. Listen. What? Don't rely on the sword alone. Tenchi, you have to trust in your own power. Tr trust in my own power? My power? Yes. Can you have any power left? I have been relying on this sword too much. I was going to finish you later, but why not now, huh? So, you're giving up! Tenchi, run! Get away! Uh, uh, stop! Uh, please don't! Oh, you got everything you wanted. Please. Spare him. Can this boy really mean that much to you? Well, not to worry. Very soon, you and Princess Ayeka will join him. Very soon, indeed. He won't be alone in death. <laughs> ah, now it's your turn. Ah, impossible! I thought the power from Tsunami was completely cut off! It's you! It's you! You're creating all this! The transformation of objects! The wings of the Light Hawk! Unbelievable! Now! Get him! I've got you!
same name as the master key well done, Tsunami. Tenchi can't be copied. Splendid plan. Give one boy. A boy who can create the wings of the light hawk, huh? I want to make him mine! Gonna be the first to give Tenchi a hug. Tenchi! I said I'm first! Nice to meet you. My name is Washu. I would like to thank you for saving me from Kagato. I, um. I like you. Do you wanna be a guinea pig for my experiment? What? Listen, Mom! What's the problem? Oh, Tenchi! Oh, I'm oh, oh, so busy! Oh, oh, Shut up! <gasps> I guess the spaceship was cut in half also. Let's get out Thank you. We appreciate your work. What's the matter with him? I don't know. What are you doing? Cut it out, please, both of you. Ah, uh, leave them alone. I can't. Breakfast is ready. Hey, guys. How long do I have to Just wait? another peaceful it's breakfast, huh? Eight. Yes. It's going to be another fine day on planet Earth. Another beautiful day. Such wonderful spring like weather. How many 
many times have I told you? Don't come into my room like that. But I worry about you, Tenshi. Think of all we've been through. Can I help it if I want you to be safe? Oh, man. Don't tell me you were in my room all night. Mm -hmm. Those days are over, thank God. Mm -hmm. Ryoko, what I need now is my privacy. Huh? Privacy? Hmm. Uh, oh. Are you sure you'll be all right in there? I'll manage. Oh, Tenchi! Tenchi! Uh, at least there's one place I can be alone. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Tenchi! Kayo! Don't need this anymore. Uh oh. Uh oh. How do I get back to my normal self? What's that? Oh, I remember. Behavior, you should be ashamed of yourself. Hmm? Tenchi, good morning. Oh, Aika, just who I needed to see. This is for you. That is from the royal tree. Tsunami said it was for you. She said it was Ryo's seed. Ryo's? And I forgot to give it to you. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, thank you. Oh! I want to say thank you. Oh, don't bother, please. Really. <laughs> oh, but I must. You see, now I can bring Ryo to life. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. That's wonderful. <gasps> You're wonderful. Tenchi. It's open. Come in. All right. I'm really very sorry to bother you, Ms. Washu. Ms. Washu, you're the number one genius scientist in the galaxy, and there's something I'd like to ask you to do for me. No, not unless... Unless? Unless you call me Little Washu! Huh? Excuse me, Ms. Washu? Uh, no! I'm not doing anything unless you call me Little Washu! How can I call you little when you're 20,000 years old? All right there, little Washu. Can you do me a favor? Can you build me a unit to plant Ryuo's seed? Of course. I can do that. That's easy. Of course. After all, you are the number one genius scientist in the galaxy. Of course. I'm the number one genius scientist in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to do it. Would be my standard answer, but for you, I'm gonna do it because I really, really like your enthusiasm. <gasps> Have a flower pot. Uh, thank you very much. Huh? Hey, just kidding. There is something we can use. Kagato made it, but there are no funny tricks involved, and the interior conforms to Jirai's environment. It's really a good piece of work. Why did he make it? Well, Kagato's reason for having Ryoko attack planet Jirai was to get Tsunami. So the only thing I have to do is to enter all of the data on your key. And Ryuo can be resurrected. Hmm? Look, all these carrots will be for you. Hey, hold on now, they don't grow that fast. You have to wait. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? Oh, I wonder what she'll do now. <laughs> For me, Mr. Chance, can she's so clumsy. <laughs> oh, no. What's going on? I just love these romance comics. Oh. Mm. 
Ryoko, <laughs> <laughs> it's only you. What are you two doing, huh? Well, we are reading comics for girls. Comics for girls? What is that? Stories about a boy and girl falling in love. Huh? They're about the art of love. It's a handbook on how to win the love of someone you love. Earth style. Earth style? Hmm. <gasps> you mean like how to get Tenchi's love? Mm hmm. <gasps> I think. Uh... <laughs> I have to make breakfast. <laughs> Sami, I'm home. Oh, hello, Tinchi. Breakfast time. Ah, then I'll go get everyone. Good. Uh, Aika's with Washu. That's where you'll find her, Tinchi. She's at Washu's. Uh, I really don't want to. Well, be right back. <coughs> Little Washu. Yes. Morning. Breakfast is ready. Oh. Where's Ayaka? I thought she was with you. Um, no. I'm pretty sure Ayaka's in the unit planting carrots or something. Meow. Meow. Hey, Ryooki. Don't worry. She's just on her way to get Ayaka, but I need to see you. Ah, you're up to something, aren't you? Bingo. I knew it. body fluids, hair samples. That's just about all of the physical samples. Organic pattern, astral pattern, psycholayer pattern, overdimension, parallel pattern. Yes, they're all pretty well normal. Aren't we done yet? Have you got everything? Kasami's got breakfast for us, you know. I have all the samples I need for analysis. Ah! Except for them. How the hell did you get in here? Um, I came to get everyone because everyone was late, but, um, I got lost and found myself here. Got lost, huh? This is not somewhere you can just walk into. So, uh, what's you? What are you doing anyway, huh? Uh, 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 we were just playing doctor. Oh, I see. Please continue. <laughs> oh, don't sit there. Please. Oh, uh, uh. Don't touch it. Oh, Would you... this is, uh, uh. What are you... Now go away! Go on! Look at touch! This I think! Ah, no, no, go away! No, that's not I just want to eat. Where is everybody? I don't get it. But if that's what Earthlings do, I guess I'll give it a try. <laughs> Let's go watch this. Oh boy, here we go. Whoa! Oh. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Are you all right? Oh, oh, what? Ryoko, what's the idea? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I'm so clumsy. Mm -hmm. My name is Ryoko, and I'm... Huh? <gasps> oh, embarrassed. What are wow. you doing? Uh, Aika. What? What is it? Um, 
Can I ask you your name? Huh? Ryoko, uh, are you sick? I mean, what's the matter? Um, <gasps> oh. oh, Denshi, you are a bold one, aren't you? What's wrong with you? Ryoko, your face is red. What's wrong? Do you have a cold? Go away. I'm at the important part. I've got some great cold medicine. I don't want it. Sure you do. You have to take care of yourself. Hey, the would you The key is stop? to cure it early. Let me go. Get your hands off me. You're acting like Nishi, a child. Stop. Let me go. People always say that. Ryoko, let me go or I'll... Hey, stop it. Stop it. Don't worry, Nishi. Let me go. What was that about? <laughs> Ryoko read Tenchi's father's books for research. Research? Hmm. I see. Oh, you all right? Oh my god, you're hurt. Mm -hmm. Please, use this. And don't worry about getting it dirty. Oh, excuse me. Oh, and my name is Aika. Remember, it's Aika. Oh. Hangers on, though you be friends. Be more humble when asking for seconds. One of my very best so far. And she, and she. Yes, I'm coming. Do you know what those girls are doing over there, Tenshi? Huh? Are they playing some sort of a game? I really don't know, Grandpa. Hey, girls, what are you doing over there? Why don't you come over here and talk with me and Denshi? Girls? What girls? You! How dare you use my guardian without my permission? You, what are you doing, copying me? Hmm, how unpleasant. Let us leave. Yes, ma'am! Thanks for your help. You're welcome. They've been acting weird all morning. Hmm. Spring fever. Missing. Hmm. It's for love, for love, for love. Oh. I'm home. Welcome, Welcome home, Tenshi. Well, what is it now? Listen, listen, Tenshi. <laughs> We're a perfect match for each other. That's Dad's book, isn't it? But it's Tenchi, really, I Tenchi, think look! Right here! Right here! The love you find now is an eternal love. Treasure it. <laughs> Ow! Tenchi, February is the best month. 
As our relationship deepens, we will have the blessings of those around us. Oh. Blessings for a match with a monster be pointless, Tenchi? It was fate. Fate that brought us together, wasn't it, Tenchi? 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 He's mm. a better match with me. You know, it's fate, I those tell books you. are better ten years old at least. What? But this one here is hot off the press. Now! Let's see. Oh, both of you are the absolute worst match with Tenchi. Eh? I, on the other hand, am, um, oh, a perfect match. Oh, no. Oh. I'm so happy. <laughs> Fine, on to my next option. I'll just work on the old man and make myself the fiancé. Grandfather, I would like to build a family with Tenchi. Please help me. Hmm. You have been thinking far ahead. All right, you have my blessing. <laughs> Piece of cake. Ooh. You are such a hard-working young lady, Mihoshi. Well, I must do something in return for your kindness. I thank you. Let me ask you something. Do you have a boyfriend, Mihoshi? Oh. What do you think of Tenchi? Oh. This is so embarrassing. If you were his girlfriend, I could rest easier. But uh, we're both so young, and, and we have to find out uh, how he feels about me. <laughs> you understand? You must deliver this to Tenchi. Then I will give you the carrots that you love so much without Tenchi knowing. No, no, no. no need for such haste. Hey, hello. What have you got there? That's a big hurry. I am but a humble schoolgirl. There is something I would like to discuss with you. I will wait for you after school. Oh, Tenchi! Great timing! Can you get me some vegetables for dinner? Oh, sure. I can't get away right now. Is that Ryoki? Oh. Whoa! They're gone! They're empty! Oh, I knew it! It is Ryoki! You stupid little... Tenchi? Uh, uh, uh. So this is the reason for the weird energy reaction I detected. Come on! Come on, back to the pond. Oh, all right then. But only one for each of you. Tenchi, don't you have the vegetables yet? Whoa, so many real okies. Wow. Such naughty crystals. Uh, carrots all gone. Better get back to work. Oh, where is Tenchi? Isn't it after school yet?
<laughs> no more girls' comics for me. <laughs> you awake now, princess? Awake and frozen, thank you. Don't you think there are too many people in the way? Like Washu and Mihoshi? On that issue, I will cooperate with you. All right, then. First, we'll create a force field at the door to lock Washu inside. And then, we'll make Mihoshi go back to the Galaxy Police for a while. My, you're so devious, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Her style or whatever, boy meets girl. After all, Tenshi and I are both humanoid types. What we want has got to be the same thing. I'll wash and wash and present myself to Tenshi in his beautiful skin, and he'll say, Ayanga, you're so beautiful. <laughs> no need to be afraid, Tenshi. I'm the humanoid of your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, uh, could I honorably, uh, honor, uh, humbly? Can I use your phone? Mm hmm. I'll get it. Hello, Masaki home. Oh, <laughs> that sounds as if I've married into the family. How embarrassing. What do you think? You think it sounds that way? Hmm. Get a grip! And listen up, detective! Uh. Ah, this is your very nasty superior at the Galaxy Police, Mihoshi. Oh my, hello. But how on earth did you know I was here? Ah, eh, not important detail. Now, come back quickly to make your report. Yes, Detective Mihoshi is on her way. You can count on me, sir. Good. Ha ha ha! Gullible is an understatement. Hmm? Hmm, what do I do? I need a spaceship. What do I do? Hmm? Oh, Aika. Don't worry. Let's talk to Washu. I'm sure she will be able to get you a spaceship or two. Really? Really? Oh, thank you, thank you! Your shuttle fell into subspace around here, right? So now we just need to find it. Can you do that? These ships are rare in this area, so it should be easy to locate. Now let's see. There it is! Oh, wonderful! Thank you! Here it is! There's my spaceship! <gasps> Having a foolish daughter is more work for mom. Well, that was sure simple. Shut up. If only I had all my gems. Goodbye, Mahoshi. Tenchi, oh, thank you. Thank you for, for everything. You're welcome. And good luck, Mihoshi. I'll never forget you the time I spent here, so I... Uh, Mahoshi, are you really going home? Yes, I have to because of my work. No, I don't want you to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't want to. I don't... I... <laughs> Sasami, let's not make it difficult now. Mihoshi, you can come back. Once you finish, can't you? You mean you don't mind if I come back here? Do you really, Tenchi? Yes, of course. Really, you're welcome to come back here. I can't believe it. That's so nice. I will come back as soon as I finish my work. I'll see you again, Tenchi. Well, how do you like that? Well, at least she won't be back for a while.
The last of them is out of the way. <laughs> what? What's that you say? Good luck to me? <laughs> and that I'm perfect for tension? Well, that's awfully nice of you to say. <laughs> Princess, you're the greatest. <laughs> Yoshi, we will reach the rendezvous point with the main ship shortly. Docking complete. Super Interspace Hotline now open. Miyoshi, your password, please. Miyoshi, Miyoshi, your password. Oh! <laughs> Miyoshi! Yes? We are ready for Super Interspace Hotline. Please say your password. Um, uh, I don't know. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe? Password confirmed. Wow. The line has been connected. Report transfer complete. Great, then let's go back. You still have to make a verbal report to your superior. Okay. You did it, Detective Mahoshi! Oh, I had a feeling it was you. I had a feeling... Two days ago, there was a report from the special unit assigned to rescue you. They detected a shockwave and an electromagnetic wave believed to be caused by a huge explosion. The headquarters did an energy spectrum analysis and came up with a result about an hour ago. The explosion was from Soja. Then I received your report. Oh, you did it! Congratulations! Now my job is safe and you can go back proudly to the central office. I can't believe it! Uh, what's wrong, Mihoshi? Ouch. What? You're not going back? Right. I first-class Detective Mihoshi wish a reassignment to patrol the special area of the solar system. But... but why? What for? You're turning down the central office? Central command? Your grandfather, I mean the marshal, is looking forward to seeing you and... No, I'm not a child anymore, and please do not worry about my grandfather. Uh, well, won't you reconsider? Besides, the Earth isn't our territory. Galaxy police can't go there without Jirai's permission. I already have their permission. What? He said that he wanted me to come back. I don't understand what you're talking about. What I mean is... He, what he said is... Tinchi asked me to come back and he... Oh, how embarrassing! Oh, Chief, I can't believe you're making me say this! Oh! <laughs> he said I... Uh... <laughs> you can know, Joe. Who is Tenchi? He's related to the Jirai royal family. Huh? Sort of However, due to some missing data, even I cannot be certain. Well, what you really My God! <laughs> Detective Mehoshi! Well, many hey, you! I think that he would, well, well, Listen, Mihoshi! I'm sorry, my report this is finished. Yoko. First class detective Mihoshi is on her way. Wait, Mihoshi! No! <laughs> Let's go, Yukinojo! Yes, ma'am. Hey, Mihoshi! Mihoshi! <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess this takes priority for now. Tonight, I can finally... <laughs> Tenshi, you awake? Are you? Uh, what's up? It's really late at night. Oh, tell me, Tenshi, who do you love? Me or Ayaka? Well... <gasps> Please, answer me, Tenshi. Uh... You love Ayaka. Oh. You don't like me because I do things like punch holes in the ceiling and go through walls and fly in the air? Is that it? I don't mind any of that. Oh, then answer me, Tenchi. I love you, of course. <gasps> Tenchi! Ryoko! <laughs> All right! <laughs> Shh. 
Okay. You won't get any sleep, Tenchi. Tonight, we are gonna get real wet. I'm glad I had that force field set up. Mannerless person trying to get into his room without even knocking. You're cheating, Ayeka. Cheating? You're a fine one to talk about cheating. Well, that really was a cheap trick. And who fell for the cheap trick? Huh? <laughs> you just try and lay a finger on Tenshi. I won't let you. All right, you win. You can go first. I don't care. What do you mean, go first? Well, you're trying to get him into the sack, too, aren't you? What? Well, aren't you? It's okay. I don't mind. I am not a woman of loose morals! Really? Hmm. What? What is it? This by a little light makeup. A new nighty? Oh, I can actually smell your hormones. My mind and body are pure. Make love to me. That's the message you're trying to get across. No, you're a liar. You love Tenchi, don't you? Of course I... Uh... Then why? It's only natural to want to be with him and make love with him if you love him. But, you see, I don't even know how he feels about me, and... And it's... And it's... And it's... And it's just too early for us. Oh, well, in that case, I'll go first. Fine. Huh? Now, hold it! The point is not who's going to go first! I can't believe you! You, you won't get past me! Fine. We'll do things the way you like to. We'll fight! Tenchi to me. He's too much to handle for a little girl like you. Shut up! I'm not shutting up or giving up! Sasami? My hand's scary green. Can I sleep with you? Where's Ayaka? She's with Ryoko. Fighting again, I'm sure. Huh? Those two are so impossible. Meow. There you are, Ryoki. I'm so glad. Huh? <laughs> Let's forget about them and we'll all sleep together. Now, just a hey, wait, 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 wait! I wonder what that was out there. Huh? Two wet fools who forgot to knock. Huh? Oh, nothing. Come on, let's go to sleep. 
So, Sasami, what was your dream about? Let's see. A woman took you away, Tenchi. I didn't know who she was. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Sound. Sounds like Mihoshi's shadow. Ow. And it doesn't sound good. <laughs> Mihoshi? Mihoshi? Yes, you can Ojo? Mihoshi, we should be applying the reverse brake. The auto control should do that, so don't worry. And I still don't see any beacon from the Earth, Mihoshi. Oops, I forgot. Forgot? What? They have no such thing on planet Earth. What? Misaki residence. Oh, hello, Tenchi's aunt. Oh, thank you for being so kind to Sasami. Oh, and that dish you taught her to cook the other day. Yes, we all enjoyed it very much. It was delicious. What? I see. Yes, I'm on my way now.
Welcome home! Tenchi! Oh. Thanks for taking the trouble, Auntie. Hmm. Coming all this way to bring Sasami home. Well, Sasami, how was the baby doing? Well, he was cute. Oh. A gift? You're so kind. To celebrate the baby's birth? Well, something like that. <laughs> well, I have to be oh. going. All right. Why don't you come back with the baby? Next time you visit! Yes? Oh, Auntie, I... Uh, Hi. Here are the diapers and the formula and the toys. <coughs> Thanks. You see, his mother just became ill all of a sudden. I knew you wouldn't mind taking care of the baby. Anyway, it'll be just for a few days. You'll be fine, and with so many girls around the house, nothing to worry about. The uh, baby <laughs> Look, Anna... Bye bye. Oh, Good luck. So, it's up to us to take care of this baby for a while. Oh, he's so cute. Very fair. <laughs> he's too adorable. Hmm. Well, Tenshi was much more adorable when he was little. Wow, really? Yeah. Well, obviously they're related. See, his eyes look exactly like Tenchi's. Huh? Yeah, they do? And you see, if he's the grandson of Tenchi's aunt, well then, that means he's related to me also. So you'll grow up to be like Tenchi. Hmm. Oh, so cute! Whoa! Darling! Oh. Babies are so cute, aren't they? Hey, Ryoko! Now, let's play with Mommy. <laughs> hey, stop it! Stop it, baby! <laughs> well, well, now. What did I tell you? A monster like you can't be trusted with babies. No way! Come, come, little one. You were scared. Hmm. What's that mean? You! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, hi there. Did you enjoy your trip? Mihoshi, would you change his diaper, please? Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, Miss Aika, I guess your dress got a little wet. Uh, I'm sorry. Tenchi, what's that? This, this I have to go wash. Please, Miss Aika, you go ahead and change. Really? You mean you're going to wash it? Why don't you leave that up to me, please? Oh, okay then, thank you. My pleasure. Full of her. Now, first you take this like so, and <laughs> uh, mm, I, I just I, I don't think I'm doing it right. No, I don't. Tenshi. 
Hmm. Maybe this goes here, or this goes there, or that goes where, or the... I, I, I don't know! I guess he isn't here. Hmm? Mahoshi, you doing all right? Uh, um, uh, yes, I'm doing just great. <laughs> I'll be done in a second. Ah, uh, oh, and Mihoshi, don't forget to put the diaper cover over it. Huh. Diaper cover. Oh, I see. So this is a diaper cover. That's why it didn't work. <laughs> Here you go. There you are. Ryoko! Ryoko! His diaper cover's not on yet. Hmm. He won't be so soon. But Tenchi told me to put the diaper cover on before I did anything hmm. else. Tenchi was much, much cuter when he was a baby. Hmm. Huh? Oh. Someone must have made some already. Huh? huh. Just drink. Drink it. Do it. Do it. Do Ryoko, it. Come on. Wait a minute. What kind of stuff are you trying to give him this time? What do you mean, what kind of stuff? It's the formula this time, I swear. Aha! I thought so. Anything wrong? Oh, wow! I did it! All right, now he's okay. Yes! You <laughs> uh. sure are lucky to have such nice weather, Ayaka. Yes, indeed. The spring mist is in the air. What is it we're doing exactly? Exactly what you think we're doing. <laughs> Whoopee! <laughs> I had no idea how much work it is taking care of a baby. Well, it's nice to relax. Now it's ah! time to take a bath. Whoa, whoa. Are you ready? We're going in. There, nice and warm. Babies feel so good, so soft and bouncy. What do I do now? Uh, uh, see? See, there's no use in doing mm. that. Uh, I can't breastfeed you. <laughs> Not yet. Mm. Hey, uh, oh, oh, no, P please, stop it. Uh, uh, oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> there, there, Tinchy. Thank you, Sasami. Oh, my! Oh, my! Diapers, diapers! Milk, 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 Oh, no! Milk, what milk, shall we do? Milk, milk, diapers, milk, diapers! Milk, 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 milk. 
Excuse me. Who's there? Who is it? Come back later. I'm busy now. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Wow! What the? This is no good. It doesn't suit your constitution at all. Ah, I've got just the thing full of nourishment. Makes you big, makes you strong. Yes, this is it. There. Perfect. What do I think I'm doing? You're taking care of the baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so annoying, really. You just came into my lab without even asking me. So annoying. Sorry, little Washu. No one else will take care of him. So I had to. Tenshi! <laughs> morning! Yes, stop it. How about a little stop morning it. kiss for me? Get away from me? <gasps> oh, I see. Washu's taking care of you. Well, someone asked to. What do you want? Milk, of course. How do you know? Never mind, just do it. Here, have some milk. Just a minute. <clears throat> hey there, crazy girl. What are you trying to do, suffocate him? You just come sit here now. Whew, you have to give him a break so he can breathe. Hmm. You can't even feed the poor kid properly, can you? Sorry, Mom. I didn't raise you to be a good for nothing. Didn't raise me at all. Here you are. Wow, what's everybody doing here? Taking care of a baby or what? Okay, he's all yours now. Just leave it to me. There, there. Miss Washu? Thank you, little Washu. Come to your mama, baby. I do it. Yeah, he doesn't, doesn't like it. Holding him right. Yes, what are you honey, doing? Oh, here. Ah. <sighs> 
just can't work today. You girls, really? Why do I always have to do this? April rose, it's tiny sparrows come, it's bright and blue. You. It sure looks like the baby belongs to you now. Guess I don't have a choice. He's such an angel when he's asleep. But once he wakes up... That's the way it is. He doesn't know how to talk yet, you see. So he has to show what he wants with his body. Saying, I'm here, I want this or that. Right? You're a selfish little thing, aren't you? Well, it's only natural. You see, that's the only thing you can be when you're a baby. Hmm? What now? Oh, well, you see, I lost my mother when I was very little, and uh, I was wondering if this is how a mother and child are. Oh, yes. This is exactly how you and your mother were. Oh, you think so? I know so. Huh? Hmm? Oh. Uh, sorry, I woke you up. <laughs> well, I have to be on my way now, and, uh... uh... Penchy? Huh? Good night. Good night, little Washu. No, no, little one. I'm not your mommy. I'm not your mom. Morning! What's up? Oh, Tenshi, good morning. It won't be long now, so you'll just have to wait a moment. Huh? Who could it be? Yes, honey, it's coming. Little Washu. Mm. Thank you for taking care of him. Thank you. It was so nice of you, really. That's okay. 
I really appreciate it. You did a great job for your age. Oh, well, there's so many girls around here, so I didn't have to take care of them alone. Oh, my, the baby's talking. Wow, he really is talking. <laughs> Mama, Mama. Well, it's time for us to be going now. Thanks again. And please, tell Sasami to come visit Taro whenever she wants. Okay, that's great. I'll be sure to tell her. Yeah! Thank God he's gone. You worked the hardest of us all, little Washu. It was a lot of work, but then we'll miss him when he's gone, I guess. He called me mom. Oh, babies, babies. Tenchi? Yes? I had a baby once. What? The father was a member of Royal Space Academy, like myself. We were both students when we got married. I loved him and felt so attached to him. Me and him and the baby. That was all I needed in the whole world. But you see, he was from a very prestigious family. While I was gone, messengers came from his family. And he and the baby were taken from me. Lineage, social status. Why should these things matter so much? That's how grown-ups are. If that's so, I'd be happier being a child, never ever growing up. That's terrible, little Washu. I don't know what to say. I feel like I should help. Uh, I, huh? Tenchi, I'll be glad to bear a child, if the child is yours. Whoa, 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 Miss Washu, really, I... No, 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 Tenchi. You can just call me Washu uh, now. Uh, 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 now, now, now. Just close your eyes, Tenchi. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Ouch, you shouldn't do that to your mommy, little Ryoko. <sighs> mommy, my butt. You just don't know when to stop, do you now? Hmm, honey, I thought I'd make you a little brother in case you're lonely being the only child in the family. I know it really must be tough. You don't understand how bad it is! I'm so sad. Baby, me, Swashu! How dare you say such things when you have a husband? How dare you? That was 20,000 years ago that I had a husband, had a husband. I, that I'm still quite so young, that I'm lonely come bedtime. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> hey, you, I'm not talking about that. You listen to me. You don't lay a finger on my Tenchi. Ryoko, how dare you? Ryoko, oh, I'm my. Shut you. up, I'm busy now. Since Please stop Tenchi it, both of yours? you. <sighs> Ever since Tenchi was Those born. kids, they are so helpless. Huh? Right, Tenchi? They Nonsense, never grow up, do they? Nothing more. I know Tenchi would agree with me. He's been mine since before he was born, I'm telling well, you. That's what you claim, nothing more. There is this strong bond of love between Tenchi and me.
this is quite a mess. Gee, what a dump. Are we really gonna stay here? Hey, you made this mess! Oh my! I didn't know you cared. How sweet. Oh. Welcome. It's a long trip. Thanks for coming all the way. Well, thank you for inviting us back again. <laughs> Here you go. Mm -hmm. Boys, you get to work repairing the damage. Girls, you start on cleaning, laundry, and cooking. Hey. But we're tired. Can't we rest a little bit first? What did you say? Me? Oh, nothing. We should probably do what she says. That's right. Come on, let's go now. Excuse me, ma'am. Pardon me. What's my assignment to be? You're new, aren't you? Yes, I am. How do you do? My name is Washu, and I am at your service, oh, great respected one. Well, well, for being so young and all, you are a good, polite girl, and I like that. Now, I'm not planning on making any children do any work, so why don't you run along with Sammy and play? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Huh? Hmm. Wash you, you slacker! Ouch! Just what the... Quit wasting my time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> oh, Nubuyuki. I thought you were a party of eight, but it looks like we got one more guest. Huh? Eh? What are you talking about? There are only eight of us. That's strange. I could swear I saw a young lady resembling me as a young woman. Well, there's no one like that with us. Not at all. She's starting to see things. Watch out. <gasps> I said get to work and I mean it. Yes, yes ma'am. Shall we go? Okay. Hmm. Hey, Ayeka. Hmm? Uh, nothing. Never mind. All right. Come on now, Sasami. Okay. This is a milfoil. Did you know these flowers are supposedly grown for their beauty and medicinal values? But I wonder what they cure. Sasami! Huh? Come over here, Sasami! Come on, it's a wonderful view, it really is! Hmm... <sighs> oh. ah. Sasami! What? Where'd she go? Oh well, Ryooki is with her, so she'll be fine, I'm sure. This must be what she had in mind when she called and invited us over. Hmm, I was so stupid. Let's just say naive. <laughs> well, you were excited about coming here too. Did you say something? Uh, uh no, nothing, nothing. <laughs> 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 I told you to be careful. <laughs> Boneheads. Hey, Tenchi, look. Hmm? Oh. Now who's a bonehead? You're a big help with the way you're peeling, then we won't have anything left to eat. Is that right? Well, with how slowly you're peeling them, we're never gonna finish, Madam Slowpoke. Mm-hmm. Well, at least I have a talent for not wasting food. What are you saying? The truth! Mm. Uh, settle down, both of you. I mean, let's not argue over nothing, okay? I mean, at least wait till it's something to argue about. Mm. Uh. Oh. Oh. What? 
Hey, I didn't do anything. <sighs> it wasn't me, I tell you. I really didn't do anything, and you better believe me. Sesame, was it you? No. Oh, Aika. Hmm? Did you see someone else here just now? No, Aika, I didn't. Meow. I thought I saw someone. Aika, I need hey, to tell you... Hey, Aika, what was it? Oh, nothing! Uh, Sesame, you were saying... Uh, nothing, really. Huh? Hmm. Please, hold it tight, Grandpa. I know. Hurry up. Hmm? Ah. Uh, did did you did you see that? Hmm. Uh. I'm telling you what we saw. We saw a vague, ghost-like figure. Oh, okay, you you guys are just trying to scare me now, right? No, we actually saw it. Mm. You saw it? Yes. Uh -huh. Come to think of it, Dad and Grandpa said they saw something, something similar. Uh, stop it, please! I can't stand it! I can't stand it! What are you afraid of, Tenshi? Hey, do I look afraid? Huh? Uh, uh, Grandpa! Listen, I'll tell you the story. When I was a young man, the person who lived here told it to me. It begins over 600 years ago. There was a house on a mountain, far away from civilization. In it there lived a couple. People respected and admired their relationship because they were so much in love. However, the wife had been sickly since childhood and had become bedridden for quite some time. It is said she probably knew that her time was running short. They did their best trying to care for each other and live their lives to the fullest and to treasure their remaining time together. One stormy night, they heard a voice through the howling wind. It wasn't their imagination. The voice was real. Though they were scared, they were compelled to listen, and this is what the voice said to them. Head to the west. Go over three mountains and you'll find an herb that can cure any kind of sickness. Thus the wind spoke and then fell silent. The husband believed the wind's words and decided to go search for the herb. She begged him to remain and not leave her alone, but he left and set out for the west. Huh? Uh. Ow! For six months, she waited for his return holding on against death with all her strength. But he didn't return. She spoke to herself, saying, I wish that I were healthy. Then I would be able to look for him. But, alas, her hopes were in vain. And one day, all alone, she passed away. After that day around this place, people began to see an image of a woman. They call her the White Ghost. So you'd better watch out, Tenchi. Hmm? Huh? Her spirit wanders aimlessly, searching for her beloved, constantly searching. She may even come for you. Hey! Ah! 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 Haven't you rested long enough? Get back to work! Oh, yes, yes ma'am! Ma <laughs> Kids today! Hey! That goes for you too, I hope you know. But I... the white ghost is... Not the white ghost! That old story of yours again? You! Your story? That you made it all up? <laughs> yep. Not mad, are you? Cut it out! <laughs> Ouch! Go fix the lights or something. When will they ever grow up? Why am I the one who has to fix this? Dad and Grandpa are always sitting around doing nothing.
Huh? So what if Grandpa's story was all made up? I mean, we all did see that white image. Haha, <laughs> I better stop thinking about ghosts or I'll probably see one. <laughs> Hey! Jeez! Silly me! It's just a stupid can! something. Where did you see it exactly? Uh, uh, huh? Ah! Huh? <laughs> My imagination. Sasami? Uh, uh. Sasami? Not so tight! <laughs> Sasami, it's only you. I can't breathe. <laughs> My, that was so scary. I thought it was. Uh... Huh? Look, Sasami's reflection is. Uh huh? Oh! <gasps> Tsunami. Oh my, Sasami. not around here anywhere. I looked. She's not inside the inn. Washu? Hmm. Nope. I've checked. My instruments can't seem to find a trace of her. Oh, no. I can't communicate with Rio Oki now, either. Ah. We'll just have to spread out and search for her ourselves. Well, I'll go this way. All right. Huh. Let's see. I'll go this way, then... Hmm. You! Oh. Go that way. Hmm. Sasami! Sasami! Sasami, where are you? Uh, where are you? That reflection was of Tsunami. Then what is happening to Sasami? Let's leave them alone. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, Aika, but I'm not the real Sasami. Huh? What? What? What do you mean, Sasami? What? <laughs> Sasami. Oh. Uh huh. Seven hundred years ago. Huh? Yes, it all happened seven hundred years ago. <laughs> ah! 
That day when the space pirate Ryoko attacked planet Jirai. Intruder in block 194. Intruder in block 194. Princess Sasami, where are you? Sasami! Sasami! Princess Sasami! Princess Asami, where could she have gone? Where did she go? Wow. Princess Asami, is my little princess all right? Yes. Oh, good. I tried to tell you many times. The real Asami died that day. Therefore, I am, I, I am not your real sister. <laughs> Sasami? Um... Are you telling me this to drive me away? No, Aika. I love you so much! <laughs> I do, I really... Really? Yes, I do! Yes, I do! You do? Well, I love you too, Sasami. <laughs> we love each other. That's what counts. Tenchi? Um, uh, I... Uh, <laughs> I feel the same as Aika. Uh, Sasami, we like you just the way you are. Right, Sasami. Whatever happens, you are my dear sister. Uh, Aika. Tenchi! <laughs> uh, oh. 
be that way. That's fine. <laughs> so Sami is a little girl after all. Let's see. Looks like she's fallen asleep. Yes, it looks that way. The poor dear's exhausted. I guess she was afraid after we found out about her secret, we would leave her. She... she told me that the real Sasami died. But if that's true, then... Oh. Uh, Princess Aeka. Sasami didn't really die, Princess Aeka. She thinks of herself as my creation, but she actually survived by assimilating with me. She's still young. One day she will understand everything. I don't understand. Why didn't you tell her? She wouldn't have believed it, Princess Aeka, even if I had told her. Besides, Sasami needed to know of your feelings for her. Right now, that's more important than the truth of her identity. Princess Aeka, she truly is your real sister. Mm. Wow! Beautiful. Here you are. We've been looking for you. Tenshi, come on, have a little sake. I'm still a miner. Go right Go ahead. ahead. Huh? <laughs> Let's liven things up. What do you say? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Oh. <sighs> oh no. Someone feeling kind of blue around here? Hmm. Hmm. You know, I didn't know that your eye had trees that could take on human form. <sighs> you don't understand anything. Meaning? <sighs> Tsunami and Sasami are the same. There, get it? So what? Oh, they are assimilated. That means that Sasami and Tsunami are identical, which means that when Sasami grows up... She'll look like Tsunami? Hmm, it can't be. Yes, she will be like me. We have separate minds right now, but when we are joined in one form... You can call me Sasami or Tsunami. Whichever one you prefer. Huh? You needn't worry. When we are united, she will have a complete memory. That's, That's not, not why, why we're, we're worried. worried! Huh? So Sasami will look like you? Yes, I am the image of Sasami in the future. Damn, I didn't think about this. Since Aika's no competition, I thought Sasami was nothing to worry about. I didn't plan on this. Sasami's beauty will surpass mine. <laughs> well, she's a lot prettier than you are. <laughs> and at least she's better looking than you are. What'd you say? I'm simply stating a fact. Uh, um. Shut up! Yeah, you stay out of this. <gasps> oh. You never were as pretty as me, ever. You never were. What? You just try and name one advantage you have over me. Everything. Oh, well, well don't fun. argue like that. Oh, uh, are, are you two okay? Of 
course we aren't. What do you think, you simpleton? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna get you. Isn't it obvious to you? Oh, well, not really. Hey, Ryoko, are those carrots for Ryoki? Hey! Eureka! <laughs> oh! huh. No carrot unless you catch a fish. Um, excuse me, Ryoko, but I think you're asking too much. I don't think I'll wear these anymore. Oh, I didn't know this shirt was here. Oh, that's right. I left it at Grandpa's last vacation. Huh? What's this?
I'm home. Welcome home, Tenchi. I'm home. Huh? Ryoko. What is it, Tenchi? Uh... Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do I look good? Hmm? Yes or no? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <gasps> Right. Well, I wouldn't call it well balanced. Oh! No! But now, see? It's nice and light and balanced. Uh, Tenchi? Oh, you! I hate you! I hate you! No, I didn't mean you. Ryoki. Wait, you have misunderstood me, Ryoki. What's wrong, Tenchi? Ryoki. Ryoki. Huh? Ryoki. What's the matter with you? Come talk to your mommy. Hmm, she's acting so strange. She doesn't seem to be around. Oh, Tenchi! Is that you, Tenchi? Have you found Rio Oki yet? Sasami, it's almost tea time now. She'll probably get hungry and come home soon. Ah, Mihoshi, I'll go check the field. You two wait in the house. I'm sorry, Ryoki. I apologize. See, I'm sorry. It wasn't you I was yelling at. Really. You see, I couldn't possibly hate you, Ryoki. I have a good idea. Let's take a lot of carrots home right now, okay? You're doing great. It's real easy this way. Uh oh, Ryoki, stop a car, stop! Oh, oh, someone's coming! Let me down! Oh. 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 Ryoko! Uh, uh, I'm not angry anymore. You mean it? 
Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Oh. Let me carry it for you, Tenchi. It's way too heavy for you. Hey, Ryoko. It's okay. No problem. Ryoko. to me. You want me to take it there, don't you? Uh, yes, I, I guess. I'm going to cook your favorite carrot dish tonight, Ryoki, and plenty of it, too. <laughs> wow. She's a cute kid. Well... Here you go, Tinchi. And thank you very much, Sasami. No, no, you you stay home. We don't want to be seen flying around again. Just a minute. I'll be done very shortly. aquatic creatures living on a planet 23,000 light years away from Earth. Their name is Mass. You know what their name means? Mass means the original element of all things, and they are used as your life base. How about that, huh? No wonder you are interested in them. Huh? Hello, Miss Washu. I've come to tell you it's almost tea time. Oh, no. Is it getting so late? You can tell me later, not now. We must put an end to our relationship. What? But I love you! I love you! I love you! I have a wife and children. Please try to understand. But I love you still! I love you! I love you! Think about your future. You would never serious about me? Oh, yes, of course I was. I don't want to hurt you because I really love you. Oh, I wouldn't mind being hurt. What I have for you is eternal love. Love! 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 Popoko. Jeez. Oh. Popoko. Oh, Chief. Oh. No, I can't do that. It will just make you suffer. Oh. Suffer I will, but the love will overcome it all. Huh? I think I hear something. Oh, Popoko, darling. Oh. Hmm? Mm. Oh, Chief. Are you sure <laughs> you won't regret it? Hey, sorry to interrupt, but we have news to report. Oh, oh, the new Galaxy Police battleship Shunga has been robbed. No statement or demand has been okay. made I'm by the unknown culprit now. yet, and no sign of progress yeah. has been made in the investigation oh, yeah. since the robbery was discovered. Oh, my God. Well, it's getting late. Guess I'll have my lunch now. Hmm? Ah, ha, ha, some rice crackers. Uh. 
The masses were kept in that tank. Masses? What's masses? Your father, Ryoko. What? What do you mean? Well, what I mean is I created you by using this creature with my egg cells. Ryooki was made the same way. Except it was with a mineral life in her case. Mineral life? So then it was Ryoko's father who has escaped? <sighs> The masses are gentle creatures by nature and wouldn't do anything like this. Unless some very specific factor interfered. Please, ma'am. Just what is a mass anyway? Hmm. That is an excellent good question, Miss Ayaka. <laughs> What's this all about? Quiet, quiet, thank you. Now, please look ahead. This is a mass. Hmm. So, uh, that is Ryoko's honorable father, is that right? Hmm. I've always thought of her as a monster, hmm. but now I know for a fact she really is a monster. What'd you say? Oh, listen now. The masses act hmm. as a group, and it is the will of their leader, which is the brain, that decides the behavior of the group. Hmm. However, when the leader senses any other will stronger than their own, they accept it as their brain and act accordingly. Do you understand? Uh... Hmm. Huh. I guess you don't. So, ask me some questions, okay? Okay. You mean if those masses move around? Raise your hand first if you have a question. <laughs> oh, Professor? Yes, Miss Ayaka? Question. Will it cause any problem if those creatures move around on their own? Oh, yes, indeed. In fact, when attacked or exposed to some extreme tension, <laughs> meaning when the masses feel threatened, well, they have a habit of shooting out parts of their bodies at the enemy. What you see here are the remains of a spaceship destroyed by attacking masses. Wow! How is it possible for such tiny creatures to generate such power? The secret is in their physical structure. They are composed of the material, the neutral material, and the antimaterial. What that means is that the antimaterial, normally encased in the neutral material, is disturbed as part of the neutral material is destroyed by some exterior stimulation, which results in a counter extinction between material and antimaterial, and. Kaboom! and I think we should probably try to capture him as soon as possible. Hmm. Our problem in finding the masses is that they do not react to any searching systems, such as life-reactive and heat-reactive systems. The only way is to use our physical sights. So, here is the question. How would you go about finding the masses? <sighs> Answer, Miss Ryoko. What? You're... Asking me? <clears throat> well, I... I think we should all go and look for them. <laughs> Boom! Wrong! I think we will know where the masses went if we can find the factor that has affected them. Excellent answer, Miss Ayaka. <laughs> and would you believe that factor is this? Ow! But how can you be sure of that? If anyone communicated with the masses, it must have been her. She was the only one right there in front of the tank. Well, if you know all that, why don't you just ask Ryo Oki where... Oh... Uh... In order to find out where the masses went, we'll check her memory with this device. No, you can't! No, you can't check her memory without her permission! You just can't do that, the poor thing! Sasami. Meow. Meow. Ryoki. Do 
good girl. That's strange. Very, very strange. The main OS should be in here. <laughs> but now there's nothing but carrots. And this area. Oh, there is some data about us. Let's see if we can find the most recent data she has. Sweet thing. But wait. If the force behind what's moving the masses is the will to help Tenchi... Then the masses went to Tenchi. Wait, but why would the masses go to find Tenchi if they're Ryoko's father? It's not my father! Oh. Professor Washu. Our troubles begin if the masses sense the hidden power inside Tenchi. Oh, no. Then they will attack him. Huh? Oh. Tenchi! Oh. Ryoko! Ah! Well, all I wanted to do was warn you. About the shield up there. That's an experiment of Washu's. Uh, excuse me. down unless you want to scare it. Mm. We'll be just fine. Our decoy is on the way. Decoy? Oof. That damn washu. Okay. You seem to have assimilated quite successfully. Ha, 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 ha. 
need to practice walking, Rio Oki. Thank you. Oh, what a day. Shall we go now, Sasami? Thank you, Ryoki. Off we go now. A genius scientist, Dr. Clay, suddenly arrives on Earth. What is the purpose of Zero taking over Yoko? Episode number 11 of Tenchi series, The Advent of the Goddess, is coming up.
capture field normal. 250 parsecs to target point. Carrying the whole galaxy. Marvelous is the power of Her Majesty. What a fantastic power. We're going out. Yes, sir. Adjustment of the field space particle completed. There seems to have been combat again. this doctor our mission has not been completed yet no need to bother I don't need to do it personally leave it to the machines that'll be fine I have just returned. I understand your mission has not been completed yet, Dr. Clay. Well, no, but I have come to make an extremely important report today, D3, sir. Oh, more important than the report on the mission assigned to you, I suppose. I hear that Lady Tokimi is looking for a certain person. Hmm. And that... The order was given to someone else to search for that certain person. I will not inquire as to how you came to know that. I demand an interview with Lady Tokimi. Lady Tokimi is right here. Huh? <gasps> However, there is no guarantee that the certain person you know is the one our lady is looking for is there. That's exactly why I need to see Lady Tokimi, to confirm. Confirmation can be given by me. Yes, my lady, as you will. You may make your report to Lady Tokimi. You are too kind, but will you tell me where Lady Tokimi is? You don't seem to realize yet very well. You may see her with your own eyes. Lady Tokimi will descend and reveal herself. What? High-level dimension reaction. Oh. Now you may speak. Whatever you have to say, say it. Your Majesty, Lady Tokimi, you do me too much honor by seeing me in person like this. I bring you news. About Washu Clay? Huh? Very well, I'll leave it all to you. Succeed, and I may grant your wish. That wish you have for the ruling rights over one entire galaxy. Whoa, 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 what? It is Lady Tokimi's wish to meet with Lady Washu in person, but... Be sure not to hurt her. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Soon an entire galaxy will be mine. What's your problem? I am scared. You can't be. You're not supposed to have such emotions, so don't. Maybe your memory has not been completely erased from the last assignment. It is erased completely, sir. However, I can't help myself from shaking all over just looking at Lady Tokimi. 
Well, it certainly wasn't your first time witnessing a high-level dimensional life form. With anyone else, I can make logical computation of existence, but Lady Tokimi... Lady Tokimi is... is... What about Lady Tokimi? Her very existence is impossible, even though she was present right there in front of us. And yet, no such information is found anywhere in the data bank. Nonsense! The absolutely complete ring of theoretical system is established here in the data bank. Absolutely everything is known here, even though we are not able to comprehend it all. For the moment, you'd better not investigate the matter any further. I understand. You must concentrate on the task at hand. I have a lot for you to do from now on. Bell peppers here. Carrots. Carrots here. Salt. Salt here. Pepper. Pepper here. No, you can't eat yet. Oh. Oh my. Ah, this is life. What is it that you want? Miyoko. That's my name. Hey, you! Let me go now! <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> oh, uh, you. You hurt me. It's cruel of you to make a scar on a woman's face. It looks like me. Is that my clone? I'm going to borrow your body and memory. Oh, that's what you think! Oh! I assume you have a completed duplication process? Yes, Doctor. Look at this. <laughs> Even while you won't be able to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. This reaction is... Ah! What? What is the meaning of this? There isn't anything that can't be duplicated by the power endowed me by Lady Tokimi. It's inconceivable. And there's no answer found in Ryoko's memory either, Doctor. What you will detect me if I stay longer. If we can't duplicate the jewel, we have no other choice but to take hers. We'll deal with the others after we capture Washu. Understood, Doctor. <laughs> it seems to have worked this time. However... I was going to dispose of her on the spot, but she may be worth taking time to study. Oh, did she? What the? What's wrong with you, Tenchi? I I thought I heard someone call me. You're hearing things. Ah. Hmm. By the way, did you have any luck? No, and believe me, I've tried several times since the combat with Kagato, but... You couldn't generate Lighthawk wings again? Hmm. hmm. It was probably just an accident, I guess. Or created by Tsunami's power. I don't think so, Tenchi. Those wings were definitely generated by you. Now listen up. You were completely blocked from any outside power, including tsunamis at that time, Tenchi. and your body was... Hmm, huh? <gasps> oh. Tenchi, Washu, it's meal time. Great, I'm starving. Hmm, well, probably it's all mental. Normally, you don't need things like light hawk wings in your daily life. Mm, uh... 
Trivial question, but did I really need to take my clothes off? <laughs> no. Oh, I knew it. Oh, I am starving. Tenchi, are you all right? You don't seem to be hurt, but... Oh, I'm fine. What'd you say? Oh, no, nothing. <laughs> Go on, Tenchi, eat, and eat a lot. Hey, where's Ryoko? Ryoko went out a while ago to buy some sake. Well, she should be back any minute now. Meow. She probably drank it all on the way and fell asleep, as usual. Oh, my. Now the rice is getting cold. Meow. Don't bother waiting for her. Let's just eat. Just give her the leftovers and she won't know the difference. Well, I think I'll go look for her. Oh, you will? <laughs> <laughs> Washu, she is not aware of anything. Well then, I'll take you to the doctor now. Oh, Ryoko! What are you doing here? You're keeping everyone waiting, you know. Oh, what's happening? Why is my heart beating so fast all of a sudden? And my facial capillary vessels are open all the way. Denji Masaki. I've known him since I duplicated the data, but I had no idea about this kind of reaction. Yoko, uh... Yes? What? Oh. Oh, Tenji, I went to buy it so that we can drink it together. Drink it together? It's like indirectly kissing. Hey, what are you... Oh. oh, Miss Aika! Enough is enough! Uh. Have it your way! Ah. Ryo, go, go eat! Go eat! What is it about that boy? What's this surge of emotion that's flared up in me? Is it that boy who's caused it? Oh, oh. Mm. Oh, my! <laughs> meow, meow, meow! Wow, what's this? You don't touch that! Oh. Hmm. Ah. Oh, stir away ah. the face! And close your eye. Hmm. And close your other eye. And open your ah. mouth a wider. Ah. Oh, that's a good and smile. What's this all about? Uh, I'm just uh, checking your life form data from the time you came to live in this house. You know, scientific stuff. Be a good girl and sit still for me. Uh. Responsive, aren't we? Worthy of a princess of planet Jirai. Miss Washu! <laughs> hey, easy. Just kidding, just kidding. So, that's Washu, the genius scientist even my doctor can't compete with. Hey, next, Ryoko, dear. <laughs> Why should I bother with such a thing, huh? <laughs> uh, Sit down. All right. Meow. <gasps> What's this? Uh, Just as I suspected. What is it you suspected? I suspected your wrists are sagging. <laughs> sagging? <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, okay. I... Stop it, Bubblehead. I told you not to play with that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Zero. Capture Washu. I'm leaving. Oh, Tenchi, please. <clears throat> It'll just be a minute only to examine you a little bit. But I have to go to the field now. You promised you would be my guinea didn't you? Now there's a conversation I don't recall. Mm, Tenchi, uh, darling, please. Uh, 
maybe later when I come back. I gotta go, okay? Ooh, you mean thing. <laughs> Little wash you. <gasps> Do you know where my gloves are? Oh! How'd they get here? I knew it was you, Washu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, what are you doing here? Hello. Oh, oh well. Damn, Washu. She won't fall into our hands very easily. Funny. She called that boy her guinea pig. Yoko, uh -huh. isn't today the day that you're supposed to do the laundry? <laughs> oh, is it? Did you forget? Well, then why don't you join me, Tenchi? <laughs> My God. What am I gonna do? It's an emergency! Uh, Tenchi? Oh. I have got an emergency call, so I guess I'm gonna be out for a while. Well, take care, Mahoshi. Oh, it's so sweet of you to say that. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, I'll be back by dinner time. Time. I've been sending signals regularly to you since yesterday. Oh, uh, wet, yuck. Mihoshi! Hmm? Yes? An extremely important message was received from headquarters. I wonder what it is. Yukinojo, please play the message for me. Roger. Uh, it's me. This is probably news that you've heard already. The new Galaxy Police battleship, Shunga, was robbed, and by someone unknown. Now, we have a report that the battleship was detected in the area you are in now. Anything happens, Mihoshi, you contact headquarters immediately. You got that? Make sure you contact headquarters. Repeat, simply contact headquarters. Nothing more. Over. Roger. First Class Detective Mihoshi is on the way to investigate. You can know just... Yes, ma'am, Mihoshi. You. Dinner's ready. Oh, it's so late already. And what do you want, little Ryoko? Uh, 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 I just thought you might need my help with something. Uh... All right, then you can put this and this and this data in for me. Thanks, Ryoko. Uh... Ryoko, dinner time. Oh. Oh, yes, I'll be right behind you. <laughs> you. Um... Uh, don't worry, she's okay. I don't think Mahoshi's gonna make it. Not for dinner, anyway. Ryoko? Ryoko! Don't you like the food? Huh? Oh, no, it's not that. It's delicious. Mm. Mm. Uh, why is everybody staring at me? Mm -hmm. About time for a tea break. Whoa! Ryo Oki? 
Now, won't you take a bath with me? Come on, huh? let's go. Oh, uh, I don't want to. Hey, let me go. Will you listen to your mom for once? <laughs> Perfect. Imagine she's giving me the opportunity to be alone with her. Scrub yourself well while you can. Come here now, my little Ryoko. We're all alone now. Ooh. You should keep your body nice and clean. Or you'll disappoint Tenchi. Uh -huh. That's a good girl, little Ryoko. Hmm? Hmm. By the way, Tenchi was talking about you, Ryoko. Mm -hmm. What? About me? Mm-hmm. He was complaining that you haven't cleaned the toilet yet today. Oh, I see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, what a surprise! <gasps> you mean you volunteered to clean the toilet? What? But I thought it was my turn. No, you're in charge of cleaning the yard. I believe it's Washu's turn to clean the toilet today. Huh? But I'm impressed, Ryoko. Uh, 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 <laughs> that darn Washu, she's a cheat. That's what she is. That worked out fine for Zero. me. <laughs> I got compliments from Tenchi. Zero. <laughs> Zero. <gasps> Doctor. What do you think you are doing? You have a mission. You're supposed to be capturing Washu. I'm sorry, Doctor Clay. Mm. I have been watching you, and I see that boy called Tenchi is distracting you from doing your job. Oh, no. Not really, Doctor. Zero? Ah. You got it. Yes, sir. Yoko. 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 Yeah. Oh, it's only you, Ryooki. I am a loyal servant of the doctor. And the order given to me was. Drift. 
Now that's cute. Huh? <gasps> Washu. If I take you with me... <clears throat> then I won't have to kill Tenshi. What are you gonna do with that? Huh? Gonna take that widow dolly to Dr. Clay? I had no idea he went for that sort of thing. <sighs> because if it's a gift, I can put a ribbon on it for ya. How did you know about all this? I thought the link with you was cut off for sure. I guess the gems are real, aren't they? Huh? That does it! I'm ready. Cut. That's enough! No more violence! I will not allow it! Not in this house! Don't get in my way. Huh? If you do, I will kill you. Huh? Uh, Tenchi! Ryoko, what's up? It's not what you think. Tenchi! Whoa! Watch out! No! <gasps> Tenchi! Tenchi! Hmm. <laughs> We're going after her, Ryooki. Oh dear, here we go again. But you're going to come with me, yes, Ayaka? Well, I guess I couldn't leave her. 
Not looking so awfully pitiful anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Aieka. Don't you think that copy has a better personality than the real Ryoko? <laughs> you may be right. She's so meek, don't you agree? I agree. Did you say that wasn't the real Ryoko? That's not exactly what I said, but I did say something like that. Then what about the real Ryoko? Well, those gems are real, so the real Ryoko's probably still alive. <sighs> You're putting a trace on Ryoko, aren't you, Ryoki? <laughs> huh? Battle energy reaction? Whoa! Whoa! It's Mihoshi! <gasps> yes, I wonder how she found them. She's a genius! I swear it! Now, Washu! Huh? If that's where Ryoko's prisoner, then we should storm the place and get her! I'll find that bastard clay! Washu, come on! Why don't you hang on a second there while I pinpoint his location? is hopeless. Huh, there he is. See, Tenchi? Huh? Huh? Uh, oh. I wish you would try thinking a little more before you act, Tenchi. So what do we do now, Lord Tenchi? What do you think? First, we rescue Mihoshi, and then... Looks like she's all right, I guess. Well, that boy is pretty good for an earthling. But he doesn't look good enough for Washu to be so interested in him. Well, at any rate, there's no way they can get here. <laughs> That's why I told him to wait for a while. What? Washu? How did you get here? You certainly look older, Dr. Clay. Although your octopus head is just like the old days. <laughs> Uh -huh. Ooh. You're just the same, Washu. <laughs> just like when we were competing for the director's chair at the Academy. But now it's time for you to find out how I felt when I was driven out of the Academy. Now it's your turn to know how that feels, Washu. Huh? It is my recommendation that you do not move. If you do, this entire ship will blow up along with your pet guinea pig. Not to mention, dear Washu, that precious girl of yours. Huh. Oh well, it's a good thing it's not someone like Aika. <laughs> So perhaps you can tell me what those gems are she was wearing. To be perfectly honest, even Her Majesty couldn't figure them out. Which frankly surprises me. Actually, frankly and honestly, I don't know either. They've been around since I was a little girl. <coughs> well, that is interesting. By the way, I really must say I was very surprised to hear you call that boy a guinea pig. I think it was the first time I ever heard a human called that. <laughs> what about him do you like? He doesn't seem like especially worthwhile material. Anyone as easy to trick as he must be a blockhead. Oh, pardon me. Actually, that's what I like about him. 
Besides, just because I call him my little guinea pig doesn't necessarily mean that he's a research subject, does it? <laughs> huh? Oh, seriously, this must be some kind of joke by you, Washu. Some joke indeed. Hmm. Hey there. I'm sure you didn't go to all this trouble just to reminisce about the good old days. Now did you, Dr. Clay? What do you want from me? There was not a day I didn't think about you these 20,000 years. I can't tell you how many times I thought that ever knowing you was the greatest misfortune of my life. Old men are so full of grudges. Well, that's all coming to an end today. The biggest pain of my life will become the goddess of good fortune. Good for you. I mean you, Washu dear. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There's a place I'd like to take you. Someone wants to meet oh, you. Oh, little girls turn you on, huh? What? Ah, I knew it. You're going to take me to some kind of secret club and then do all kinds of things to my young and beautiful body. Oh, my. Oh, my. And at the end, you're going to do something absolutely unspeakable. Wow! age has such a way of distorting how you express your love. I never said such things. Well, I appreciate your feelings, really I do. <laughs> but why can't you understand that I'm in love with someone else? Oh, I should cut that out. Besides, why would I be interested in something that I can't tell the front from the back? <laughs> Take a look, you jerk. No, I'll just joke stop at. I don't want to see you. The one who wants to see you is Lady Tokimi. Huh? Lady Tokimi? <laughs> surprised, Washu. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised. It's the first time I've heard you call somebody by a title. <laughs> Damn you! So, who is this Tokimi anyway? What? Remember, I was locked up for the last 5,000 years. I'm pretty sure I don't remember hearing that name while I was at the Academy. Can't remember a thing that happened over 20,000 years ago. Uh, come on, give me a hand. <laughs> well, you're still the little Joker, aren't you, Washu? You may not know her, but she knows you. If you want to know, ask when you get there. Where could Ryoko be? Tenchi, I think, didn't we come this way earlier? What? Tenchi! I think that maybe we should go this way, Tenchi. of the passageway is different from the galaxy police structure and I think that perhaps this means perhaps this means this means that perhaps we're trapped in here <laughs> yes we're trapped in here we are very locked up we are oh dear <laughs> what are we gonna do <laughs> Don't you want to know how I knew where to find you? Aren't you just the slightest bit curious? Well, why not? It's a long trip. Why don't you sit down and talk? Please, sit down. Huh? I am interested in how you found the location of this bridge, but also how you found out about Ryoko. I thought it was because of the gems. But it seems I was wrong, I guess. To tell you the truth, in all these thousands of years, I've never been detected in any kind of search. 
I'm very impressed. You must have some system washoe. It's simple, really. Did you know you have a habit of marking all your favorite things with your special logo? Always it. What? That's how I knew that the bridge was in the statue's head. <laughs> and this is your favorite. Now, how did you get your hands on that? Uh, now, stop that. Do you know how much trouble I went through to get that? What should I do with this? Give it to me this instant, or others will suffer. What? What? Uh, oh! <laughs> all right, all right. to get the gang and Ryoko back, and I'll give you this doll. But I really must insist that you, uh, don't do anything indecent with it, okay? Whoa! Don't move! Z Zero! Where have you been? Never mind. How about that? You forgot to take Zero into account. I'm ashamed of you. We'll see about that. Hmm. You won't be able to keep up that attitude for long. I meant you too, Doctor. What do you mean? Pay attention, Doctor. Please don't get Tenshi involved anymore. Unbelievable. Even though a different memory was planted, complete and absolute obedience to me should be in the depth of her unconsciousness. My guess is that it's because you made a complete copy. Zero. Listen to me, that is not your will. The pseudo-personality that was planted in you is making you act like that. All I have to do is erase that memory. Whoa! Uh. No, Doctor. I want this memory and body. I want to live as Ryoko! You would betray me? How dare you? Why, well, you're just... You're just a marionette that I made! I... I am Ryoko! Enough! Oh. Ah! Oh. Uh, zero! Ten... Chi... Ten... Ryoko! Clay, you're an awful bastard! Everyone's making fun of me. You haven't changed at all, have you? This is why you were kicked out of school. You're the one who stirred those who are jealous of my talent to drive me out! There's no one like that at the graduate school. The ones who don't love their work are the ones who are disliked, and they're the ones that are driven out. I'll tell you what I love. I love perfection, and my technology is perfect. That's what I love. There can't be any defect in my work. There can't be! <laughs> you idiot! You dare call me that? <laughs> 20,000 years ago, you don't remember? Didn't you say that? I remember investigating your past a long time ago. Oh, yes, I do indeed. <laughs> Let's see what your relationship with Lady Tokimi is by making a copy of your memory. Uh, back off, you idiot! Don't you know a woman's age and past are best kept a secret? I know that I am a scientist. I know that I can't stand leaving a mystery unsolved, and the same applies to that gem washu. I don't know anything about it. I don't even know if it really exists or not. What the... Her very existence is impossible, even though she was present right there in front of us. My God! Whoa! How could this be? 
Its function should have been totally shut down. Hey! Whoa! When this ship divides, the energy reactor of the main body of the ship will begin to shrink and then it will explode. Uh. If you want to stop it, if you want to stop it, the statue over there is the control. Uh. You'd better hurry or you won't make it. <laughs> Must be it. Talk about bad taste, dirty old man. Oh no! This is a dummy! Damn! control this side of the ship, if possible. Tenchi! Everything. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. It's all your fault, Washu. Hmm? What? The gravity constant of the space is changing? That's impossible. It can't be. What's that light? The Lighthawk wings. It said they can only be caused by a Jurai ship. But that's not a Jurai ship. It's a person. It, it's that boy. And that remarkable boy is in the company of Washu, isn't he? Then I'll take this information to Lady Tokimi. <laughs> Be sure to give it to the appropriate person. You can count on me. 
Okay, now. Goodbye, Washu. Okay, bye now. Take care. Whoa! Ah! Uh. Oh, uh, Washu. Don't worry. I put a tube of glue in there, too. I'm sorry I lied to you. Ryoko. Ryoko. <laughs> I have wanted to be called that forever. I only wish that time would stop now. Uh, but I am not Ryoko. Come on, Tenchi, now hurry up! Uh, what is it, Washu? Put Ryoko in the capsule. What? Ryoko's going back into one body. Oh. But, uh... You know... I gotta tell you characters, it's not too easy to duplicate my masterpiece. I took the trouble to divide her into two because I can't control the mind of a complete unit. So now I'm gonna put them back together into one. Yep. Oh, I'm... I'm so... Mm-hmm. You big fat liar. Do you have any objection, Ryoko? I can't believe you're making this kind of a decision for me. I don't like it. She's so embarrassing. Embarrassing? You mean it's embarrassing because she reminds you of yourself? Or is it because you're really jealous of her? I mean, she's so honest about her feelings. Ryoko, that is the other you. The one with your true feelings. And I bet you know that better than anyone. Am I right? Ryoko? Ryoko, I won't force you to if you don't really want to do it. Good girl. Damn you, Washu! What is this energy? Is it Washu? Or is this Tsunami's doing? That sword is capable of material conversion, and yet it only has three blades? I can't say. You can't say? Or you won't say? But this dimension seems to be perfect for your purpose, with not only Washu, but Tsunami here. Now, what shall we do about Dr. Clay? As I recall, this dimension is your jurisdiction. Yes, your majesty. <laughs> oh, Tenchi! Washu, I thought Tenchi wouldn't be back until later this evening. <laughs> <laughs> so innocent. Oh my, when will I ever get back to normal? <laughs>
The king of Jirai arrives to take Aeka and Sasami home. <laughs> now I'll be alone with Tenchi. Just the two of us. Check it out on our next episode. Here comes Jirai. Mihoshi is returning to her position. Hey, Mihoshi! Mihoshi, answer me! Hey, Mihoshi, I'm talking to you! Mm, yes, well, isn't this typical? Oh, Detective Mihoshi, ever since she was demoted, my life has been in constant turmoil. Hmm. Access zero two two three eight nine eight 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 seven. The DNA and astral patterns have been cleared. Password, please. Entering password now, and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Okay? The password is accepted. The line is closed. The official record is deleted going back to the time of access. I will now run the shadow program. Please make up a good excuse for the commander. I must relay this information. Detective First Class Mihoshi has just submitted the final report regarding Kagato. Important to note, this report contains the information related to the secret of Jirai. Oh. Oh. Yes, commander? Don't we have the report on the Kagato incident yet? Well, nothing from Mihoshi yet. Although I'm sure it should be ready any day now, Commander. Um, headquarters is putting a lot of pressure on me. We could turn in what we have so far. <laughs> I see. Level A. So we're submitting the censored report to headquarters. Um, and I should have the censored report ready in two hours. Yes, I can consider it done. Let's see. Level A. Well, then, all right. I, I suppose it would be easier than trying to summarize Mihoshi's report. In a couple of hours? This report could take me up to four or five days to get done. What am I going to do about this? I need more time.
Excuse me. Huh? Is the priest in? Well, young man, why are you staring at me? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. You want to see Grandpa, right? He must be in the shrine office over there. Uh, well, I'll go get him. <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Gra where are you, Grandpa? What is it, Tenchi? Hmm? Oh! It's for now. Could this possibly mean that... Yes, it does. She must be over at your house. <laughs> Grandpa, you have a visitor. A lady wants to see you. Tenchi, what is this about? <gasps> oh, mother. now yeah yeah I'm coming Sasami oh. Oh. Sasami Sasami long time no see you uh, hey you <laughs> oh. Sasami I missed you <laughs> hey listen to me you don't understand I've been trying to tell you I'm not Sasami uh. There. Now, you got it? I am real. You changed so much, Sasami! You changed so much! You weren't <laughs> listening to me. You used to have soft and beautiful hair. You dyed your hair, and it's all hard and pointy now. Uh, and your eyes, they look so mean and vicious. <laughs> My eyes are none of your business. You didn't listen to a thing I said, did you? Oh, I'm sorry, Sasami. Sasami, you must have had a very tough life. Oh. Um, lady, like I said, I'm not Sasami. Thanks for answering the door. I'm sorry to have troubled you, Ryoko, but... so much, Sasami. <laughs> now, now, please stop crying, Mother. I mean, after all, we're together now. Right? Oh, Sasami. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Uh, Aika. Ah, there you are. Uh, Mother, it's been such a long time since I saw you. Oh, and just now I saw Lady Funaho also. I'm so glad to see you both doing so well. Huh? <laughs> 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 
Ryoko, now, I want you to listen to me. I'm about to do something you could tease me about later, and I'm warning you not to. Uh, yeah, whatever. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's for your own good. Hmm. <laughs> My mommy! <laughs> uh. <laughs> she's... she's calling her... Mommy! <laughs> Nobody mocks my little Laika. Are you understanding me? Uh, I think so. Please let me go. Let me go. I did warn you. Sasami? Here, read this! Okay, I'm sorry, pretty young lady. Oh. Okay, that's more like it. Uh, Come to me. Oh. Oh, Ryoki, you're awake, huh? Yeah. Oh. Oh, how adorable! Oh, come to Auntie Misaki. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah. Don't, don't mind me. Really. Please have some tea. Thank you very much. Hmm. It's hard to believe I'm back here. Yes, hard to believe. Since you left this planet, the Earth must have gone through lots of changes. Come, Yoshu. How long will you stay in your disguise? Huh? I can't deceive you, can I? <laughs> Nobody here has any idea as to what I really look like, hmm? Mother? Hmm? Ah! Tenshi! When you're done sweeping outside, you have to clean the stairs. <laughs> he really is something else. Yes, quite a handful. <laughs> you know, at first, I thought I could send Tenshi instead of going myself. Can he fit in on Planet Jirai? Perhaps. I think he can. He must be trouble for the ladies. I came here because we have received a report from the Galaxy Police. When Ryoko was resurrected, I knew that you were going to come sooner or later. But why? Why didn't you come when Ryoko appeared? The Galaxy Police report worked as a trigger. Is that it? Yoshu. Huh? May I have another cup of tea, Yoshu? Oh, uh, I should have realized. <laughs> Mihoshi submitted the report to the Galaxy Police over two months ago, didn't she? May I ask what took you so long, Mother? I suppose it's because Mihoshi wrote, shall we say, an exhaustive report. Hmm? Mihoshi's report is top secret with the Galaxy Police. Then it will go to Jirai's Supreme Council meeting. That's right. This is not a private matter to the Jirai royal family anymore. 
The King of Jirai will be here soon, too. Father will come. And the Council's Executive Committee. We are its representatives. Misaki and I. <sighs> so, the Inspector General of Information and the Supreme Commander of the Royal Bodyguard had to come all this way. Royal trees lose their power once they find their roots in soil. Yosho, of course you understand. If we want to sustain their power, we have to keep them charged by our royal trees. During the past 700 years, the ships that were missing were your Funaho. Aieka's Ryuo. Of course, Sasami's ship as well. You're wondering about my appearance, aren't you? You would like to know the reason why Tsunami had to do this, wouldn't you? The report also mentioned gems that are the source of Ryoko's power. And it says that they were embedded in the Master Key to hold Ryoko captive. Ooh. Well, that Mihoshi really is thorough, isn't she? So, you already knew what to expect. I see that now. I just don't know what you mean by that. I only wanted to see how you were doing. My spaceship tree is the only thing sustaining my life. I was quite surprised when I found out that my tree hadn't lost its power. Then I made an interesting discovery. I found that Ryoko's gems were giving energy to my tree. And that means that Ryoko's gems have the same quality as the royal family's trees. That they have the same exact power. Even before we saw Mihoshi's report, Jirai's trees suspected all this. So when you fought with Ryoko, her ship could break through Jirai's defense area and showed massive destructive power. So there was no doubt. Her gems were powerful. But... Your ship must have sensed all of this as well. And you, having fought with Ryoko, you must have guessed this. Given that all this is true, her gem should be able to create the light hawk wings just like Tenchi can. I see. You came to get Washu. We've come to check on Aika and Sasami. And I wanted to see you. You haven't sent word to your poor mother in so many years. Seven hundred! Uh, I was going to go back to Jirai after my victory over Ryoko, but something came up and I... well... Oh, boys. Once they find girls, they never think of their mom. That's the way it goes, I guess. I guess the mother just gets in the way once her son finds a girl. Hey, well, no, that's not true, Mother. My poor, poor Aika. <clears throat> so, by the way, Mother, have you already finished renovating the Great Hall at the palace? Aika does seem to be happy here. Thank you for the nice tea. <sighs> By the way, if you would like to visit our living quarters, I'll have Tenchi show you the way. I'll be over there in a short while. Tenchi! Tenchi! Uh, are you... Yes? Uh... No, nothing. I understand it's a tender subject, Tenshi, but I heard you lost your mother when you were young. You must have felt awfully lonely. No. How is it nowadays? Now? It's too crowded here. But you'll be lonely if we take the girls home, won't you? Or Tenshi? 
You could come with us, huh? Huh? Kenchi. Oh. Huh? <laughs> you scared us. Washu, this lady here is, uh... Funaho, the queen of Jirai, right? How do you do? My name is Washu. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Young Washu. Hmm. Uh, Tenchi, can you do me a favor? What? You, go ahead and take this home. I'll show her the way. But... Mm-hmm. Then I'll meet you at home. Lady Funaho, shall we? Excuse me, Washu. Huh? Could you call me Little Funo? I'd like that. Oh, I, I don't believe this. Mihoshi even wrote that in a report. It took our Supreme Council four days to summarize Mihoshi's report, during which time it was absolutely impossible to do anything else. Whenever Mihoshi is involved, it takes time, all right. Washu. You know the reason why we are here, don't you? What is your answer now? Tell me. My answer is no. Like you guys are having fun. Hello there, Tenchi. Welcome home. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. Well, well, well now. Whoa. You must be Tenchi. Why, yes. <laughs> what are you doing, Mother? Hey, you! Oh, oh yeah. please, girls. Hmm? You don't have to get what? jealous. I care for you, too. She's helpless. <laughs> so this is your mother? Yep, she's our mother, Miss Saki. What you are saying is this. Jirai ships are powerful but can't be mass-produced. But Ryooki can be reproduced easily. It's fine if we're the only ones with the technology. But if we're not... Hmm. I don't care who develops what. It's not my concern. Well, I don't want to alienate Tenchi, so... Huh? I will not help anybody. How's that? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Washu. Lady Funaho. Yes? Please call me little Washu. All right. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I am little. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Boop. You want to achieve your goal? Gonna have to force me. The number one genius scientist. The second generation of Jirai's battleships, Ryoko and Ryooki. And the original space tree, Tsunami, plus the boy who can create the Light Hawk Wings. If I'm not afraid of all of them combined, is that it? I think Mihoshi alone will do. But I, I will not create another Ryoko. I will not. I see. You must be very proud of your daughter. But your great-grandson is even greater, great-grandma. Hmm. Hmm.
King of Jirai is here. My sister. Auntie Panaho! <laughs> Sasami, you are looking great. Meow. You must be Washu, right? Hmm? Oh. Uh, how you doing, Masaki? How you doing? Thank you for taking such good care of Aeka and Sasami. I just don't know how to thank you. Uh. <sighs> mm. Oh, boy. She reminds me of someone. Uh. Uh. Father! Father! Yeah. Well, you look fine. Aika? Susami? Mm -hmm. Wondering, he is Tenchi. Is that right? Now you're going home. Aika. What? Sasami. What? Let's go. But father, please listen to me. He is Yosho's grandson. Yosho got married to that earthling despite my wishes. I don't need his grandson. I am also one of those earthlings. Oh, but you, you are different. How am I different from the others? Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Ah. I have already chosen a fiancé for you. One that is suited for the crown princess of the planet Jirai. No, I cannot. Because Tenchi is my... You're what? The king is right, Ayaka. <laughs> Go on home. You stay out of this, you big man! You should listen to your daddy and go I guess you don't remember. Tenchi said that I could stay here. In fact, as long as I want to. He just took pity on you, you silly princess. He knew you couldn't Ugh. get home without your ship. Ugh. Right, Tenchi? Ugh, what about you? Leave Tenchi alone! Whoa! I command you! Whoa. No, I won't! I Tenshi is mine! Hey! Ayaka! He won't be yours, never! Sasami, you are coming home with us, aren't you? I would like to stay with Tenshi also, father. Sasami! And if you force me to go, I will hate you forever, so there. What's wrong now? What did I do? Here, dry your eyes, little one. There, there. Thank you for your performance. That was very entertaining. Oh, no. oh. You're a great performer. You are. That was probably the best dance I've ever seen. You're a real little trooper. Is that what they want? 
<clears throat> Aika, Sasami. Uh, huh? Oh, ah. Is this true? Is your wish to remain here? Would you really choose that boy over me? Uh, 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 hey, don't you like your daddy better? Little uh, Princess Ayaka? This is none of your business! None of my business? <laughs> what about you, Sasami? If I leave, there's gonna be real trouble. If I leave, who's gonna cook for them? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It would seem that our girls want to stay here. <sighs> well then, there isn't much we can do about it. All right, you can do as you please. Ah, uh, thank you for understanding, Father. Under one condition, though. You can have your wish if and only if that boy wins a duel with the man I chose as your fiance. Huh? What's going on? Well, I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> I think you'll find that they've saved the very best for last. What? We were just coming to the best part. Huh? Oops. I haven't even said hi to you. Princess Ayaka, you look just fabulous. <coughs> now, listen and listen carefully. If that boy can defeat him, then you may do whatever you like. Tenchi, you are willing to fight for us, are you not? Tenchi, mm -hmm. don't fight. You don't have to go through this for them. Don't be crazy. What? And what's that? This is a bill for you. For all those parts of Jirai that you destroyed. Uh, ooh. However, if Tenchi wins, we might forget about the whole thing. Kenji, I'm so glad you're gonna fight. Yeah. You're doing this just to save uh, me from my debts, aren't you? Uh, hey, is he sweet or what? Well, it looks like he's going to do it, Aika. Oh, no. I wish you good luck, Tenchi. Uh huh. <laughs> Really? It's just a waste of time. He has no chance. It's totally one-sided. But I must fulfill the wish of the king. After all, he is my future father-in-law. Mm. And here's your drink, Mom. Thank uh -huh. you. Mm -hmm. Honey! Mm -hmm. Would you care for some tea? No, thank you. Ah! Oh. I can't believe this! This can't be true! No. That beautiful Princess Aenka <laughs> and pretty Princess yeah. Sasami are confined in this uh, dump! This dingy and miserable, this place is much worse than a cell. I can't stand that the princesses are in forced labor here. I have to save Princess Aenka from this jail, this hellhole! Huh? I think it's my, or rather any, civilized person's duty to save them from this misery. <sighs> Say, how long do you think it will take Tenchi to defeat Serio? You just watch. Serio is going to win in less than a minute. So, you're betting on Serio then? Mm hmm. I bet 50,000 yen on Tenchi. What about you, sis? I am betting on Tenchi as well. Huh? He's gonna win! Yeah! Of course, I'm wagering on Tenchi. 
Tenchi for sure. What about you, Washu? Hmm. Well, I have to bet Miyoshi. What? What? Meow. <laughs> Hmm. Ignorance is your weakness. You don't seem to understand that you are no match for me. I don't think you want to go through with this. It's simply for your own good. I don't want to humiliate you, you know? Uh, I think... You want to concede? That's a wise idea for an ignorant barbarian. I think it's dangerous. It certainly is, isn't it? But don't worry, I will be merciful. I'm not going to use my full power. What I mean is... This is this for you. Now, I am ready if you are ready. <laughs> You've done it, Tenchi! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Excuse me! My ship is broken down again, Washu! <laughs> Could you fix it for me? Please! I would appreciate it! I'm terribly sorry for all of this, Tenshi. I hope we didn't cause you any trouble. That's all right. I apologize for not being a better host. Tenshi. Ryoko. Hmm? Washu. Mihoshi. Yes? And Ryoki. Yeah. Oh, Mommy. Sasami. Oh, Mommy. <laughs> Father. Yosho, please take good care of Aik and Sasami. You need not worry, Father. Tenshi is going to take good care of them. Yosho, I can wait another 2,000 years for you to decide. Thank you. All of you, for everything. Tenshi, take care. You too, Fanaho. Everybody, take care of yourself. Tenshi, look after Ayaka and Sasami, please. Uh, <laughs> so, bye for now. We'll come visit you again. Mama, miss you. <laughs> I will, Mommy! Goodbye!
It's a splendid morning. Well, Azaka, I guess we're going to stay here for a while. Very peaceful, but very boring indeed. Yesterday sure was action-packed. Huh? You won't get away with it this time! Come and get me if you can. Get down here, Ryoko, right Why this minute! Why should I? Oh, mm. oh, 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 no. oh, no, no, you think you're so special? No, my dear, we are on Earth now. You're just gonna have to come and get me. I don't answer to you. Well, I think we should try. I think Tenshi's growing on him. Don't you think so, sister? Tenshi has more than he can handle. <laughs> Tenshi. Don't even think I've given in completely. That was just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we visit, let's stay for a few days. I think that's a great idea.
Yes, very nicely done. Just like always, I have few results. But... But what? There appear to be some interesting developments from Clay. One of them is Washu. Who is the other? Her name is... Tsunami. Hmm. To think that someone like her would be caught in such a lowly dimension. Hmm. What's that energy reading? It just might be Washu. Or it could possibly be Tsunami's doing. So, do you have an answer for me, my sisters? There must be some mistake. He possesses matter conversion abilities, yet can only produce three light hawk wings. He can't be that powerful. <laughs> you don't get it. Hmm. Apparently not. Still, to think that Tsunami would appear as well. It would seem that this dimension suits your purposes after all. Incidentally, what would you have us do about Dr. Clay? This dimension is under your jurisdiction. Understood. I want him kept unharmed. Is that clear? Your intentions betray you. Lady Tokimi can see what you are thinking. <laughs> Perhaps. I doubt that she could stop me. Such a delightful rain. I hear that this is called the rainy season. Ah, in that case, it most definitely lives up to the name. Get up already. You're gonna sleep all day or what? <laughs> Sisami, she's gotten good at handling Ryoko. Who would have thought it possible? It's impressive, but I am surprised that neither of them noticed that I was already sitting here. Ah, just right. Hi, say Ryoki. You'll probably be safer on my shoulder. Otherwise. <laughs> Mihoshi! <sighs> okay, get up! Hey! Mihoshi! <sighs> oh, good morning, Ryoko! I guess I must have dozed off for a little bit. Come on, you know better than to fall asleep at your desk. Uh, the last thing I remember, I was writing a letter to my family. It's all a blur after that. Just come downstairs now. Your breakfast is ready. All right. Well, up and at him. Whoops, I almost forgot. 
I still have to send that letter. Transmit. There we go. All taken care of. Ha <laughs> ha! It's great to get things done. And now it's time for a well-earned rest. I oh. said get up! <laughs> Let's see. I think that this could use a little editing. This'll be easier than I thought. Well then, guess my job as director's completed. Now it's time to sit back and watch the actors perform. Hey, Ayika, where's Tenchi this morning? Oh, please let go, please! Oh. Remember? Last night, he said he was going to visit his father today. Don't tell me he left already. <coughs> Guess he wanted an early start. He did say he'd be back before lunch. Breakfast is ready! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I've caused everyone a lot of trouble, haven't I? <laughs> Rio Ko. <laughs> yes, that is what they call me. The rain stopped. Well, well, if it isn't our old pal Tenchi. Kamikura! Akita! How have you guys been? Man, it's good to see you. <laughs> Tenchi, tell us the truth. Are you really living with a bunch of haughty foreign chicks? What are you talking about? He said that there were all sorts of girls there. Girls with silver green hair, purple black hair, blonde hair, and even red hair. Girls everywhere in all shapes and sizes. Why, Tenji? Why keep this from your friends? Why would you do such a horrible thing to us? <sighs> 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 
I didn't even know Amagasaki had come over. Well, he did. <laughs> and then he came over to my house in tears. <laughs> he was really in tears? Who are they, Tenshi? Hmm? Uh, it's no big deal. They're just some relatives of mine from overseas who brought a couple of friends with them. They came to Japan to study and work. That's all there is to it. I don't remember hearing about any relatives that looked like that. Not that it's any of your business, but when my grandfather left home, his sister stayed behind, and I did tell you about her, didn't I? Hey, what are you writing in that book? I'm working on an exclusive for the school paper. What? This is my private life, you know? Give me that! It's true? You really are living with them? We live in separate houses. My grandfather and I are living together. Really? Come on, it's true. That's interesting. Separate houses. I told you not to write about this. I see, so the hot foreign chicks don't live with you, just next to you. God, I am so jealous! Calm down, Kamikura. I heard that Tenshi's really into older chicks anyway, right? No, no, you've got it all wrong. What? So, let me get this straight. What you're saying is that you've already got this hot older girlfriend. And you've also got a house full of foreign hotties on the side as well? No, I'm not saying that. I... Oh. I'd like to visit, just to do an interview for the paper. Nothing too formal. An in-depth interview is all I want. Well, I really don't know. They're pretty busy, you see. Come on, Tenchi, please! Well, uh... Huh? <sighs> Damn it all. Saved by the bell. Whew. <sighs> so, anyway, how are things around here? Oh, everybody's good. Amagasaki transferred over to a high school in Tokyo, though. Really? Yeah, his dad got relocated. And that's why he went to your house. He wanted you to know where he was. I see, but still, he should have called first. I think he tried. Do you still have the same number? Yeah, but you have to use the area code. Oh, hello there. <coughs> My name's Kamikura. I'm a friend of Tenchi's. I'm sure he's mentioned me. Nice to talk to you, too. I have a little problem I was wondering if you could help me with. Does Tenchi live there with you? Yes. Yes. Is that right? Bye. Ah! Well, what did they tell you? They say the scrolls. What? Look, it's just that... I mean, you know... I'm... well, uh... Oh, yeah. Before Amagasaki left, he told us to give you a message. What is it? So, so long, long, traitor. traitor. <laughs> Thanks for the message. That's great. He's finally getting the house built. are you? My name is Asami. That's a cute little pet. I was wondering if you could do something for me. Uh, hello? Uh, oh man, give me a break. How am I supposed to get that off of her, huh? I mean, seriously. No, let me 
explain. This isn't what you think it is. Azaka, come attack me! The zombie, look out! Can't you do anything to call off these killer logs? I'm sorry, but they belong to my sister. And hey, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm so happy. So truly happy to be able to bear the child of the man I love. A child? Now, mm. hold on to it really tight, because it's about to hatch. Mm. <laughs> What's going on? And what a good little girl you are, Rio Oki. Wait, Rio Oki, wasn't that the spaceship? I guess I should go now. But it must be cold outside. Oh! Why are you being so shy? You've seen me naked before. Don't you remember? It was in the cave. Yeah, I remember the cave, but then you were just a mummy. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, Asami. Because you're looking really pale. And you have a nosebleed. Well, you're such a naughty boy, Tenchi. <laughs> it's not that. The hot water makes the blood rush to my head. Yeah? I'm sorry. There's a good boy. to meet you. My name's Washu. I really want to thank you for saving me from Kagato. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, I like you. Say, how would you like to be a guinea pig for my experiment? Uh -huh. I'm ready now. Uh, what's with the nurse's outfit? I'm an angel of mercy, Tenchi. <laughs> <laughs> I need to collect a sample, silly. What? You must be joking! Stop it, Washu! Don't worry. It's quite painless. Besides, it's for science. No! Sorry, I didn't hear you. Yes, you did! What did you say again? You heard me. Stop it! Oh, I see. You want to be put under. No! I don't want that at all! Stop it now! You don't really want me to stop, do you? Yes, I do! Yes, you <laughs> do! Hoshi, how'd you get in here? Well, you were gone so long, so I decided to find you myself. I got lost, and when I found myself, I was here. Got lost, huh? 
This is not somewhere you can just walk into, you know. Well, somehow I did. So I you what you doing. Uh, ooh, hey. Uh, we're just playing doctor. What is that sound? It sounds just like Mihoshi's shuttle. Uh -huh. Huh? This can't be good. <gasps> we certainly have been through an awful lot together. I just cannot get over how much everything has changed around here. It's weird. I can barely recognize anything. Oh. I better get going. Coming! Oh, Tenchi, it is so great to see you again. Hello there, Rhea. Is that Tenchi? Sorry, I've got to finish this. I'll be right there. Well, come on in. <laughs> Now, if I remember correctly, you always like to drink tea better than coffee, right? Why, yes, thank you. So, how's your grandfather and the girls? Everybody doing okay? Oh, yeah. Thanks for asking. They're all doing well. Tell them I'm sorry. You know, I had planned to come by sometime to pay you all a visit. Oh, no. You certainly had more than enough to do dealing with what happened to the school and the house. Your hands were full enough there. Especially since your house, school, and the Sato Bridge well, somehow they were all mysteriously destroyed at the same time. Luckily for all of us, the press managed to come to their own conclusions. They said it's really the end of the world. People can be so silly sometimes. Although, we were required to give a full report about the incident. So you had to give a full report. Who did you have to give it to? Mm. Mm. Okay. It was the Imperial Palace. Mm, what? I know, it seems unreal, doesn't it? We were asked to come down and report in person. What else could we do? So Katsuhiro was to drive me down to Tokyo. But then at the last minute, he backed out and told me I had to give the report all by myself. I've got to tell you, I was pretty nervous about it. Wow, I would guess so. No offense, but why would such important people need to hear about this from you? My lips are sealed. Besides, I think Katsuhiro will want to tell you all about it himself. But just look at you. Don't tell me that you've grown again. Come on now, stand up for me. Okay. I think that you may be taller than I am. <laughs> Hold it! Where do you think you're going? <clears throat> now be a good boy and stand still. <clears throat> Say, would you mind much not doing... <clears throat> Knew it. Why, you are taller than me now, Tenchi. <sighs> it's only a little bit taller, but you definitely are taller. Hey, sorry for the wait. Are you ready to go, Tenchi? All right, Rhea, I'll leave the rest to you. No problem. I'll come back to see you again soon, Rhea. Don't forget this. I made you a box lunch. Ha <laughs> ha, so she told you all about that, did she? I bet that she was pretty nervous given that report. I know I would be. She and Dad looked pretty beat when they got back. It's just, well, there's just so much stuff that I don't know about. Oh, hey, I can't say that I know everything about it myself. And I'm pretty sure there's got to be a whole lot of things that you guys do that you can't tell me about. Isn't that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thought you'd like to know. Rhea spent just about the entire day yesterday making that box lunch for you. Ah. You know, I can't remember what Mom's cooking tasted like. 
I've always wondered about that. Ever since I can remember, Rhea did all the cooking. Well, you know, Rhea learned almost everything she knows about cooking from your mother. So I imagine there's not much difference between the two of them, cooking-wise at least. Whoa, really? Oh, Rhea does have her own special dishes and flair with food, but other than that, it tastes about the same. Wow, so this was Mom's. Uh, say Tenchi. Yeah? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Yeah. Oh. Can I ask you something? Would you tell me, how did my mom die? Uh... I just mean, was she sick? Uh, Dad? Please wait. Just a little while longer, okay? Hmm... Sasami! I made a box lunch for you! And Rhea made all of the side dishes to go along with it! Thank you very much! I guess we should wash Ryooki's carrots then. Alright! Okay, Ryooki! Ryooki, where did she go? Oh. I wonder where she went. Ryooki! I see then. Well, I guess it's time we told Tenchi the truth, oh. don't you agree? I guess we should. It's been ten years since kioni has been gone now. Yeah. And I'll bet she's glad that you're finally getting around to doing this. We can only hope that she is. Well, son, I think some drinks are definitely in order tonight. Yeah. This will probably be quite a shock to Tenchi. We'll certainly need to be ready for that. I know. Are you telling me that Ryooki is missing? We searched everywhere, but we couldn't find her. This is all my fault, Washu. I should have been watching her. Hmm. We don't have any other choice, Washu. I'm afraid we're going to have to ask Ryoko for some help. Ryoko! Yeah? I guess you heard. Oh, she'll come back when she's hungry. So, can you sense where she is? Looks like she's staying in just one particular area. That's what lost children do. Oh, please tell us, Ryoko. Uh, ah! <sighs> okay, I'll do it. Oh, brother, such a lost cause. <laughs> What are you doing out here anyway? Here, silly. Uh, 
Are you all right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What a lost cause. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, access this. Now, can you pinpoint your location? And that's where we are right now. Okay, you got it? Yeah, meow. That's good. So which direction is the house from here? Meow. Very good. So are you ready to go now? Meow. Huh? <gasps> Tinty, come quick! <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm afraid I couldn't find her, Sasami. It's okay, Tenji. Ryoko found her. They'll probably be back soon. Thanks for trying. Ryoko found her? Mm-hmm. That's a relief. Hey, Washu. I'm sorry about this, Washu. I know it was a lot of trouble. Me too. Well, you two looked like you were very worried. Because we were. Ryooki is so young to be out lost and afraid. <laughs> What the hell? Did you guys forget that she's a computer unit and can't feel fear? Hmm? She's a computer unit, okay? Understand? Computer unit, you got it? Uh -huh. You felt bad for her? That is just so incredibly sweet, I can't stand it! Washu, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're just so adorable. <laughs> mm -hmm. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Ryoki! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> Hold it! You're not going anywhere. You're completely covered in mud. I'll give her a bath, Ryoko. That's okay. I'll do it. I have to take a bath anyway. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Hold still now. <laughs> gotcha. You're not finished yet. <laughs> we have to clean everywhere. Very good. Now try uh -huh. a side dish. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> it's yummy. Does Ryoko seem, I don't know, a bit different somehow? Yes, I was just thinking that very thing myself. She's been acting strangely ever since she brought Ryooki home. Ah. Oh. Yummy, that's so good. It's almost like she's Ryooki's mother or something. Yes, yes, that's almost how it seems, all right. Be sure to chew it really well. <laughs> that's my girl. Yeah. <sighs> ah. Huh? Oops, sleepy. Oh. Oopsie. Huh? I'll put her to bed, K Ryoko? Hmm, that's okay. I think she wants to sleep with me. Yeah. You see, Ryooki and I are partners. That's right. She's my sister. We need to stick together. Yeah. Hey, now wait just a minute. Ryooki has always slept with me, you know? Come on now, Sasami. Let Ryoko have her way just for tonight, all right? But I... Besides, Sasami, you need to sleep with your sister once in a while, too. Huh? Yes? Oh, okay. That'll be nice. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You're such a lost cause. <laughs> Think it'll rain again today? Well, it is the rainy season. Uh, hey, Nobuyuki, what is that thing? Huh? Oh, this is called a personal computer. <laughs> I thought it was high time Tenchi learned to use one. Huh? Oh. 
Well, I would guess that you girls, you probably don't find this all that interesting, do you? Well, they should be very interested. This personal computer here is state-of-the-art, girls. Well, for Earthlings. Hmm. Let's see now. Oh, yeah, it goes like this. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, come off it! Why are you being so quiet, Washu? Usually by now you would have gone into a full-blown lecture. I mean, what gives anyway? <gasps> Careful. Ryoko, do you want to spend the entire day listening to her speeches or something? Sorry, but it's just not natural. Quiet. She can hear you. Hmm. Amazing. I am just fascinated watching how you construct this primitive networking unit. It blows me away. Ha <laughs> ha. Primitive. Well, I guess it is primitive compared to what you're used to using. For her, it must be like watching kids make telephones out of paper cups and string. <laughs> but you know, no matter how primitive or advanced your technology is, some people can never get beyond all their silly and petty differences. <gasps> of course, with some people, it doesn't matter either way. Washu is the highest in the pecking order. But her natural enemy is the lowest, Mihoshi. It's incredible. The power struggle in this house is a perfect loop. That's enough. What do you mean, enough what? Enough with the mental expositions, okay? Sorry. Mm hmm? Oh? No, don't worry, I'll get it. You know, I'd do anything to get away from those computer nerds. Coming! Uh. Pardon me, but, uh, um, you wouldn't happen to be Miss Saki, would you? Huh? No, sorry. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Now, you wouldn't lie to me, would you? No, I wouldn't lie to you. You promise? Cross your heart and hope to die you're telling the truth? Rieko's been gone for quite a while. I wonder what's taking her so long. computer stuff anyway. Huh? Hmm. There you are, Ryoko. What are you doing? Ah. Just wondering what to do if it's Misaki out there. <laughs> um, hello? Huh? Coming! No, Sasami! Don't do it! <gasps> Hope this isn't a bad time. Hi! Hello. there, Tenchi. There's no need to turn the monitor on yet. I... Tenchi! Come here, Tenchi! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Tenchi, listen to me. You won't believe this. Hey, Tenchi, you have a guest downstairs. Be right there. Thank you very much, Asami. No, Tenchi! Tenchi! What is your problem, Ryoko? Oh, no. Mm. Ah. Is it morning already? Meow. Oh? Hello. I'm Tenchi. Oh. Mom? You know, I've got the strangest feeling something's about to happen. Me too.
Mom? Oh. Tenchi, it's good to see you. Oh. 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 Am I? Oh. Oh. I'm dreaming. Oh, Tenchi, I don't think you understand. Oh, Mom, I've... I've missed you. Oh, Mom. <laughs> No, Tenchi, I'm not... You see, just let me tell you. I'm... Hmm? It's just so, so, so wonderful. Oh, yes, it is. Why are we crying? <laughs> Mom. I can't believe you're alive. Tenchi, it's not what you think. Hey, Tenchi! <laughs> I finished setting up your computer! I can't wait to see the look on your face when you boot that baby up! It's gonna be... Huh? Key! <gasps> Keone, I... <laughs> oh. Keone, you finally came back to me! It has been a while. I must say you're looking well. Oh, Keone! <laughs> Keone! <laughs> hey, easy, don't overdo it. Now, let's commemorate this moment. Knock it! was mean, Tenyo. I said don't overdo it. Hmm? Tenyo? Uh, well, to make a long story short, she's your older sister. I'm sorry about that, Tenchi. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a surprise. I can't believe it. You look almost exactly like Mom. <laughs> Actually, back when she was alive, we used to switch places with each other. Oh. Never noticed, did you? I would make your dinner for you, sleep right beside you. Sometimes I'd even give you a bath. <coughs> you did. <coughs> Hello? Oh, Dad. You're still here, are you? Of course I am. Where would I go? We have a lot to discuss. Oh, yes, right. Well, let's get it over with quick. I have got lots of things to do, lots of people to see. Oh, I see. Uh, so then, Tenchi, what is it now? <laughs> yes, Masaki here. What? You mean today? Right now? But I, I just, I... Yeah, I understand. Oh, yes. Oh. 
Mm, sorry. Something has come up at work. You'd better go, then. I suppose I can wait for you to get back. Uh, okay. We'll talk more later on. He hasn't changed a bit. Anyway, now that that pest is out of the way, I'd like to introduce you to someone. Huh? Pest? Welcome, Tenchi sister. I am honored. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ayaka Masaki Jirai. Very pleased to meet you. Oh, really? Brown nosing already, are we? <laughs> <laughs> and this extremely annoying girl is. I know who she is. You're Ryoko, the former space pirate, right? Hmm. And you're Sasami, Mihoshi, and Washu Hakubi. Yeah. And of course, little Rio Oki. Yeah. Hey, uh, so sister. What? What did you just call me? Uh, I said. Sister. <laughs> Tenchi! Oh, oh, you've made me so happy! It was fun being able to stand in for Mom when you were little, but how I longed for the day I could finally play the part of your big sister, too. Oh. Sister, sis, sissy, sissy poo, call me whatever you like. Just know that your big sis is here for you now, all right? Sister? Tenchi? Why is it that no one ever bothered to tell me that you existed before today? And why is it you would switch places with Mom? Well, the truth is, I had a bunch of things that I really wanted to surprise you about. <laughs> but then you started crying, and I just didn't know what I should do. But I didn't... Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted to know why no one had told you about me. That's what it is, isn't it? So, Tenchi, about how old would you say I am? Around 20 or so. Actually, I'm almost 80 now. <laughs> You know how old your grandfather is right now, don't you? What about everybody else here? These girls living with you? If you think about all that, does it really seem that unbelievable? Well, well, no, but... As it happens, I still have quite a few old schoolmates living in town. So you can imagine the sorts of problems that it might cause if I went around as your sister. I didn't think about that. You're right, it all makes sense, I guess. You are just the cutest thing. Oh, it is such a shame I have to give you away to your fiancé. Me? Fiancé? What do you, you mean, mean by that? that? Oh, sorry. I'd forgotten that you were still in the room. <laughs> <clears throat> this was prearranged a long time ago, way before the two of you had even met Tenchi. Uh, what gives you the right to just... This was not my decision. It was arranged by... Huh? The Lady Sato Kamiki Jirai. What? You mean my grandmother? Your grandmother? Why would some old hag from your family get to pick Tenchi's fiance? Huh? Uh, why are you making that face, Aika? She's the single most powerful person on Jirai behind the scenes, that is. Not even my father, the Emperor, would dare to think of defying that woman. Just imagine how overbearing Washu is, then multiply it by a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> but that still doesn't explain why she gets to pick Tenchi's fiance. Our grandmother oh. enjoys playing the matchmaker. Huh. Now that I think about it, something just like that happened to me too. Crazy old hag should mind her own business. I believe Sato is known as the Devil Princess of Jirai, isn't that right? That's right. The Devil Princess of Jirai? No, it just can't be. There's some. You're right, she's the same devil princess you've heard all the stories about. <laughs> Even Kagato made sure to stay away from the devil princess of Jirai. Hmm. Yeah? Well, so what? I'm still gonna take her on. I don't give a darn who she is. Really? And how exactly do you intend to do that, I wonder? Uh. If Lady Sato's picked a fiancé for Tenchi, you better start getting used to the idea. I don't understand. What's this fiancé business about? Whether you're happy about the fact or not, Tenchi, you're in direct line of succession to the throne of Jirai, the greatest empire in the entire galaxy. So arranged political marriages are hardly uncommon. There's really no point in debating this issue any further. I think it's time that I introduced her to you in person. Oh. In person? And this is the girl that Lady Sato has chosen for you. Huh? I read. Ah, she's a middle-aged 
music. <laughs> what did you just call me? <sighs> Say it again, I dare you. What? Why you? <laughs> Irie, what a surprise. Hey, how have you been, Mihoshi? The cold, decisive stare down. The swift application of force. No doubt about it. That is the Neo Academy style for sure. Huh? Neo Academy style? And just what is that exactly? It's a kind of melee fighting style used at meetings and debates. Melee fighting style? When you've got a room full of cocky scientists babbling at each other, it's practically impossible to get them to come to any sort of real consensus. It all comes down to brute force and intimidation. That's how progress gets made. Um, sounds like what you're saying is that the whole scientific process doesn't really exist at all. Who knows? That's a debate for the philosophers. So, this woman is... Hey there, you're pretty good. Nice work. You must be Washu Hakubi. It's an honor to be in the presence of such a legendary woman of science. Why the hell are you shaking hands with that woman? Ayika's whacked out grandmother is about to force Tenchi to marry this crusty old hag, don't you get it? You know, it might be better if you tried saying it straight to her face. <laughs> Who do you think you're calling a crusty old hag? <laughs> And just so we're perfectly clear, I'm not Tenchi's fiance. Then I'm confused. Who are you? She's my wife. That's who. <gasps> oh, my darling. What? My, my. Today's a wacky day. So if that's not her, where is Tenchi's fiance? Oh, I totally forgot. So, Irie, you want to tell us where she is? I turned away for just a second and she disappeared. She must have run away. Oh, no. Maybe she... Where's Tenchi? He went to the fields. Ryooki went with him. He said he thought it might take a little while. What? When? Just about the time she said, uh, the crazy old hag. What a morning. Just having my sister show up was shocking enough. Now it turns out I have a fiancé, too? Hey, stop! Ryooki! Watch out! That's dangerous, dear. <laughs> Sorry about that. You really shouldn't let little ones out of your sight. Right, thanks. Come here. There, there, you're all right. <laughs> huh? Hey, what's wrong? Yeah. Oh, brother. straight. Wasn't Irie one of your instructors while you were away studying at the academy? Mm-hmm. Didn't she... didn't she return home afterwards? I thought she was going back there to get married. <laughs> well, I guess a lot has happened since those days. Lady Sato can explain everything after she arrives. What? Our grandmother's really coming here? Yes. Oh, let me tell you the name of Tenshi's fiancé. It's Noike Kamiki Jirai. Kamiki? Yes, she's Lady Sato's adopted daughter. Which I suppose would also make her your aunt, wouldn't it? Uh, uh, huh? Are you all right? Uh, yes, I'm fine now. Anyway, are these your fields? Yes, they are. Wow. So then, you plowed all of these fields by yourself? Well, yeah. It smells nice. This is good soil. Yeah, you think so? Would you mind terribly if I tasted one of those carrots? Yeah, sure, why not? Help yourself. Oh, they look fantastic. Hmm. Hey, wait a sec. Those oh. haven't been washed yet. Oh, wow. 
Wow, these are delicious. What a great little discovery. I cannot believe that I found such a great tasting carrot. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Say, do you... Do you think I could possibly take some of these carrots with me? I can pay you. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't exchanged currencies yet. It's not like I'm out selling these things anyway. If you really like them, just grab a few and we can... No, no, I insist. You've worked way too hard on these for me to just take them away. Hmm. I know. Let's do this. I'll help you work in the fields as trade. That seems pretty fair. Oh, oh, um, sure. It's settled. By the way, my name is Nuike Sakazua. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm... Hey, mm -hmm. get back here. So, where do you think we should start then? Pipe down. Man, she's really something. <laughs> hey, Tenchi! Hi, Sasami. <laughs> oh. So, Tenchi, uh, who's the lady over there? What's she doing? She's just somebody who wanted to do some field work in exchange for some of our carrots. That sounds nice. Hey, wait, let's give her some lunch, too. Oh, I only made enough for one person. I'll just go and run back home and make some more. I know what we can do. Since she's helping me out here with all the work, I'll be done a lot earlier. Why don't I bring her home to join us for lunch, then? Yeah, great idea. I'll go back to the house right now and start getting the food ready for everyone. Bye! Yay! Hey, Noike! Huh? Would you like to join me for some lunch today? Oh, I don't want to impose. Don't worry about it. It's all ready and waiting. It's no trouble at all. Well, in that case, I accept your fine offer. Thanks for inviting me. Ugh, I just remembered. I still haven't gotten your name yet. Yeah, I guess that you're right. Hmm? Well, my name is Tenchi Masaki, and this, this is Ryo Oki. What? <laughs> Tenchi Masaki? Uh... That's my name. Is there something wrong? Oh, no! It seems we have no shortage of visitors today. Indeed. Noike! Mm -hmm. Noike! 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 I take it you two know each other. Yeah! We used to be partners when I was a detective. We did a whole lot together. We were such a great team. Partners, huh? I have got new respect for that chick. She must have gone through hell. Mm -hmm. And then Saria was like, Bam! I was wondering where you would run off to. <laughs> Strange to think you ended up helping Tenchi out in the fields. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. My name is Noike Kamiki Jirai. And that means that she's my... Yes, this girl is your fiancé, Tenchi. Then who... who is that other person? That girl is Irie Masaki. She's your grandfather's wife. Oh, I see now. She's Grandpa's... His wife! Which also makes her your grandmother. <laughs> oh, this is all happening so fast. Let's just take the wrinkly old hag and put her aside for a moment. Uh... <coughs> I absolutely refuse to accept that this woman is Tenchi's fiancé. Tenchi's mine, I tell ya! Hold on a second. Exactly when was it that Tenchi became yours, huh? When? Don't tell me that you're okay with this, being brushed aside by someone who appears out of nowhere and claims to be Tenchi's fiancé. Well, well, I, uh... Hey, the lunch is ready. Goodness, did you make all that yourself? Here, let me help you get it to the table. Hey, sit down. I'm not finished talking to you yet. We'll continue our discussion a little later. Right now, we should all pitch in and help with lunch. Why? It'll be faster if we work together. Mihoshi, lunchtime! Come inside and help! Okay, come on, you two, let's get moving. Lunchtime! Fine, whatever, come on. Mihoshi, hurry up! Coming! Wow, she seems to be pretty good at handling kids all right. Was she a school teacher or something? No, it's just that she has a lot of brothers and sisters exactly the same as you do, Washu. <laughs> You know, Tanyo, I have heard all the rumors and everything, but I can see now old lady Sato really is a go-getter. <laughs> she is, I guess. Mm. It's 
delicious. You're a great cook, Sasami. <laughs> Grandmother taught me everything I know about cooking. Do you always prepare the entire meals for this household? Mm-hmm. Whenever she's off duty, Mahoshi helps me out a little bit, too. Mm -hmm. Well, from now on, you can count on me to help out, too, okay? Stop right there! I still haven't approved mm. of you staying here and doing anything, you... Miss Ryoko, would you like me to get you another serving? What? Sure. It doesn't look like Ryoko even stands a chance. I'm afraid I have no choice. I'll just have to take care of this myself. Miss Ayaka? <laughs> would you care for some iced tea? Yes, thanks a lot, Noike. Hmm. Me, Hoshi! Only two croquettes per person! I'm sorry, I oh, don't put food back after you've touched it! Sorry! Say there, hmm. Tenchi. Care for seconds? Why, yes, I would. Thank you for asking. Mm hmm. Wow, a sister and an arranged political marriage. Boy. Things sure are getting interesting around here. Hmm? Oh. Tenchi, why don't we take a little walk? Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> we sure are weak when there's food involved, aren't we? <sighs> no matter what we do, we'll always be helpless in that department. Careful! Huh? Sorry! Mm. I made a bad boo boo! <laughs> Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah, Tenchi! Huh? Uh, it's nice to meet you, Grandma. Huh? Uh-oh. I am not a grandma! <clears throat> so, understand? Even if someone is a mother's mother, they certainly shouldn't be called Grandma if they're as young and attractive as someone like myself. The title itself just seems to be misleading for a girl like me. Huh? <clears throat> You're right. What would you like me to call you? Let's see. I got it. How about Sissy Poo? What? Uh. <laughs> Why not? Got a problem with that? <laughs> no, no, no. Of course not. It's just, well, you see, I, I'm i really a sister, so, uh... Works out perfectly. Two beautiful sisters and their cute little brother. I love it. Well, it seems like a good idea now. But I wonder if Lady Sato would approve of Tenchi calling his grandmother... Sissy Poo was some such silly name. Oh! I guess just Irie will be fine. Okay. Irie it is. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Did I say your name wrong? You are so adorable. <laughs> Excuse me, please. When he calls me by my name like that, I can't control myself. He's so cute. <laughs> you can just call me Miss Irie. Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. Oh, my. I was really planning on this being a nice, quiet visit. So what happened? Where did everything go wrong? I would say that it was probably right around the same time that you lost Noike. Is that so? I wouldn't have if you hadn't taken so long. I'm sorry. It's just that when I arrived and Tenchi saw my face, he just started crying. Hmm? Oh. I guess that couldn't be helped. So did he look cute when he cried? Why, of course he did. And as soon as he held me in his arms, I was done for. All my plans went out the window. Oh, how I do wish I could have seen that. <laughs> yes, it was cute. <laughs> Grandfather? Wait. I want to explain. I'm sorry. Sorry that I couldn't tell you about any of these things before. 
It may seem kind of silly, but you see, it's a rule passed down to all of the members of the Masaki family. It is against our principles to become involved with members of developing civilizations. And because of this, we cannot allow anyone to know of our true identities. But that does not change the fact that we are also people of the Earth. We live our normal lives, take wives and husbands, have children, and keep these things secret from them until they finally come of age. It is only then we can reveal the secrets of our family. What happens once they know the truth? Most take the opportunity to venture into space. But even so, about half of those who leave come back to Earth after a couple of decades. Of course, the ones who decide to return are forced to disguise themselves with a different face. A different face? <coughs> Whoa, Grandpa! You've already met my father, Azusa, the Emperor of Jirai, and Funaho and Masaki, haven't you? Well, yeah. Yes, I have, but why? Do not let Ayeka and the others know. Um, all right. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? Is there something else I should know? You'll find out soon enough. I'm really sorry, Grandpa, but I'm afraid it's just about time for me to go. All right. Take care of yourself. Where are you headed, sister? I'm going off to a class reunion. I told you. I still have a few schoolmates around here. They're all getting pretty old, though. I guess it's not exactly the best way to put it, but we've all decided to take one last trip together. I'll be sure to bring you back a souvenir. <sighs> Bye. Have a good trip, okay? Be careful. Oh, don't worry. Well, I should actually be going myself. Hmm? Take good care of yourself, Tenchi. Right, sure. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> hey, uh, Grandpa? Yes, Tenchi? What's going to happen to me now? Hmm. I have no idea. Hmm. Huh. I knew you were going to say that. Hey, Tenchi. You don't like this whole business about being given a fiancé either, do you? You Look. know, Tenchi, Lady Sato can be rather intrusive at times, but she's not necessarily unreasonable. But oh, yeah, that's right, Tenchi! You and Noike are getting married? Really? I mean, I know Noike. 
grandmother. Seems like she's always throwing pebbles in the pond to see what sort of ripple she can ah. make. That is an excellent observation, Sasami. Quite deep. And you know, maybe grandmother's right. This is kind of fun. <laughs> hmm? so if you, you just don't have to do it, I'm sure you, you can just still say no if you want. So, how come you don't want to join in with the others? <laughs> Not my style. Tenji? Hmm? Huh? Is everything all right with you? You don't look like you're feeling very well. Hey! We're right in the middle of something. Oh! Oh, oh. no! Tenchi! 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 Oh, Tenchi! Well, what with the heat outside and then all the commotion on top of it, it looks like he suffered a minor heat stroke, plus stress and overexertion. It's nothing three days or so of rest won't cure. Tenchi. The poor dear. Oh my gosh. Now listen up. Crowding uh -huh. around isn't going to do him any good. He needs space. All right, all right. Lay off. Then who's going to take care of him, Washu? No, Ike. Yes? You have some training as a nurse, right? Wow. Yes. Good. Then you can look after Tenchi. Hey, mm? Forget it. We can take care of him just fine. It's only oh. right. It was our fault that he fainted in the first place. Oh, oh please! That's enough! Quiet! Oh. Tenchi needs peace and quiet, and that's what you're going to give him. Oh. Says who? Mm. Why, I... Oh. You really want to help? You can stop standing oh. around complaining like a bunch of overgrown children and make yourself useful around the house. Aw, oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Huh? What does it all mean? The vision yesterday. It's the same nightmare I always seem to have. No, Ike? Oh? Tenchi! Good, you're awake. Would you like a change of clothing? Uh, yeah. Just take it easy now. Washu says you need to rest for the next three days. Three days? You don't have to worry about anything at all. We'll see that all the chores are taken care of. Yeah, but three whole all days... Alright, listen, that... Tenchi. Hmm? I'll have you know I'm a qualified nurse. And as my patient, I am ordering you to relax. Is that clear? Hmm? Uh, yeah. Well, I guess so. Hmm. Good. Now let's see. Your pajamas. I can help you change if you'd like. Uh, uh, that's okay. I uh, think I can manage. Yeah, oh no, it's nothing. 
Well, you don't seem to be running a fever. Just let me know if you need anything. Oh, hello. Is everything okay? Poor thing. Are you worried? Meow. You see real okey face. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> no, I promise you working in your carrot fields isn't what caused Tenchi to overexert himself. Meow. <laughs> really, you don't have to worry. Besides, I'll be helping from now on. And you can help too, okay? Uh, meow. Uh, hey, no, Wike. Oh, Ryoko. So how's Tenchi? Is he all right? Yes, yes, he's fine. He woke up shortly after you guys left. <laughs> Can I see him? Sorry, I gave him his IV and put him back to sleep. Aww. He needs his rest. If we give him that, he'll be better in a day or two. But if he's really worried about the house and the chores and the fields, or if he gets too many visitors, mm. it may take a lot longer. Um... Nante? Oh, hi, Ayeka. How is Tenchi? Is there anything I can do? Well, it's like Washu said. All he really needs now is a few days of peace and quiet. I see. Actually, I still have quite a bit of work I need to do out in the fields today. Could you finish washing his clothes for me? It would really be an enormous help. Oh, yes. I'd be glad to. Thank you so much. Of course. Mm -hmm. Sasami, I'm going up to Katsuhito's place and then out to the fields for a while. Oh, all right. Want me to make some snacks for you? That'd be great, thanks. Say, Ryooki. Yeah? Would you like to come with me? Meow! Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Oh, Sasami, Washu says that you don't have to bring any food to Tenchi. He'll be just fine. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sasami. He'll be all right. And he'll get better faster if we all leave him alone. That's why it's important that he doesn't have visitors. Well, that and it'll keep Ryoko and the others from ganging up on him again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Then I'll leave the rest to you. <laughs> You're going to the field? Yes. I'll probably be out for a while. Could you look after the house for me? Sure. No problem. Don't worry about a thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, by the way, you should stop in for a physical sometime. Tenshi told me you got a bit dizzy when you first met him. Seemed like he was pretty worried about you. Hmm? <laughs> Well, as long as you're not thinking about making me one of your guinea pigs. Huh? Oh. <laughs> no, Rike! How's Tenchi? Can I see him? Can I see him? You are not allowed within ten feet of Tenchi's room. Now make that twenty, got it? Oh, okay. Good! So, shall we go then? I hooked up his IV and he's resting peacefully now. Yes, I suppose a lot has happened. And considering what he's had to deal with, we've prescribed him bed rest for the next three days, just to be safe. But I imagine he'll be feeling better by tomorrow. Well, you've certainly gone out of your way to help him. No, not at all, really. That is why I'm here. It's the least I could do. Oh? I thought Lady Sato only sent you here to keep tabs on everyone. Uh. But if you wish to play the part of fiancé, then I don't mind. <gasps> well, in that case, I have a little request. Huh? A request?
<laughs> Crazy, I tell you. Some strange broad just waltzes in and takes over. May I remind you? Aside from Sasami and myself, no one in this house is related to Tenchi. So, I guess we're all strange broads then. <sighs> yeah, all right, you do got a point. I mean, to think some other broad can just waltz in and take over. It's crazy, I tell you. Come on, Ryoko. Don't even say it. I know, if she were gone, we'd only wear a Tenchi down again. Yes, I can certainly see why Lady Sato chose her. Bite your tongue! You think she's better for Tenchi than us? What does it matter? She's his fiancé. Mm. That's just a pretense. Hmm? Huh? I'm sorry. I couldn't help but overhear. Incidentally, I'd like to thank you both for all of your hard work today. Without everyone's cooperation, I'm afraid it would be nearly impossible to keep this house under control. Yeah, well, no one ever said we needed to be kept under control. Hmm. Space pirate Ryoko and her pirate ship Ryo Oki. Second generation Jiraiyan ship Ryu O and the founding tree tsunami, Mihoshi Kuramitsu. And of course, the woman who created the ship that single handedly stood up to the Jiraiyan fleet. Washu Hakubi. Living together under this one roof, you're a military might that rivals any in the galaxy. I've been sent here to keep an eye on you. What? Like I said, my being Tenshi's fiance is only a pretense. The truth is, I may actually be called upon to turn against him if the political situation warrants it. You know, Tenchi should be up and about again starting tomorrow. I hope I can count on your continued cooperation. Wow, you're something else. Oh, and Ryoko, Ayeka, make sure you put your sake dishes in the sink when you're finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm, this'll be interesting. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I... I mean, was I saying anything? Yeah, stop and brother, stuff like that. <gasps> oh. oh, I'm so sorry, Tenchi. I guess that I must have dozed off there. So anyway, tell me how you're feeling. Oh, much better. Right now, I'm more worried about you, though. <laughs> Well, you do look a lot better. Good. I think it should be safe to let you out of bed for a bit. You must be famished. Why don't we go to my ship for some lunch? Actually, there's someone there I'd like you to meet. Oh. Right this way. Whoa. This is your ship? Her name is Kyoko. Nice to meet you, Kyoko. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I think she's happy to meet you as well. Kyoko's existence is a closely guarded state secret. So you can imagine she doesn't get much in the way of visitors. Are you sure it's alright for me to be in here? 
Of course it is. After all, you're considered an even bigger state secret yourself. Huh? Oh. Uh, wait! I'm a state secret? Yep, that's right. So how is your food? Everything tastes all right? Mm. Yeah, it's great. I really like Sasami's cooking and all, but this, somehow, it just tastes like home, you know? Rhea showed me how to season everything just the way you like it. I'm still learning, though. She promised to teach me a few more dishes next time. Oh, that's great. I can't wait. You can help yourself to some of mine if you want more. Oh, well, if you're not gonna eat it. Wait a second. Are you feeling all right? That seemed like a pretty bad dream you had earlier. Really, it's nothing to worry over. It's a dream I've had for a long time now. Is... is it a nightmare? Oh, it's a dream where I get rescued, just in the nick of time. Oh? By who? Well, it is a dream. I can't see his face that well. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Mm. Now mm. stop that! You're being rude, Kyoko! Kyoko? Yes, well, that's Kyoko's terminal form, to be precise. Much like Ryo-Oki, I suppose. Mm. Yeah. She's able to transform into just about any shape. Yeah. <laughs> I know. After we're done with lunch, how would you like a nice hot bath? I have a private facility here on the ship. Uh. Uh. Hmm? Hmm? Uh. This is incredible. Do you like it? Hmm? Uh, no, no, you okay. I'll scrub your back for you. Come on, let's go. I, uh, I, um, it's okay. I'm fine. Come on, don't be uh, shy. No way. Ooh, no, really, I can, I can wash that myself. Hmm. Ah, this is wonderful. Say, Tenchi, why don't you come a little closer? <coughs> That's okay. You know, you really are something of a mystery to me. A Jiraiyan princess, a legendary scientist, along with a fearsome space pirate, the Kuramitsu family's invincible daughter, and of course, Ryooki. Before I came here, I often wondered what the prince who surrounded himself with such girls would be like. I'm just an ordinary earthling. But the company you keep is anything but ordinary. Yeah, that's true, but I'm just a normal high school student. Guess you must be disappointed, huh? In terms of my preconceptions, I'd say yes. But I guess I'm also a bit relieved. Oh. <gasps> What the heck happened? She must have gotten mad that you were only talking to me and not her. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Kyoko. I'm afraid she gets lonely rather easily. Did you know Kyoko is a third generation test ship? Test ship? Even in the third generation, our royal ships are the most powerful in the galaxy. Or so we thought, until the incident 700 years ago shattered that notion. The only ship that was able to stand up to Ryooki was Ayaka's second generation Ryuo. The third generation ships were easily outclassed. There are very few second generation ships left now, and the only remaining first generation is the Jiraiyan Emperor's flagship, Kirito. Therefore, the strengthening of third generation ships became the top priority in terms of national security. As a result, Kyoko's nearly as powerful as a second generation ship. And that's the reason why she's such a closely guarded state secret. How about that? 
She seems like she'd get along great with Sasami and Ryooki. Lady Sato will be arriving tomorrow. I suspect she'll be ready to report her decision. Wait, the girl's grandmother is coming here? What's she gonna decide? It is unfortunate about Ryoko and the others. But I'm sure some good will come of it. Oh. Tenchi. Hmm? The person who always saves me in my dream, he reminds me of you. Hmm? Where'd this truck come from? <gasps> huh? Look, the old Noe case back! <laughs> what happened to all of your hair? Well, this is the hairstyle I used to wear before Lady Sato adopted me. I guess you don't like it, huh? No. I think it looks kind of nice. <gasps> Long hair just gets in the way of work, so... But Noike, what about... I can wear a wig for those official functions. So, what's with the truck? Yes, that. I persuaded Katsuhito to give this to me for use out in the fields. I thought it might help lighten Tenchi's burden a bit. That's great, Noike. Thank you. That is why I'm here, to help out. I can help with the field work too, you know. Yes, and I can do some work too. Right. You'll just get your logs to do it for you. And? So what? My loyal servants will be happy to assist me. Which means you won't actually be doing any of the helping, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, who are you to talk? You'll probably just summon one of your demon monsters to do all your work for you. Mm. Now, now, you mm. two. Oh. Why don't I teach you guys how to drive? Then you can both take turns helping. Huh? huh? That's, That's a, a great, great idea, idea Noike. Noike. Thanks. Thanks. Noike, what about me? I know how to drive. You aren't laying so much as a finger on this truck. <laughs> like I said before, this is going to be real interesting. A marshal, you have no right to give departure orders without my authorization. That ship belongs to the Kuromitsu family. I have the right to use it any way I please. Misao and the others were on official business. This is an obvious violation. Their leave papers have already been delivered. <laughs> <laughs> Damn old man. I would like to know how it is that you can justify using the Chobi Maru to pick up Mihoshi. Ah, I'm sure I don't know what you mean. I suspected that you had been secretly plotting something with me, Sao, but I never imagined that it would be something this stupid. And what would you have me do then? Sit idly by twiddling my thumbs as misfortune falls upon my daughter's head? I won't let me Hoshi bear that strain again. I won't. I can't. Hmm. Then I guess you admit the target is Earth, right? But, no fair. Hmm. So, let me get this straight. You're planning on destroying the Earth along with Jirai's great-grandson. After you've picked up Mihoshi, of course. Oh, that's ridiculous! Now get out of here! Don't you have a war to prepare for or something? Marshal, I assume you're aware that planet Earth is home to a developing civilization, correct? What are you suggesting? What indeed? Only that you're an old fool who's gone crazy. No matter how carefully Misao plans his approach, the Earthlings will notice that ship. And then, all hell's going to break loose. Heh. <laughs> One developing planet is no match for the might of the Chobi Maru. It is the Kuromitsu family's latest and greatest battleship. Not even your mighty army could withstand its superior firepower. 
<laughs> Actually, that reminds me. I have a message for you from Mikami. What? You mean my sister? My sister knows? It's rather naive of you to think that she wouldn't find out. I'm going to sell one of your gardening planets to cover the expense of rebuilding the Chobi Maru. That's the message. She would never. She... she knows those are my favorite... Wait! What was that stuff about rebuilding expenses? Don't worry, I'm told Lady Sato has already agreed to buy the planet. They'll be covered. You even told the Devil Princess of Jorai about it? She found out on her own. And I'll rather enjoy watching Minami squirm. <laughs> That's her message for you. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a rescue team to prepare. <laughs> Sister. On my life, I will protect her. I promised Mihoshi that I would always protect her, that I would do everything in my power to keep her safe. I won't let anyone take her away! I'm coming for you, Tenshi! Mashisu, uh, what a pleasant surprise. Where is he? He's supposed to be on duty. <coughs> well, you see, it's like this. He had to leave his desk on urgent business, and uh, uh, if you have a message, I, I'd be happy to deliver it to him for you. No, I'll do it myself.
Is it from my sister? Hi! It's me, Mihoshi Kuramitsu. I went down in the fields with Tenchi again this afternoon. It was an absolutely beautiful day. The sky was... Hi! It's me, Mihoshi. Well, today I tripped again, but Tenchi caught me just in the nick of time. And I accidentally grabbed... Hi, it's Mihoshi again. Today, I was taking a nap, and Tenchi... Mihoshi here. I bumped into Tenchi in the bathroom today. <laughs> Hi! Today I went with Tenchi out the <laughs> I was talking to Tenchi today and we... So today, uh... Well, Tenchi... Oh. This is ridiculous! Just who is this Tenchi? <laughs> it's another guy. I'd bet my life on it. And if it's a guy, it can only mean one thing! No good scoundrel is taking advantage of my sister. Yes, I'm certain of it. After all, according to Mihoshi's reports, this fiend is surrounded by all sorts of gorgeous women. And if anything like that happens to her again, no, I have to get rid of him. I'll show that Tenchi Masaki. Oh, I'll get rid of him. It's quite simple. He's a dead man. <laughs> Commander Masao! Hmm? Commander Masao! Are you there, sir? Please come in! I'm here. Commander, something's come up. It better be good. Didn't I tell you not to disturb me? Yes, sir. But Vice Commander Mashisu is looking for you. If she finds out I left my post early, I'm in trouble. Cover for me. I'll be there right away. It's just that she left already, and she said that she was going to find you herself. Did she now? But she doesn't know where I am. I've got it. Here's what I'll do. I'll tell her I received a top-secret message from the Director General, which required an immediate reply, so I had no choice but to leave my desk. Then, what are you doing? Are you trying to tell me something? Uh, um, Commander? Don't worry about it. It's a believable enough excuse. I'm sure she'll buy it. I figured that I'd find you here. Oh, hi. <laughs> so sorry to interrupt your alone time, but I have an important report I think you should hear. Oh? Yes, we have learned that Earth, the planet you've chosen as this ship's target, is currently home to a developing civilization. What? You're kidding, aren't you? With a population of roughly six billion. I understand that your plan is to recover Mihoshi, kidnap the members of the Jiraiyan royal family, and lure Ryoko into attacking our ship. During the battle, you plan to stage a reactor overload. This, in turn, will trigger a misfiring of the Chobimaru's main battery, destroying Tenchi and the entire Earth. So I think you can understand my concern. That's amazing. I had no idea. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know that. Who'd have ever guessed that the Jiraiyan royal family was living on a developing world? I thought that it was probably a privately owned <laughs> planet or something. And what if this brilliant plan of yours accidentally killed the Jiraiyans and started a war between the Jirai and Kuramitsu families? Did you stop to consider that? Of course, if that's what you want. As long as I'm in your employ, I'll do as I'm told, but... She sure doesn't act like an employee. Hmm? <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Ow! Uh, hey! Uh, Stop it! Uh, uh, quiet, oh. you! This is for your own uh, good, or would you prefer uh, your staff to see you with a black uh, eye? Uh, uh, uh. Damn it. As soon as I get Mihoshi back, she is so fired! Uh, uh, uh. All right, I'm sorry. I was in such a hurry to rescue my sister. I thought the research could wait until later. I'll be more careful from now on, I promise! No. Ow. Crazy woman. And to think I could have insisted Great Aunt Mikami give me no Ike instead, but no. So you're thinking about no Ike now? Why, no. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Though I sincerely doubt that no Ike would ever allow herself to support such a plan. No way. She would never be such a fool. I suggest that we revise our plans a little. No matter how primitive they might be technologically, if we approach in a planet-sized ship like this, even the Earthlings will notice. 
So that means, unless our plan is more discreet, it will be impossible to keep Mihoshi from finding out. <laughs> but Tenchi's death has to look like an accident! No, there's no other way. I don't want my sister to hate me forever. Yes, it must look like an accident, even to Masao. Otherwise, I don't think he could bear the weight of Tenchi's death on his conscience, let alone a population of billions of Earthlings. <gasps> and what about Mihoshi? If she were to come back after this, she would probably never be the same again. Should this plan succeed, both Mihoshi and Misao would only be scarred. Should I stop him? If Tenchi were to die, don't you think that would affect Mihoshi? It's all right. I'll make her forget him in time. And besides, it's far more dangerous leaving her there with that scoundrel. I mean, what happens when he's finished using her and tosses her aside? Tenchi's rotten. I will not let him do that to her. Not ever. Then I will help him carry out his plans. I have to. What? We're using the Chobi Maru as a trap? From here on, we proceed according to the new plan. Operation I'll never let anyone have my sister is now a go. Clear? Wow, that's some name. That a joke? You know, I still don't see what we get out of all this. Sounds like some silly rich kids game. Be quiet! It's not your place to question your orders, got it? Hey, there's no reason to shout. You're gonna blow a blood vessel there. <laughs> uh. oh. Oh. That's gonna leave a mark. Oh. Now do I have your attention? Yeah, I hear you. The first objective of the new plan will be to detain those who pose the greatest threat here. Then we will find a way to lure our primary target toward the Chobi Maru. Hmm. So instead of the planet, the Chobi Maru is gonna get vaporized. Other than that, the plan remains unchanged. The statute of limitations has run out on Ryoko's major crimes. But I've filed a list of minor offenses to extend her wanted status. We use that as a pretext for attacking Ryoko. Then we feign retreat to lead her away from Earth. As Ryoko pursues our ship, the fighting will accidentally trigger an overload in the main reactor. The resulting blast will destroy the Chobi Maru, along with our primary target. So we're gonna blow up a planet-sized ship just so we can kill one person? I swear I'll never understand the way rich people think. Huh. We're dealing with members of the Jiraiyan royal family and a cyber marionette created by one of the greatest scientific minds in the history of the Academy. Unless we can come up with a way to overpower them. All of our plans are for nothing. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. You just leave that part to us. <laughs> we'll get the job done. Very well. The operation begins in 24 hours. That's just great she's here. Grandmother! Ah, <laughs> oh, Sasami, look at how you've grown. <laughs> it's been a long time, Grandmother. Why, yes, it has indeed. I hope you've been well. Yes, very well, thank you. Good, I'm very glad to hear it. And little Rio Oki, it sounds like you've been practicing a new song. Yeah. I'll tell you what, when you learn the whole thing, you can teach it to me. Yeah. Hello, Mother. It's so good to see you. And you too, Noike. But what have you done to your hair, dear? Oh, what's the matter? Don't you like it? <laughs> <laughs> Lady Sato. I'm Tenchi Misaki. Pleased to meet you. Ah, Tenchi, you're much taller now than what I remember you as. Huh? Uh, 
Of course, the last time I saw you, you were just a little baby that I cradled in my arms. Really? Was he cute? Wait, what did you just say? I am not sure that I understand. You mean that you've known where Brother Yosha was all along? So then why did you keep it a secret all this time? You should have told us. Perhaps I could have if you hadn't run away from home like that. <laughs> By the time Yosho was finally able to make contact with me again, you were already out of reach halfway across the galaxy. Really? That is the truth, my dear. I see. So then that whole business with Yosho and Irie... Yes, well, naturally, I did what I could to help them out. <gasps> And I'm guessing that you're also the one who told Father where to find us. Oh, I thought that the time was about right for a visit. Well, oh? well, well. So the Lady of the Hour has finally arrived, huh? Huh? Oh, come on. Say hello to her, Ryoko. <sighs> ah, look who's finally joined us, little Washu and Ryoko. Who's little? Well, that's the Devil Princess of Jirai for ya. I suppose we've not had the pleasure of a formal introduction. I am Lady Seto Kamara. Oh, oh. Seto Just low on sleep. Oh, you're really serious, that's all it is? I imagine your grandmother was probably so excited to see you again she couldn't sleep. Sort of like a child the night before a trip to the amusement park. Yeah, that sounds like grandmother, all right. She does tend to get worked up. <laughs> anyway, I'll be able to keep an eye on her here, so why don't you two run along and start getting things ready? You have a big welcome party to prepare for. Yes, but shouldn't we? I mean, we certainly appreciate your help, Washu. Ah, oh, don't mention it. One more thing, Washu. Promise you won't use Grandmother as one of your guinea pigs? Ah, uh, who, me? Can you go out to the fields and ask Tenchi if he'll get us some more? I mean, if it's not too much trouble or anything. Sure, I'll go right away. Meow! Huh? You want to go with her, real Oki? Meow! Thanks again for the help, Noike. Oh, it's no trouble, really. Besides, I enjoy working out in the fields like this. It's good to get out in the open air. Oh. So, uh, you never told me how you know your way around a farm so well. There's not much to tell. We were pretty self-sufficient growing up. I'm used to it. Oh, um, I hope I'm not being too nosy. Oh, no, it's quite all right. When I was little, I used to work in the fields before and after school. Wow. That must have been hard on you. Mm, no, not really. I just thought it was what everyone did. And the work was its own reward once the food made it home to the dinner table. Oh. I guess not much has changed, really. After all, I still can't resist a nice, fresh pit carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful over there, Ryooki. Watch your step. Yeah! Wow, great. Thanks a lot, Noike. You're a lifesaver. Oh, hey, where's Tenchi? We ran into Mihoshi on the way back to the house. She was in a rush to do some last-minute shopping. 
Tenchi didn't want her going alone, so he tagged along. I hope Tenchi knows what he's getting himself into. Will you look at that? I've never seen this kitchen work so efficiently. Why, thank you. I figured for such a special occasion, I'd better keep things moving. Actually, I was referring more to your little assistant there. Oh, yes, well... You're working about three times faster than normal. Very impressive, Sasami. If we keep up this pace, I think we could be ready to eat in 30 minutes. That's great news. Uh, except... I really don't think Lady Seda will be getting out of bed anytime soon. No, don't worry. If I know Grandmother, she'll be down as soon as she smells food. Hmm? When we were still on Jirai, she'd always wake up when we tried to sneak food in the middle of the night. Was she like that with you too, Noike? Mm-hmm. She had a gift for sniffing out food we had hidden away. And when she found it, she'd have everyone over to tea to eat it together. Then lecture us on the benefits of sharing. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yep, that sounds like something Grandmother would do. <laughs> sure does. Oh, oh. smells delicious. <laughs> <laughs> See, what did I tell you, Washu? <laughs> well, as long as you're up now, how are you feeling? Hmm. Well, I guess I'd say I feel alive, refreshed, like I've been reborn. But mostly I'm relieved I wasn't turned into a guinea pig. <laughs> Anyway, Lady Sato. Yes? We still have a little time before this party gets started. What do you say we go up to my room and chat for a while? Oh, that's a splendid idea. We'll get out of your way, Sasami. Just call us when everything's ready. Huh? Wait a sec. I made a snack tray for you so you don't have to sneak any food. Oh! <laughs> 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 you too, Washu. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Now that's odd. I wonder why there isn't any answer. Oh, I guess I'll have to tell them myself. Sisami. <laughs> I'm going out to the shrine for a bit. I'll be right back. Okay, don't be very long. Would you like to walk with me, Ryooki? Hmm? That sounds really fun. We can handle things here. Don't worry. Hmm? Meow! 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 Hey, wait for me! <laughs> meow! Meow! It should be right in here. Hey, Sasami. There's no sake. Where the heck did you hide it? Oh, it's all gone. I used them in the cooking and... Well, Mihoshi sort of spilled the rest. Sorry about that, but you won't have to wait too long. Mihoshi and Tenchi have already gone out to buy some more. What? <laughs> Why don't I go call Washu and Lady Sato down to the table? Okay, I'm just about ready. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, Noike. Tell you what? Your talent for showing up and taking charge of things like you do, is that something you picked up from the Devil Princess here? Why, shoot, whatever could you mean? <laughs> so, shall we then? Noike really whipped this place into shape. She can be a real tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure I don't know where she gets it. <laughs> 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 uh. Of all times for this to happen, it had to be now. We were just about to start our party. But I suppose we did make a promise, Nuike. Isn't that right? Yes, but don't you think we should... Just trust me, you don't have to worry about Tenchi. Oh, no, what I meant was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, someone's here. That's sure strange. It's like these three aren't even nervous at all. Well, I can change that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a little liquid fun to get a party jumping, huh? Oh man, not just the 
business again. If I get all scuffed up before the party, I'm sure I'll never hear the end of it from Washu. <laughs> Careful you don't trip on the stairs, Ryoki. I'm impressed you were actually able to sense my presence. Who are you? My name isn't important, but allow me to introduce you to my little pets. <laughs> Just my luck. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, do I know you? It's almost a waste of my talents capturing a little girl. <laughs> Talk about child's play. <laughs> Hello! I'm home! Huh? Oh. Huh, I wonder where everybody went. You know, this is really strange. You'd at least think that Sasami and Noike would be here, wouldn't you? Yeah, no kidding. Huh? Uh, oh, hello there! Ah, sister, it's been far too long. Yeah, it sure has, uh, uh, uh... Sister? I'm sorry, who's calling, please? <laughs> Who do you think ah, it is? Ah, it's Misao! Is it Misao ah, Kuramitsu, ah, your brother? Uh, well, I, uh... Uh... Oh, hey, Miss Al, it's you! Long time no see! You're so grown up now, I hardly recognized you! Well, I, for one, am glad you finally did. Anyway, what about you, Tenchi? How are you doing? Uh, I'm just fine, thank you. So, you, uh, you know who I am, then? Oh, yes. I know you very well indeed. And so, since you've been such a gracious host and shown my sister so much kindness, I'd like to invite you to a banquet aboard my ship. Oh, well, I... I appreciate the invitation and all, but it wouldn't be polite to just leave my guests Nonsense! here. Nonsense! Mm -hmm. Or, what I mean is, I see no reason why your guests can't join us as well. I'll tell you what, I'll have my staff pick them up for you. What do you say, Tenchi? That sounds like fun, doesn't it, huh? But, uh, yeah, sure, I guess so. Good. I will eagerly be waiting your arrival. Oh, why, how dare he touch my sister like that? I'll, I'll kill him! I swear on my life! I will kill Tenchi Masaki! Huh. You know, for a GP grunt, that's a pretty good barrier you put up there. Yes, well, we spared no expense. That's great, bucko, but I don't have time for this game right now, so beat it, why don't you? What, you mean you don't even want to hear about Tenshi? What are you talking about? What have you done with him? We haven't done anything yet. I just thought that you might be interested to know what we have planned for him. Now you're really asking for it, bucko. Now, now, let's not get feisty. You and I are just going to wait a while. Yeah, right. You honestly think that this barrier of yours is enough to hold me back? Not really, which is why I brought a few friends along. These three are even more powerful cyber marionettes than you are. Why, you? I'm nobody's puppet. Got it? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> well, I guess there's more to you than meets the eye. But these were only C-class marionettes. Hardly top of the line. Ah, uh, can it already? Just tell me, how long am I supposed to wait here? What? Well, seeing as how you bothered to come all this way with those silly little toys of yours, tell you what, I'll humor you for a little while. <laughs> I mean, obviously you're new at this sort of thing. I wouldn't want you getting hurt your first time out or anything. You should know something. A certain someone has arranged a marriage between Mihoshi and Tenchi. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> So then, in answer to your question, we are going to sit here as long as it takes for the ceremony to be completed. In the meantime, why don't I show you some more of my silly little toys?
If you stay there and keep quiet, I promise I won't ask them to play too rough. <laughs> They're late! What could be taking so long? Even if they had to prep the ship, they should have easily been here by now. You don't uh, suppose something uh, happened to them? Hey, haven't the sensors picked up anything yet? No, nothing. <sighs> no, what could I have been thinking? If there's no one with them, that means my sister's all alone on her spaceship with that beast! <laughs> no, stop it! What do you think you're doing? Go ahead. Scream all you like. No one can hear you. Come here. <laughs> no, please, don't! This is unbearable. How could I leave my sister to the mercy of that scoundrel? <laughs> so, what do you think? Should you try to snap him out of it? No way! I'm keeping my nose out of this one. I still have scars from the last time I interrupted one of his rants. Why don't you do it this time? No way! Last time I tried, the teeth marks didn't heal for a week! What a predicament! If only Vice Commander Mashisa were here! <laughs> what in the heck was that? I picked up an unidentified ship approaching us at high speed. <laughs> Who is that crazy woman? <laughs> <laughs> that ship! It's Ryooki, sir! Oh, don't you think I can see that, you idiot? Sir, incoming energy wave! Ah! Ah! Oh, damn it! It wasn't supposed to go like this!
It can't be. No, stop it. How did you get through all ten of my marionettes at once? Leave me alone. Go away. <laughs> that poor, poor man. It's not a good idea to make Ryo go mad. I'm guessing it'll be quite a while yet before he shakes it off. He got off hmm? easy. I mean to think my two state-of-the-art mechanoids swatted aside by a kitty. They're about as ferocious as they come, but one look from that rodent and they collapsed. Yeah, well, at least you have a good excuse. It may be small, but that kitty's the unit of a warship, and the princess is a pretty capable fighter in her own right. But what about me, huh? Because I just got my butt kicked. Yes, you certainly did. I saw the whole thing with my own two eyes, and it's still hard to believe. We were cut off from all mechanical and electronic support, but somehow Washu overpowered Baguma's S-Class ESP abilities. And then, to add insult to injury, she beat him in hand-to-hand -hand combat as well. What can I say? I'm tougher than I look. <laughs> well, that certainly doesn't surprise me. Considering your past, I'll bet you've seen more than your share of brawls. But not as many as the Devil Princess of Jirai has. You're way too modest. <sighs> Why, even I am no match for the legendary Washu, the most brilliant and devious scientist the Academy has ever produced. <laughs> Be that as it may. Huh? By now, I'm quite sure that our partner has succeeded in apprehending Princess Sasami. So if you know what's good for her, all of you will remain here with us. It's Mashisu, isn't it? As long as you follow instructions. I promise that no harm will come to her. <laughs> ah. I doubt that we have to worry. But if you say so, in any case, I'm sure we won't have to wait long. Ryoko was already heading out there, just like you planned, right? Oh. <laughs> mm. huh? mm. Oh, hey there. What's everybody doing? You gotta be kidding. I don't believe it. That's not possible. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not just gonna stand there and let you catch me. I'm really sorry. She's evading all of my attacks. The young princess of Jirai is even more powerful than I thought. Well, playtime is oh. If I don't capture her now, all of Masao's plans will be in jeopardy. <laughs> Sorry for the drastic measures. I hoped it wouldn't have to come to this, but I can't allow Masao's plan to fail. Huh? Oh, wait a sec, I get it. You're in love with this Masao fella. Come on, tell the truth. <gasps> Quiet! I can tell, because I'm in love with Tenchi. Uh, that's enough! Either you come along quietly, or your precious Tenchi will die. Is that clear enough for you? Huh? Oh, I guess we're stuck. I can't just let you take me away. If all of a sudden they turned up missing like that, Tenchi would worry himself sick. So then I guess, give it your best. Mm. 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 Mashisu. 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 Mashisu! Where am I? I see. So we've all been captured then. Yeah, sorry. Guess it turned out we were all just a little outmatched. It's all right. Even if one of us had failed, it wouldn't matter if the rest succeeded. What of the others? How are the rest of our plans proceeding? The Chobi Maru is currently exchanging fire with Ryoko. But beyond that, I have no further information. No matter. It's not quite the way we planned it, but all those we hope to detain are still here. The rest will work itself out. So, are you finished catching up? <gasps> la, 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 Lady Sato. <gasps> what? Noike too? It's been a long time since I've seen you, Mashisu. So, 
Oh, let me see if I got this straight. After you had all of us safely in captivity, your plan was to lure Tenchi and Mihoshi over to your ship. Mihoshi's brother had arranged a marriage for them, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. Masao is very fond of his sister. Wouldn't you agree with that, Noike? Yes, maybe a little bit too fond. I see. But then for your grand finale, you plan to kill Tenchi and make it look like an accident. <gasps> that's horrible. But Washu, if you already knew all of that, then... Oh, Tenchi! Sasami! Now, now, you two. Please calm down. I promise there's nothing to worry about. Huh? You can go look for yourself if you want. You'll see Mihoshi's shuttle is still here. Huh? Oh. Oh. oh, there you all are. That's really weird. We look for you guys everywhere. Where'd you run off to? Huh? Mihoshi? What's going on? What are you doing here? Ah, oh, Masishu! How are you? I haven't seen you in ages. Oh, come on! <laughs> Mihoshi? Never mind her. Where's Tenchi? Oh, hey, guys. Did you need me for something? Oh, Tenchi, you're here. <laughs> Looks like everyone's there, safe and sound. Well, enjoy your happiness while you can. Fools. We were getting ready to go see my brother, but then before we could get out the door, we got a call from Amane. From Amane? Really? That's unexpected. It was actually for you, Noike, but since you weren't around, I went ahead and picked up and we just got to talking. Um, she was saying something about the pamphlet she's going to bring. She went on about it for a pretty long time. And somewhere in there, Tenchi fell asleep, so me and Amane kept on chatting. Oh, yeah. I suppose I did nod off for a bit. <laughs> but if you were just taking a call, then what were the two of you doing down in Washu's lab? Oh! Well, for some reason, we weren't getting very good reception up here, so we thought Washu's receiver might work better. <gasps> it must have been the shield we put up. Don't feel bad. There's just one crucial thing you forgot to take into account. When it comes to Mihoshi, nothing ever quite goes according to plan, you know? Oh! Is that the truth? <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. Well, it's all right this time. You may have saved Masao from carrying an unnecessary burden. Uh, if you thought that, why'd you go along with his plan? That's not like you. Oh, well, I... I know. <laughs> I mean, what girl wouldn't do just about anything to make sure the man she loves has his greatest wish? Hmm? Yeah, that's it, right? <gasps> no, really. It's not like that at all. Huh? It's not? No, it's not. No, 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 no. You know, I really didn't think much of it at the time. But my wife told me she sensed some feelings between those two. She did? Wow, you gotta be kidding me. That's what my wife said, too. Mine, too. Go figure. Mashisu, is it really true? Oh, my. That's a twist. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, how sweet. You love him so much you cry just thinking about him. <laughs> Mihoshi, I'm not sure that's the reason she's crying. Uh, Mashisu, don't you worry. We're going to help you and your man get together. Right, guys? Won't we? Now, hold on a second. That's a nice thought, but do you even know which man it is we're talking about? It doesn't matter who. Come on, everyone, let's do it! Yeah! Stop one tiny little ship? What's happening with the capture gel? It's not working. Somehow she's flying right through it. That's impossible. A thin layer of that gel is enough to stop heavy particles traveling at light speed right in their tracks. It didn't even slow her down, sir. She's broken through. She's inside the ship. <sighs> she's entered the core. Looks like she's boring straight through. <sighs> Just look at this place! To think, all of this inside of a ship. But one thing still worries me. 
Tsunami is one of Jirai's most closely guarded secrets, isn't it? Huh? So you think... What? It's a definite possibility. <laughs> You can all relax. We aren't planning to gag you or kill you or anything. Drink up. This is a celebration. Go on. What? What is this stuff? It's delicious. Too delicious. Yeah, that's great. Oh, wow. I'm glad that you like it. That's Shinju sake you're drinking. I'll go and get you some more. Shinju sake. I imagine right now you're probably wondering what all the fuss is about. Shinju sake is a wine made from the trunks of the royal family's trees. The quality of the flavor and the ingredients allows for the production of only a small amount, and the only wine available for drinking is the one bottle presented to the head of state each year. Shinju sake isn't typically for sale, but the one time a bottle was put up for auction, it went for the price of a single planet. So you see, it's a drink normally enjoyed by only the rich and powerful. It's unheard of for mere commoners to even see it, much less taste even a single drop of this legendary wine, yet here it is, as much as they can drink. So in answer to your question, that is what the fuss is all about, okay? You got it? I couldn't have explained it better myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, amazing. One glass of this really is worth the whole planet. Drink all you want. There's plenty more where that came from. That's right, so don't let it all go to waste, boys. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Pay attention now. I just came up with a fantastic name for our new plan. I call it Misao and Mishisu's Operation Lovey Dovey. Isn't that great? That's excellent. Great, Mihoshi. That's so sweet. <laughs> she shares her brother's taste in names. And exactly what does this plan of yours entail? <laughs> Let's all figure that out together. An excellent idea. Great, Mihoshi. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> She has her brother's knack for planning, too. I am now able to project images of Ryooki and the Chobi Maru. Oh, oh, I know that move. Yeah, that's it! Go, Ryoko! Impossible! Chobi Maru is filled with a layer of capture gel. It's hundreds of meters thick. How is she getting through it? <laughs> Come on, you really think a little bit of gel is gonna stop her? Even the Jiraiyan royal fleet couldn't stop her. Very true. Go, go, wow, go! amazing. How can one little ship do that much damage? I don't know, but great fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Washu, can't you do something? Please make her stop. Huh. She's unstoppable. What are you saying? <laughs> Using that technique tends to put her in a somewhat overexcited state. And on top of that, she pretty much downed a whole barrel of sake right before she took off. She's absolutely smashed, which means any chance we had to stop her is right out the window. <laughs> been too hard on you so far, has it? Lovey -dovey, lovey -dovey. Well, you seem cheery enough. Just don't overdo it too much, okay? Since she took this form, this is the first time she's performed the gung near maneuver. Here, maybe this will help you clear your head a little bit. So what are you waiting for? Fire! Blow her out of the sky! We can't. Our master defense systems are down more than 87%. Our current control level is red. All our systems are failing. She's knocking them out one by one. In our current condition, there's no way we can stop her. Masao. Hmm? Ashisu? The Jiraiyan royal ship is here to rescue you. You have to evacuate. But my sister still isn't here yet. I refuse to leave without her. Mihoshi is already safely on board the royal ship. Please, let's go. What in the world could she possibly be doing there? 
My Shisu, are you telling me you failed your mission? Yes, and I am sorry. I accept full responsibility. But right now we have to hurry. <sighs> no, I just can't do that. There's nothing left for me now. We'll never be able to face my sister again. Shut down all of the power reactors. Secure all of the evacuation routes and close off all other corridors. Order all hands to stop whatever they are doing and abandon ship now. Initiating reactor shutdown. Evacuation routes have been secured. All hands abandon ship now. I repeat, all hands abandon ship. All main reactors are offline. I'm switching over to reserve power now. All posts have been evacuated. Good. You're the last to go. Now get out of here. Didn't I just order everyone to abandon the ship? Then let's go. We have to get a move on. I've made a decision. I'm going down with the ship. What? I'm sorry, Mashisu. Uh, I now realize there's nothing you could have done. This plan was doomed to fail from the beginning. And now my selfishness has cost me my ship. I truly deserve to go down with it. That's just not true. How can you say that? I've caused nothing but... Uh... <laughs> Mashisu. So who do you like better, Mihoshi or me? Huh? What are you talking about? Which one do you like better? Please, just tell me the truth. Well, of course I really like you, Mashisu. But how do I answer that? I'm really sorry, but I honestly don't think that's a choice I can make. Fine. So I guess that means you need to go on protecting your sister. And I will always be here to help if you need me. You will? <laughs> Thank you, Mashisu. <gasps> 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 Mashisu! 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 Uh, Masa! Uh. Just lie still. You don't have to worry about me now. I'm sorry, but I don't think I'll be able to keep my promise to you. Stay quiet. Everything's gonna be just fine. Masa, do you still remember the first day we met each other? How could I forget? You put me in that wicked stranglehold. Only because you deserved it. You were playing outside. And you hit me with your ball. You didn't even bother to apologize. You know, you shouldn't have been standing there. It was all you said. That's not true. I did apologize to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I promise. I really didn't mean to hit you. But you know, you shouldn't have been standing there. That's what I said. You didn't hear me? <laughs> I guess I didn't hear it all. When I saw you coming towards me, I couldn't take my eyes off you. You were so handsome. I suppose I was too caught up to hear the first part. But you know, you shouldn't have been standing there. <laughs> then later, you invited me to your house for lunch to make it up to me. I remember thinking it was such an ideal home. You had your whole family, and it seemed so warm and inviting. I thought Mihoshi was so silly. But I really envied her. She had so much. So much that I didn't. Every holiday, Mihoshi would invite me to be with your family. I said that I didn't want to go, but I always came over. Oh. Mashisu, don't... Don't talk anymore. You were such a rascal then. Do you remember? You were always getting into some sort of trouble. But then after that incident with Mihoshi, you seemed to grow up all at once. My heart raced whenever you were near. It would practically burst from my chest just looking at you. After Mihoshi quit the squad, I stopped coming to your house. I started to worry I'd never be able to see you again. That's why, when I was offered the position as your vice commander, it made me so happy. Even though I knew Nuike was really your first choice, I, I just...
just wanted to be near you. Masa. Come on, stay with me. You can't break your promise to me. You told me you'd always stay here to help me protect my sister. I'm truly sorry. Masisu, hold on. You can't die on me now. I need you to stay here with me. I'll be lost without you. Oh, Masa. I love you. Uh, uh, no. Don't do this to me. Don't leave me here all alone. Do you wish to save her? Uh, it's not too late. Do you wish to save her? What kind of sick question is that supposed to be? Yes, of course I want to save her! Even if that means you can't save your sister? My sister doesn't need this kind of saving. Nihoshi is... well, she's my family. I just wanted to protect her. But I... I'm such a big fool. I only made things worse. So then, have you made your choice? I have. Mashisu. Mashisu is the one I truly wish to save. Why? Because... she's my... she's my life. I love her. <laughs> What? My sister? Where am I? Mashisu, oh, the blood is gone. Uh, what? But didn't I just die? Is that... Hey, Mashisu, isn't this great? I told you my plan would work, didn't I? <laughs> Wait a second, what are you saying? That it was an illusion, it didn't happen? When did it start? I bet it was at that explosion. Mm-hmm, you guessed it. Oh, um, so that must mean... You heard every single word we said to each other. Be careful. You're gonna blow a blood vessel. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Love this. Mashisu! Masao! Congratulations! Oh. <laughs> oh. Mashisu! Mashisu! Hey, Masao! Don't just sit there! Huh? Get going after her! Hey, are you dense man? Yeah, are, are you, you dense, dense man? man? Uh, <sighs> <laughs> Mashisu! Aren't they just the cutest couple? They have so much in common. Right. I say it's time we get this party started. Yeah, yeah we'll drink to that. Party drink oh. up. Here you go. Drinks for everybody. Uh, there's just one more thing. Uh, oh, yeah. We forgot about Ryoko. Huh? Sasami, I'll go and wash the vegetables. Thanks, Tenchi. You are the best. Hold on. Our dinner's almost ready. Mm. Right. I won't be very long. Save a plate for me, okay? No guarantees, though. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Ryoko, just how long do you intend to sleep? <sighs> Ryoko, make sure that you put your empty sake bowls in the sink, all right? All right. Sheesh. Can I go a day without anyone nagging me? What fun would that be? <laughs> <laughs> huh? How long have you been here? Hey there, Ryoko. Will you call me Hoshi down to the table for me? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Did you need something? Yes, I do. You could tell me his name. Uh, who? You really don't know what I'm talking about, do you, Noike? I'm asking for the name of the guy that's looking through your eyes right now. Huh? <gasps> oh, oh, Tenji! You gotta look out! Look out for what? <gasps> Another one's coming! Move it! I am Z00153253673. If that's too long, call me Z. Z. But why? Why are you doing this? The question really should be, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Hmm. Huh. To tell you the truth, this place is just so fascinating, I wanted to study it before it was gone. Study it? What are you talking about? What I mean is that I am going to destroy this entire universe. You're gonna what? It's not so bad, really. Everything will regenerate. You'll just have to die first, though. Why? I don't understand. Sorry, not my problem. Enough chit-chat. <laughs> amazing, simply amazing. He destroyed the moon in one blast? Who is that man? Mm. He's a complete fool if he thinks he can take us on. Forget about it. This is one battle you should definitely stay out of. Got it? You would only get in Tenchi's way this time. Huh? Oh, um... Noike? Your matter conversion abilities. Why now? Whenever I tried doing this before, I couldn't do it. Because it wasn't necessary. And it still isn't necessary. And it never will be. Lighthawk wings! What? No way! Huh? Ah. What the? What happened? Now, it's goodbye. Uh, there she go! <laughs> What? Jupiter? That is unbelievable! He escaped! He hasn't escaped? Not yet. Far from it. <gasps> Ryoki! Man, what in the heck is going on here? I wish someone would tell me. You just have to die. There's no way that I can fight like this! Ah! Ah! Great! Now what? I... I can't move! Uh, see! C. 
tell you showed up. Somebody saved me? That's enough, C. Stop this madness. Ha! Are you saying that it's no use? Well, that's for me to decide. You're using visible rays to transilluminate my body? You're being reckless, C. Do you realize what will happen if you attempt substantialization using depleted light? I do, but I also know you can't use enough power to stop me in this dimension. <laughs> Not without destroying this world and everything in it. Then I will simply place Tenchi somewhere out of your reach. Impossible! There is no way you should be able to deflect my power. Unless somehow you found the counteractor. Z! You thought it was lost forever in the forgotten space of a power warp. But I finally found it. I knew you'd be surprised. <laughs> so, you decide. Is it Tenchi or me? <sighs> Fine, then stand there and watch while I decide for you! Tenchi, no! Wait! Tsunami! So, it's you now, is it? Go ahead. I won't even put up a fight. Sister, wait! What in the world is happening out there? Come on, hang in no, there! No, run! Do not stop to think about it! Just run away as far as you can! Sister, stop this! I'm afraid that the girl within me is unwilling to do that. So discard that foolish personality. Do you truly wish to throw away the chance we've waited so long for? Her wishes are now mine as well. Are you mad? Damn, why isn't the other one here yet? Hey, Tsunami! 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 You're calling to the wrong person. Huh? What? Then who? She'd better show herself soon before it's too late. Listen to me. If this is truly what you desire, know that I am prepared to stop you at any cost. Uh, you're such a pain. You haven't forgotten, have you? Our search? The reason for all of this? No, my sister. But things have changed. Uh huh? I had to calm down my daughter. Washu? But... Washu, put an end to this foolishness. Do not let it come to this. We could lose everything. Tokimi, the only thing that is important to me right now is Tenchi. What? Do not move. You could shatter the third dimension. want to know what's happening. Those three are entities of the ultimate dimension, beings of the highest order. They created the infinite, interconnected universes in which the rest of us exist. Does that mean Tsunami and Washu are some sort of gods? <laughs> I wouldn't call them that. They may have the power of gods, but they are nothing more than crazy old fools. Crazy? What they want is to create a being even more powerful than themselves. It's the one thing they can't simply will into existence. Therefore, they decided to rely on random chance to produce what they could not. They introduced irregularities to disrupt the harmony of the space-time continuum in the hopes that someday, a being would emerge from the chaos with the power to challenge Takimi and restore order to the universe. A being who possessed the ability to wield the bioenergy of the gods themselves in the form of Lighthawk Wings. Someone just like you and me. Hold on. I don't get it. Why were you trying to kill me then? <sighs> because these powers came at far too great a cost. Father! You gotta pull back! There's too many of them! No, not yet! Not yet! Faster! We 
lost half the fleet already. This continues. Sent in all of the security ships. But that's just suicide. Security squadron, you are ordered to attack the target. All right, give us the numbers. Number Z00015325368738. Distance to target 6,000. Father! Don't worry about me. Keep going. Carry out your orders. Charges at point blank range! Unable to neutralize! Ah. Dear, find a way to protect our children. alone will rule the universe. I would never ask to have that kind of power. Hmm. Then if you really wish to keep your happy life, you must allow me to kill you. Huh? It's what Washu and Tsunami want as well. That's the reason they've appeared. Wait, you're saying that Washu and Tsunami want me to die? It would be a simple feat for these ultimate beings to recreate you. Everything about you, even your memories, would be exactly the same. Yes, except for one thing, your ability to create the Lighthawk Wings. Sister, why? I told you, what's most important to me right now is Tenchi. Die, and then you'll be free to return to your happy, peaceful existence again. You can remove the burden of power from your shoulders forever. That's a load of crap! Huh? If you think you're gonna kill Tenchi, you'll have to do it over my dead body! <laughs> Wait, Ryoko! That's right. I should have remembered. She is Washu's daughter. Gotcha. What the? Thank <laughs> you. 
I promise, Tenchi, you've made the right choice. Oh no, Tenchi, please don't leave me like this! You can't, Tenchi! Tenchi! Uh, what the? Where... where am I? Uh, uh, oh yeah, I got sliced in half by Z. Oh no, I guess I must be dead. Huh? Now what's up? This place, it, it, it doesn't seem like Earth. Oh, I hear crying. But what can I do about it? Whoa! Whoa, what's that? Meteors? I need to focus. I can't hear the crying now. She's over there! Oh. Oh, that car. Uh huh? Is that a battle? <laughs> Uh, hello there, little girl. Are you all right? What are you doing here? Are you here all alone? What about your mom and dad? Where are they? <laughs> we can't stay here. It's too dangerous. Come on, we have to get you somewhere that's safe. Why are you doing this? Wait. Tell me! Why do you hate me? I'm a cockatoo too! Huh? It's all right now. You don't have to worry anymore. I don't understand. Why does he hate me? I don't know, but I know I don't hate you. You don't? Really? Mm-hmm. Then I really don't have to die now? Of course not. So you mean you like me? Really? Sure I do. Oh. Can I stay with you forever then? Why, sure. But first off, we have to find a way for us to get back home, okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Feel better? Sure do! <laughs> In that case, there's something I want to ask you. Yeah. Ah! 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 No! Brother! Help! Save me! Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 What was that? What happened? Tenchi has been pushed back into the ultimate dimension. Impossible! Full report, Administrator. I, I sense, sense an, an energy, energy disturbance. disturbance. Wait. Wait. The disturbance is growing. I detect a rift in the third dimension. Fourth dimensional rift detected. 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 Emancipation line has failed. It can't be. It could even breach the ultimate dimension. If this continues much longer, the shell of the third dimension will shatter. Tokimi, you have to release us from these bonds! What? Tenchi's mind will not be able to withstand the ship to a higher dimension. He's not ready! Brother. Quickly, there isn't much time! Oh, stop it! We must find a way to stop the counteractor! The 
Radio Director is really here? <laughs> is it really you, Mother? <laughs> Please stop! You can't do this, Mother! I'm begging you! Get back! Mama! We've got to No, relate. stay focused! Our only concern is to keep Tenchi from breaching the third dimension. But... Everything else is in his hands now. Somebody, please help. Uh, uh, no one else uh, can save you now. Uh, who said that? This is something that you will have to solve yourself. But I don't know how. Tell me what to do. Are you ready for your life to end? No, I'm not. I There's still so much I want to do. Then you had better focus on that. What is your main reason for living? My reason? <gasps> See, that wasn't so hard. Uh, who, who are you? Bye. Hey, wait a second. Oh, uh, by the way, the girl you met? I thought you might be happy to know that she's safe. See ya. Uh, Stop. If you don't release me, then she will die. Then I'll let him die. I'll let everything die, including you. That's enough. Uh, 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 What just happened to us? <gasps> oh, Tenchi. An eternity ago, in the infinite time before time began, there, in the space of a single instant, we were born into existence, all-powerful and all-knowing. Yet we were faced with a puzzling contradiction. We were born with the knowledge that there existed an even higher power, one greater than our own. However, since we recognize that we ourselves are all-powerful and all-knowing, then how can such a higher power exist? Logic suggests that it cannot, and yet... You knew that it did. Yes. Therefore, we were determined to understand how this could possibly be so. We devoted endless amounts of time thinking about the matter. <coughs> Actually, endless amounts of time is a bit of an exaggeration. Otherwise, we'd still be there now, wouldn't we? Afterwards, when that approach failed, we began another set of endless hours experimenting through trial and error. Actually... Right, we get it already! Ooh. Hold on! Don't you remember when you met Zero Lady Tokimi? You were so far outside Zero's sphere of knowledge that she couldn't believe you existed. According to the laws of the lower dimensions, the existence of any higher dimension is a theoretical impossibility, beyond her comprehension. Yeah, so who's to say what you're looking for isn't some being in some higher dimension that you can't understand? Mm, Zero was so brilliant. I'm so glad that I murdered her with you. Hey now, what's that supposed to mean? You got a problem with that? Help me, Tenchi. Don't let her hurt me like that. Cry, baby. As Ryoko said, there is that possibility though, isn't there? But it's not a theory we can accept not without evidence to support it. Right, so we needed a plan to get some. I followed what I thought would be the best approach. I erased my memory and sealed my powers inside a set of gemstones with the intent of rebuilding my knowledge as an ordinary human. For my part, I created a world of life rooted in my own powers and experience and allowed it to grow and develop through the generations. Was that world Jirai? Yes. Then what? I decided to follow our original plan to its conclusion. I promoted chaos in hopes of creating an irregularity. The single possibility born through that effort was Z. But that possibility was sadly wasted. Uh, Seinuike? Hmm? What's the deal? Do you understand a single word they're saying? Uh... Cause I don't! I'm completely lost! Oh. Will somebody explain it again, please? A little slower? Oh. 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 All right. Oh. Look at this guy's legs moving! Mm. He certainly has a way of killing a conversation. Ah. Huh? What? Ah. Oh, wow! It's twins! Oh, it has to be because he split her in half. Not 
knock it off. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, neat trick. You made one of them disappear. Hey, it wasn't a trick. Please be careful, Ryoko. You're scaring Ryoki. We're in the presence of the goddesses that created the universe, and here we are joking around. Huh? <laughs> what has come over me? Suddenly I feel so much lighter somehow. Tokimi, since I've come to live in this world, I've begun to realize that what's most important about our goal is the search, not the solution. What do you mean? It's true that Tenchi represents a possible answer to all of our questions, but... He's much more than that. And even if we let this possibility pass us by, that doesn't mean there won't be others. When we decided we would create this world, we made it into a beautiful and interesting place. It would be a shame if we didn't take time to enjoy it. So what you're saying is, you're willing to be patient. Yeah, or maybe they're just lazy. Can I hear you say something? <laughs> We're in no rush. We've already set things in motion simply by asking the question. Eventually, the answers will take care of themselves for us. Oh. Perhaps you're right about that. Maybe if I'd taken more time, we could have had a relationship like the one my sisters share with Tenshi. Leave us now. Return to the place where you were most happy. Born anew. Now then, I suppose there's still the little matter of cleaning up the mess we made during all of this. I suggest we erase this entire timeline and start over again. Start over again? Yes. Perhaps the best thing to do would be to return time to the moment when Z was born. Of course, if we did do that, there's a very good chance that much of your history would change. Well, uh -oh. you can't! Don't even joke about that! You can just forget about that idea right now! Calm down. You didn't let us finish. Since Tenchi's powers have already manifested themselves, we should protect all of the casualties that led him to this point. We will turn back time, but we will keep it to a minimum. Wait a second! I'm not ready yet! There's still a yeah, lot of- Yeah, yeah. Just shut up and go to sleep already! <laughs> Great. More rain. Oh, how much did I drink last night? Yoko, are you up yet? Yeah, sure. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. Could you do me a favor and make sure that Mihoshi's awake? Yo, Mihoshi! Hey! <laughs> Come on. Don't you know better than to sleep at your desk? The last thing I remember, I was... Writing a letter uh, to your family, right? Yeah, I must have dozed off. <laughs> well, Washu says you better not send that letter. Oh, but it's all signed and everything. So what? You really want all that trouble you caused last time to happen again? Oh, come on, please. <clears throat> Look, don't you remember what that crazy brother of yours almost did to <gasps> Tenchi? You're not <gasps> sending it. Ryoko, let go of me! I didn't do it! Oh, run for it, run for it! Thanks, nicely done. I'm sorry, but I'd very much like to have the pleasure of meeting Tenchi again. Besides, if we didn't send that letter, then you wouldn't get a chance to meet your friend Sena, would you? No.
try to do better this time. An excellent idea. Love it! Yay! Operation Lucky Derby! Oh, wow! <laughs> Still thinking about Mishisu and Masao? You're not worried, are you? Uh, well, just a little. It was just like this last time as well. It'll all turn out okay. I hope so. It's working out perfectly. What are you saying? Of course I like you, Mashisu. Misao! Hey, Mashisu! Well, now, I'd say Operation Lovey Dovey was a huge success. Wait! The Chobi Maru! It's moving! And it's on a direct collision course with Earth! <laughs> Here we go again, I guess. aside for a moment. Have you noticed? Huh? Hey, who the heck left this goopy little kid in here? Oh, how rude. And after I went to the trouble of fixing the space-time continuum you destroyed. Wait, so you're Lady Kikini? <laughs> um, did I say goopy? No, what I meant was cute. <laughs> I'll show you cute. <laughs> well, she asked for it. This is what happens when you piss off the most vengeful of the ultimate goddesses. Not wise. Yeah, sure. Now you tell me. Ah. Sorry, everyone. I do hate to hit and run, but there are still a few dimensions left in desperate need of repair. So, if you'll excuse me... It was nice seeing you, sis. Yeah, it was swell. We will have silence from the gallery! Huh. 
I apologize for the disturbance. They'll behave from here on. Huh. Young people these days, no respect. That's quite interesting coming from you. You're hardly in a position to be issuing reprimands. Eh? Minami, you have failed as GP Grand Marshal. You are demoted to head of maintenance. Yeah, you can't do that, sister. That's much too cruel a punishment. Actually, I can do far, far worse. Don't test my patience any further. Huh? Mm. Now then, as to the punishment for the two of you, this is my decision. First, Mashisu Akibi, you will clean the toilets at headquarters for six months. Now to Masao Kuramitsu. You will leave and fulfill your 10-year service commitment as is required of all Kuramitsu males. Ugh. Service commitment? Oh yeah, that's right! Our ancestors were worried about losing touch with nature, so they decided that all land for new developments should be cleared by hand. Now all the men have to do it for a while. It's supposed to develop character or something. Please, Aunt. Permit me one request. I'm listening. It's Mashisu. Please, I ask that she be allowed to come along with me. You understand the implications of this request? You've thought the matter through? I do. I never want to leave her side again. Yeah. Hold on! Yay! That's just super, you two! Congratulations! Huh? According to the Kuramitsu tradition, only a man's wife and children can go with him. Oh, I see. No, I forbid it! You are the Kuramitsu family heir! You will marry someone of the appropriate social standing, understood? Minami. No, sister. I demand I be heard on this issue. And I'm quite confident my opinion will be shared by the family council as well. You may be right. It is doubtful the council would grant their approval. Hmm. But Aunt Mikami... Give me a break. Huh? Let the kids get married already. Silence! Huh? We do not need the comments of a vulgar outsider! And how about a good swift kick in the ass? Why, you... <laughs> Perhaps I have a solution to this. So, Mashisu, how would you feel about becoming my daughter? Hmm? <laughs> what? I'm asking if you'd like to adopt the surname of Kamiki Jirai, just like Noike did. Or, if you'd rather, you could become a Tatsuki instead. That name might get you a little better reception from outsiders. <laughs> Would you find this idea acceptable? Actually, I can think of nothing finer. The Jiraiyan royal family is quite worthy. We would be honored. <laughs> Grandmother always was a matchmaker. Yeah, she's a hopeless romantic, I'm sure. Politics had nothing to do with it. Oh. <sighs> I'm against it, I tell you! Just think about it! Do you really want the Devil Princess of Jirai as your mother-in-law? Hi! Who's ready for a wedding? Hi! Good to see you, Mother! Did you say Mother? Great! That's what we needed. Hello, Mitoto. What are you doing in these parts? And why are you carrying that mop? This is great! I'm so happy! You know I always said Miss Sao would end up marrying you one day. Well, either you or Noike, that is. So I was half right at least! No, stop that! I still haven't given my permission! Nothing has been decided yet! Oh, dear. I thought it was official already. The members of the family council have all agreed to it. What? All of them? Well, it wasn't easy, but they all came around in the end. I mean, once I explained to them how important it was... Dear, what have you done? Does anybody else suddenly get the feeling there's a lot more to that story that she's leaving out? Mm -hmm. Lady Sato! Huh? We have a problem! There's been a leak! Details of your meetings are all over the wires! <sighs> so everybody knows, do they? Well, if they're expecting a wedding, I suppose we'll just have to give them one. It would be a shame to disappoint them. And besides that, it'll lend us a credible excuse for the Kuramitsu Jirai maneuvers. Uh, Mitoto! <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, all well that ends well, I guess. I'm home! Mm -hmm. Hi, Tenchi. Come look, I bought you a present. Hmm? Sister? Hello. Hello. There's something you wanted to tell me. What is it? Um, well, uh... Uh... Come on, the suspense is killing me. Tenyo, is he afraid to tell Tenchi? Well, one look at those two is enough to see they're nervous. 
But no, I don't think that's the thing he's afraid to say. Well, what is it then? Um, you see... Oh. Uh. <clears throat> so, Tenchi, actually there are two things we must tell you. The first one has to do with your mother, Kione. My mom, really? The time has finally come for you to know the entire story. The circumstances, that is, surrounding your mother's death. Uh -huh. Now then, I suppose the best place to start. Well, it would have to be that fateful day a few months before Kioni actually died. You had accidentally injured yourself quite badly, as children sometimes do. Your mother ventured deep into the mountains in search of medicinal herbs to treat your wounds. <laughs> She was foolish to go to such a dangerous place alone. Are you telling me that the fall is what killed her? No. Huh? She was hurt badly, but she still made her way down the mountain and caught a bus to the hospital. Uh? Sitting there quietly, covered in her own blood as she was, the other passengers thought she was a zombie. And then? Then two weeks after she was hospitalized, Keone's motherly instincts took hold when you came down with a severe case of measles and were bedridden with fever. I see. So it was the car crash that finally took her. Actually, she made a full recovery and was back on her feet in about two months. Not two weeks after leaving the hospital, she went on a hunting trip with a friend and was well enough to carry a 150-pound boar down the side of the mountain. This is ridiculous. Just tell me, how did Mom die? Well, don't you remember that cold, gray winter morning when we discovered Keone had passed away in her sleep? Oh. <gasps> She was 248 years old at the time. She died of old age. Old age? But... I know it's difficult for you to believe, for outwardly she didn't appear to age at all. Yeah, but mentally, though, that was a whole other story. It's true, she had gone a little batty in her later years. Like the way she started dressing up in those schoolgirl outfits. It seemed harmless enough until she insisted on wearing them in public. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then... All that stuff leading up to her death, the cliff, and the car accident? Had nothing to do with it. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! What's wrong with you two? You think this is funny or something? No. It's not what you think at all, Tenchi. There's a... good reason. What possible reason could there be for making a joke out of my mother's death? Wait, everything we told you was true. But why tell it at all if not to laugh at me? Nobuyuki, it's time to give up the charade. Tenchi, the story they just told you was scripted by your mother. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it was all in her will. She insisted that we tell it to you word for word. <sighs> I, uh... Um... <gasps> That's awful! You should be ashamed of yourselves! How could you do that to poor Tenchi? Irie, you do realize that your name is listed here as one of the collaborators. Uh -huh. Good. I thought I'd find you here. Oh. You 
must be in shock. I did think it was a bit much, but I can't say I was surprised. It's just like Keone. Not the mom I remember. Uh-huh. The mom I knew was always calm and smiling. Well, it may have seemed that way from your perspective, but... I don't believe it. My mom was gentle and kind. <sighs> I see. Well then, I suppose I feel a bit sorry for her. Mm -hmm. The mother that lives on in your memories. And that isn't Keone at all. Wait! You expect me to believe that my mom would turn her own death into some sort of practical joke? We all have our own ways of showing affection. Keone put her heart and soul into that script. It was her final gift to you. <clears throat> okay, he's all yours. Ah, <gasps> uh, Noike. Oh, um. I guess you must really think I'm a fool, huh? Of course not. It's natural for a child to expect the best of his parents. And there's absolutely nothing foolish about holding on to an idealized image of your mother. It's rather sweet, actually. Oh? Although, sometimes that image that we hold dear, well, it can be just a small part of a much bigger picture. When I was a child, I grew up in an orphanage. I've told you about that before, haven't I? Oh yeah, that's right. My problems must seem small compared to what you went through. I don't mean to say my difficulties were somehow greater than yours. Far from it. Actually, for the longest time, I was in the same place you are now. You were? I used to wonder why I was abandoned. I was certain there had to have been a very good reason for it. Why else would my mother and father ever give me up for adoption? I think maybe something tragic happened and they had no choice but to leave me, even though they didn't want to. I pictured their tears as they said their last goodbye. Huh. I spent hours imagining all the terrible ordeals they must have faced before they were forced to let me go. Oh, no, Ike. Not long after I left the military and joined the GP, I happened to accidentally meet my mother on a case I was working on. Huh? I ran her DNA for a routine ID check. You can imagine my surprise when I saw the results. So, did you ever find out why she left you back then? The story is, when my father found out she was pregnant, he walked out on her. Then her next boyfriend wanted her to run off with him, and she was afraid I'd get in the way. That's it. That's all? Really? She actually expected me to be grateful. Well, looks like you turned out okay. You should thank me. It wasn't easy finding a good orphanage to take you. So what do you say you let me go just this one time? You'd be doing me a huge favor. I've got a man, a good one this time. I'd hate to lose him over some silly thing like this. <sighs> but oddly enough, I understood. The orphanage was a good home, and the teachers were all very kind to me. I realized that in my mother's mind, leaving me there was an act of love. I can't say that I've forgiven her, but I was grateful. I had a chance to see her for who she really was. <laughs> and I guess that sometimes that's all we're gonna get, right? I have this image of a mother, but it's not Keone, I guess. Oh. <laughs> All the ideal qualities I attributed to her, they were mostly Rea's. I guess I took them, and I forced them onto my mother. It's all right, Tenchi. Mom, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. 
I told you, we're giving those two some alone time. I think Noike is the one who can best comfort Tenchi right now, but she can't do that with you three harpies breathing down her neck. Of course, we don't want her giving him too much comfort. Otherwise, I'd do that myself. Oh. Hmm? Is this one of your experiments? None of your business. I created this universe. Technically, everything's my business. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry I got so angry, Dad. That's okay. Every boy wants to believe his mother's a saint, I guess. Besides, your grandfather and I expected you'd be angry. When we saw Keone's script, we said, oh boy, Tenchi's not gonna like this one bit. But we also knew that she meant well. Your mother loved you with all of her heart. I know. I just wish someone would have warned me about her sense of humor. <laughs> yes, well, she is Ivory's daughter, after all. Oh. Hey, now, what's the matter? Well, if you told me that from the start, I would have known to be on my guard. Huh? <laughs> yeah, maybe so. No doubt about it. <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? I mean, really, what were you thinking? Listen, Tenchi. Yeah? Well, you know... There was one other thing I wanted to tell you earlier. You and Rhea are finally getting married. But how did you know that? Seriously, Dad, did you really think you could keep a secret in this house? Hmm. I think that's great, though. I really like Rhea, and besides... Besides? You two have been together for so long, nothing's really going to change. Oh, well, uh... I guess you have a point there. <laughs> Now that went smoothly. Go figure. She was. Yeah, she's so lucky. I really hope I get to be a bride someday. I still can't believe Masao beat you to the altar, Mihoshi. I know. He is so darn lucky. Someday, i walk down that aisle, too. Round of drinks says Sasami gets hitched before you. Hmm? And Ryooki will have grandchildren by the time you get married, Ryoko. Hmm. Yeah, like that's possible. Yeah. Hmm. Never mind that nonsense. How about you tell us what Tokimi was doing at the ceremony? It did seem a tad rude the way she hovered over the altar the whole time. What better place for a goddess to be? <laughs> it should be enough for you to know that I had my reasons for being present. Yeah? Like what kind of reasons? Not telling. <laughs> By the way, Washu, it was so busy earlier, I almost forgot to ask you. Oh, my. Tenchi, don't tell me you're finally going to propose. Of course I accept. It's about Z. That time when he slashed me. Wait, speaking of Z, that reminds me. I've been meaning to ask you what you were talking to Noike about just before he attacked Tenchi. Yeah, if I remember right, she was acting pretty damn weird. Oh, that. It was nothing serious, really. We just figured out that Z was spying on us through Noike's eyes. Huh? Mm. Mm. Stop talking! Are you a spy? Mm, damn it! <sighs> I really don't understand, Washu. Why would you wait so long to say anything about it to us? What was there to tell exactly? It's not like Noike did anything on purpose. Mm -hmm. Huh, good, the results are in. Uh -huh. Oh dear. Looks like Dr. Clay's work. Dr. Clay? Clay? What in the world is going on here, Noike? Well, 
I don't, uh... Better yet, why don't you try speaking to the victim herself? It's you! You're that girl! I thought so. What are you talking about? What did you think, Washu? Either as a result of the space-time shift during her encounter with Tenshi, or as a result of tampering from Dr. Clay, this girl was trapped in her astral form. It wasn't until later that Noike appeared as an ideal host. When she was sent to Earth as Tenshi's fiancé, I believe she was also selected to be an unwitting spy. With Clay's technology, the girl's astral form could be placed in Noike's body. Clay's seal prevented the two from merging completely, so they maintained their separate identities. By calling on the girl's strong desire to see Tenshi, Z could look through her eyes at will. My brother, I'm sorry, but I had to see you again. I wanted to say thank you. No need to be sorry. It's okay. I'm glad that you're here. Thanks again for saving me that day. I was so scared. <laughs> I have a question for you. The day that we met, there was something else you said that I've been wondering about. Oh, you mean when I said, I'm a Kagato too? Uh -huh. <gasps> what? Kagato? Mm-hmm. Or more precisely, I'm Kagato's female side. Ah, yes. You do look just like him when he was little. What are you talking about? What does that mean, Moshu? When he was born, Kagato started out as a hermaphrodite. Mm -hmm. Of course, he really hated women. And I mean really hated him. I never imagined that hate would split his body in two, but as they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Why do I feel like there's something you're not telling us? Yeah, Washu, I always thought the reason Kagato hated women so much was because of you. Right. Spill it, Washu. We really need to figure out what we're going to do next. Don't change the subject! Oh, brother. So, what now? Well, if we can somehow find a way to remove Dr. Clay's seal for me, I can assimilate with Noike. It's not as scary as it sounds. My power's about the same as a newborn baby, so I doubt you'll notice much difference if we merge. You'll get to keep all of my memories, though. But they're mostly of the time I met Tenchi, so that's good. So I guess that dream I kept having was her memory of you. All right, you've convinced me. Then let's do it. Huh? <sighs> right, I'm removing Dr. Clay's seal now. Tenshi back to the ship for lunch again. We can take another bath together. <laughs> what was that girl talking about? Get her back out another here! Another bath? There's more than one? What the heck? How do you know I'm being very unhuman? Well, the more things change.